Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Charlie. Let's chat a little first. We just beat a major RPG, so I figure during some downtime before we move into another one. A little bit of crowd control with Vampire Survivors. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. We're slowly getting up to where we were before the official release of the game. We're like maybe five clears away? Maybe. They can, I guess, hop into things once it's ready. Let's just take a double look at our abilities. I think that's probably fine for now. Yeah, eventually we'll go for things like greed and growth, but we just need to get the consistent clears. Like, revival we don't super care about until, like, super endgame. I mostly just want to make sure I'm doing enough damage to clear and also have enough tankiness to survive. Because I will get clipped, inevitably. I don't really care about Magnet. In fact, I probably won't even put points in it. And movement speed, it depends on the character, whether I want that or not. So let's double check the collection. So we have gotten, I think, a few dozen items, which is nice. <laughs> I like that we have like most of the findable items already. Okay, so I think I'm missing some stuff in the early levels. So while we're collecting a little bit of cash so we can complete the plant, which I do think is one of the harder stages, honestly. Um, we should be good to go. The other thing we have to eventually do is just ensure that we have the ability to get these characters at some point. So I know, for example, if we get something like Porta LaDonna or we get um, Arca, both of these characters are pretty good at clearing. Permit plus one projectile is also not bad. Christine is very broken. If we get max cooldown reduction, she, she'll pretty much hard carry on certain levels, including the plant level. So if I feel like beating it with her, that's fine. I already run with Antonio, so I guess if I'm going to go revisit a stage, I should beat it with a new character. Oh, we actually have the tower unlocked? Oh. Oh, well, that changes my opinion to everything. I didn't think we got far enough last time. Hope you're doing well, Remote Battery. Yeah, that previous music was, uh, I think, supposed to be similar to Lost Painting from Soten. Okay, I don't feel like doing the challenge areas next, but it's actually kind of important. Oh, it actually shows me which ones I can find here. It's actually kind of important I get the purple item for people that have not played the game before. I think it's called the Randomazo. And that will start letting us get Arcana cards, which are incredibly broken, I would just like to say. Like, the power difference between us having it and not having it is insane. Like, we'll, if we do anything less than double damage or triple damage with some of the later cards we can get, I would be very surprised. That also means that playing as certain characters will unlock new bonuses. I'm actually going to... Actually, I could still play the same character. I don't really see a downside to that. I take that back. Let's go dive into this. So if, if I remember correctly, Randomazo is to the north. If they have not changed it since the original game, it is. I don't know what the thing to the south is, though. That's new to me. Oh, actually, speaking of which, let me let me quit because I don't think I connected properly. I did a big dumb. Make sure that we are 100% connected before we go further. It's one of those ones where it says my name and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't I didn't connect it. I don't want to cheat chat. No cheating chat. That time I caught myself. Sort of. 
All right, so now chat has control over what I'm doing, sort of. Tina getting clipped. I I'm just going up as fast as I can, honestly. There we go. Thank you for the magic wand upgrade. I'll take small upgrades. You want a little bit of this XP. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Welcome in Parameter. Honestly, I have no opinion towards these weapons. My only goal is randomazo. If I happen to survive beyond that, that that'll be neat, I guess. Okay, I'll take Bible. Yeah, like I'll I'll take the little bits of XP as I get there. I could play around having Bible. Ooh, thank you for Rosary. That's actually huge. Parameter choosing my build. Let's see what happens. Garlic. Okay, I like that. Just walk into these real quick then. I mean, you can't not bully things with garlic. You you you, you gotta bully a little bit once you get it. <laughs> like I don't mind farming for like another thirty seconds while garlic is still really strong. Oh, another Bible increase. That's actually huge here. It should be a very fast level up, thanks to Garlic. Speaking of which... Yeah, I think, like, this level normally has, like, a Bracer, if I remember correctly. I wasn't really looking at the icon, I was only looking random also. But I think from our standpoint... Oh, you improve Garlic. Yeah, like, we'll take a little bit of damage, and that's fine. That's why I put Recovery. It's more important to power level. <laughs> she gets XP faster than other characters. Turn off being she doesn't have great weapons. Okay, let's make some more progress. Oh, the magic wand shuts up off screen. I was like, wait, how are those already dead? want this. Indeed I did. Not bad. Making some progress. Oh, chat giving me armor? Oh, that's being nice. Do a parameter. Ooh, and I got light source. I mean, I'm not gonna leave these here. Yeah, I definitely feel at least in the early part before we start getting like a lot of Arcana, I do think armor is like one of the most important upgrades to get. Garlic sometimes helps with the build. It, dep it depends on the rest of it. I think since we're so early, Garlic is ultra OP. As we get later in the game, it becomes less relevant. But for a character that just needs to kill quickly to take advantage of their passive, I am not going to complain. I'm going to pause for a moment just to see how far I am. Oh, I'm not too far from the random mods, though. I know if I go really, really far to the south, there's a bonus character. But that that's kind of a commitment. Like, if I go on that journey, it's kind of like this, where, like, I, I don't think I could get both the Randomazo and that character. Unless we get really, really strong. Oh, we have the Spellbinder now. Oh. That's right, we unlocked that recently. Is that, I think, goes with the Bible, I think. 
interesting. Chicken Bonanza, Twin Pile, Skeleton Swarm. Interesting choices in the corner. I'm gonna come back to that. Hello, boss. Even more food. I should be seeing it very soon. I'm surprised I don't see it yet. Racer's still a bit far. Yeah, we'll get the chicken bananas on the way back. So, so far, we're not seeing, like, super powerful accessories. We're seeing just standard weapons, which is fine. Once we get things like duplicator or cooldown reduction, that makes a big difference for Bible, Whip, Magic Wand. Spellbinder helps with Bible, but we don't have anything else that really cares about duration. <laughs> like, if we had Pichone, chat would be all over Spellbinder. As long as I'm making steady progress upwards, we should be good. Oh, more light sources. I'll take these. Axe, armor, more damage on magic wand. Fire breath will help us clear for a little bit. I could probably squeeze out another level easy with magnet in that. about what I thought. <laughs> see Spellbinder again, Whip, and King Bible. Haven't seen Hollow Heart for Whip. I'm just gonna go pick this up. Alright, okay, another Whip upgrade. I'll take it. Candelabra works with Axe. Racer works with Knife. Magic one is just damage. I should be able to get a nice level up off of this. I almost thought I was going to level there. <laughs> Close. Chat making sure I got all the damage. A little bit more damage with garlic is nice. Oh, I see fire breathing in there. That'll be sick. We're just gonna level on these guys real quick while it's a weaker wave. Wow, we're actually really close to getting capped to magic one, but I, we still haven't seen the cooldown reduction one. It's kind of crazy. Nice, extra projectiles. Take chat's food item now. Doing pretty solid. Magic one plus garlic is uh, not a bad combo because of the fact that um, garlic increases knockback. There's empty tone. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We've got both birds and empty tone. Actual madness. Oh, check. Champ being generous. Good job. I know it was hard for chat to do that. They, they, they have the choice between their two favorites. We still have two weapon slots left. The ultimate choice helper bird. Welcome, Chris. I guess I'll go pick this up. Okay, another whip upgrade. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. It's hitting pretty far away now, which is helpful. We're in kind of a nonsense phase right now with these enemies. So we are two levels from maxing magic wand. Armor is pretty good. Whip is also good. Life is okay. Uh, 
Uh, I would like to stop time here, actually. I can't believe I still haven't reached the bracer yet. That's insane to me. All right, we got to get moving. I'm going back and forth too much. Oh man, it even dropped the wing for chat later. Wow. Game knows chat. The game knows. <laughs> it knows what chat wants. There's the bracer for later. So both of those could technically be like the extra slots. Also, I should probably stop brute forcing. I'm taking too much damage. Need just a teeny tiny bit of health regen. I could just reach the randomazo. Be in a good spot. Pet heals me. Flower wall slows me down. Craftfest will definitely kill me. Slowly getting your health back. Thank you, recovery points. Come on, be a turkey. Don't. I mean, money's not bad for later. Oh, chat healed me. Thank you, chat. We're doing our best. We're, we're, we're holding forward. There's so much more to go still. I want to get there before the 12-minute mark, <clears throat> which I think will happen, but I, I really got to keep pushing forward. Look at a witch. I am really surprised I took that little damage doing that. You know what? We'll take that, chat. We will absolutely take that. I'm going in, chat. See, if I leave all this XP behind, eventually I will get a magnet and pull this. And or it'll clump into a super crystal. So we're, we're holding up as much as we can. Like a little bits of XP. Alright, so we're really close to it. Just gotta reach it now. Oh, I'm being slowed. I would like fire breath right now, please. Thank you. That was huge. Chat bailed me. Chat bailed me out on that one. So this is where the power of the character starts climbing like astronomically. But we have to... Oh, interesting. Empty Tomer King Bible. But we have to uh, unlock the other arcana now. The next run will be very strong. And then the plant will be much easier. Like, weirdly, I think I could probably clear tower before playing. There's another mystery character up here, so I might as well just keep going. There's Spellbinder for the Bible. We're one point away from maxing Wand, so once Wand is maxed, it'll stop appearing. If chat's looking for other weapons, either would be good, I think. Yeah, we killed some of the witches with fire breath. I have garlic, so I don't think they can normally hit me. This is where Bible plus garlic is the, the superior choice. So we're just going to get rid of these, and then we're going to go for the other one. Chat holding out for Pachone. There's Spellbinder again. I don't think we've got... Yeah, Spellbinder's brand new, so... <clears throat> I don't think we've gotten the, uh... Bonus weapon off of that yet. There's even healing there from chat earlier. I think I could afford to camp here a little bit. Let's try to level. Then we'll go for the bonus character. Or... I guess I go for the character now. We do a fire, fire breathing. Oh, the little gate was blocking the fire. That's unfortunate. Oh look, oh, look at the wiggle tech. The wiggle tech is real, chat. <laughs> that, that clear speed is ridiculous. And more fire breath, indeed. I mean, I'm gonna try to collect this XP. There's so much of it now.
So we have Empty Tome. Cross is okay. King Bible's almost max. Our attack speed is pretty good right now. Yeah, I think I think Chad made the right call there. Just more damage on Bible and forcing it to spawn. I think it actually mattered more. Because we're about to level if I could brute force this anyway. Yeah. Ooh, Bible almost capped. The next time I get a chest, I can get an upgrade. Or either the wand or the Bible. Both of which would make life easy. Oh boy, oh yeah, there we go. Chat spoiling me with the Bible upgrade there. Don't let me push through a little longer. See, this is where we just hold the line a little bit. I think we can potentially beat Tower. We're doing super well here. As long as I don't super greet it. Like, if we end up with Hollow Heart with the whip, that'll be the survivability I need, plus armor. Oh yeah, there we go. More uptime on Bible, faster whips. Technically, some less delay on Magic Wand. So much XP. Holy. Still no Duplicator so far. Yeah, we're gonna have, like, near constant shots. Garlic should have 100% uptime. Because technically, Garlic is not up 100% of the time without some cooldown. There's a boss. We could get new items. I was looking for Fire Breath, but we'll take the extra coins from chat. Oh no, Ebony Wings. I see it. <laughs> chat almost reunited with Beloved. <laughs> Which, to be fair, with Spellbinder, it's actually going to be active most of the time. So chat actually synergizing. Cooldown plus duration up equals infinite Pachone. I want that chest. Oh, I finally got a triple. That means I'm probably going to level Ebony Wing. We'll let the animation play out for chat this time. Oh, I got both upgrades? Oh, look at that chat. That was like the perfect pickup. Now I have a decent damage weapon, and then I have constant AoE damage, and we have more Ebony Wing. So in a way, Ebony Wing got upgraded. Yeah, there we go. So with duration up and cooldown reduction, this thing will start stacking a lot of Bibles. <laughs> Telling us we could evolve Rune Tracer, but honestly, I don't know if we even want that. I don't think we do. I think chat wants the other piece of Ebony Wing. I think this will be a Garlic. Yeah, makes sense. I'm gonna leave that chest there for now. Let's make some progress. Yeah, now we have some push potential. There's another character over here somewhere? Are they like in the... No, I don't see them. Ooh. Not giving me kill power. Purple chest. Purple chest. Oh, is that a card? It is a card. Okay. Robbery of healing. Healing is double recovering HP nearby hits enemies for damage. So yeah, we have whip. So if we get hollow heart, this is going to be stupid good at keeping me alive. I'm going to nod my head. Okay. I mean, I'm going to take it. Oh, there's like a magic mirror that's singing. I think this is for the bonus character. But fortunately, since chat upgraded me, I should just be doing insane damage. But thank you, chat. Thank you, Imelda of Bell Pass, but the vampire's in another coffin. Who did we unlock? Ancerta Cassiota. Ah, oh, the guitar character. Right, let's not do anything in this room. I kind of remember that character. I don't remember how to leave this room. Hopefully, we, hopefully we're freed. Yeah, let's leave. I mean, I could cheese it out and probably stay there. How do I leave this room? 
I'm walking into the mirror. Nothing's happening. Oh, the free passive locked at the other roof. That's brutal. I saw it was a green mask, though. Chat tried. For some reason, it did not let me go to the other room, even though I touched it. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, hey, Hollow Heart. Nice. We were just talking about you. That is a huge upgrade for us. That is going to pretty much ensure that I win the run. Now, I just need to level whip with chat's help. So we still have... I can go back for the Bracer and the Wing once we get two more passives. That way we can ensure we level up Pachone. I know chat loves Pachone. I promise you, I've not forgotten. We're going to slowly make our way down there, I think. Oh, it looks like it will let me go back to the Greed Mask if I want to go. Yeah, I think with the duration up... Oh, there's so many chests here, though. That's a problem. Um, I'm just going to pick up a couple chests right now. Right, I leveled up Chat's Beloved. I'm going to pick up another one. Ooh, Whip's getting close to Mastery. That would be huge. Once I get Bloody Tear, it's pretty much over. Chat has given me armor, so as long as I don't die in one hit, it's pretty much good. Yeah, we're leveling Garlic. I forget what goes with Garlic. Is it like a recovery heart or something? I honestly don't remember. It's been a while. I don't think we've seen whatever goes with it, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we're going to make our way towards chat, chat's beloved upgrade. Whip is almost done. Red heart. Nice, nice. Makes sense, because I think it had to do with, like, HP regen. Which, again, garlic, I think, also causes pretty silly things to happen. Ooh, double level up. That's kind of nice. Chat holding off for beloved, which is fair. So if they max the weapons first, it's more likely to see their beloved again. Ooh, a nice level up. There's a boss who has, like, no ability to approach me whatsoever. Yeah, if they, if they get Whip out of the way, they're very likely to see another weapon. That also works, I guess. I'm just going to collect as much XP as I can right now. That boss got deleted. Yeah, so we have bonus health. I'm somewhat tanky. Definitely a much easier stage than Plant. I don't really know why Plant was left the way it was. I feel like that level is like nearly incompletable. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this should have been before Plant. Plant is like, oh, do you not have like all the best items ever? Oh, that's a shame. That's a weird series of choices. I was going to save Bracer for when we were out of passives, but that's fine. That's a bit unfortunate there. Yeah, because we, we had free... We, I, I mean, it... it Chad had no choice, to be fair. That was, was kind of brutal. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I, I understand. We can already get Wing. Don't worry, Chad. Wing's guaranteed. Pachona, your beloved, will be there. We just need, like, one more passive item, and then I could go collect Wing. Oh, Whip's almost completed, though. Whip's so close. Yeah, if that light source has a magnet, we're pretty much going to level like three times. Oop, Ebony Wings gets a chance to level. Nice. More, more Pachone action, sort of. I mean, I'm not going to say no. It basically has 100% uptime right now. So it is helping. I want to make sure not to collect that until Whip is at max. Yeah, thanks to the Bible, I think we're basically GGing them. I don't see how they could get through this. 
Maybe when it becomes like the oops all skeletons, they'll get through. But this wave, not really. Come on. Level up. Do it. Whatever chat wants to do here, I guess. Could level Bracer or technically give Brown or whatever. I think it really matters. Ooh, almost leveled from that. Come on. There we go. Alright, so Whip's leveled, so I should be able to just go pick up the uh, upgrade. I don't know if we have the recovery heart. I haven't seen it once so far. It might not be unlocked. Hopefully this will be big XP. But oh, there's Duplicator, finally. I don't think we really need Clover unless we're going cross or something. Now chat has to pray they get the right item. We should just be able to pick this up for free. Okay, here we go. Here's the survivability. So even if they somehow get through the garlic, it should just be GG at this point. How many wings will level? So we're just keeping fingers crossed. Actually, technically, if chat... Well, it doesn't really matter what chat does at this point. <clears throat> if they slowly max my passives, eventually it'll stop giving them to us. But let's go pick up Wing, because I think that increases the odds of getting the counterpart weapon. <laughs> Lightning ring tempting chat. Chat, chat holding strong for Pachone. Alright, let's, let's go for the Wing. Which is pretty far, but I think we can make it. I'm kind of curious what happens if I pick up the Bracer when I'm already maxed with Bracer. It's something that doesn't usually come up very often in normal gameplay. Yeah, we're gonna brute force our way through here. I mean, just look at this. This is just cleaving everything. Not to mention I'm getting healed. My healing is doubled. So just like all that right now is just disgusting. Base area up. Yeah, the only downside is we never ended up picking up a Candelabra, because that would have made uh, Pichone much stronger. But on the plus side, we have Duration up, which does synergize pretty well. Maybe Projectile Speed affects it? I'm really hoping we get a Magnet item at some point. I'll go back up just to get the Gold Fever stuff. bad. A little extra cash. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we're already deleting the dragons shows, like, where we are. That's a lot of light sources. Do they have what I want? I don't think so. Ooh, we're getting dangerously close to running out of weapons to upgrade. Alright, let, let me go back for the wing for chat. Just to hopefully force it to be in there. As I, chat can correct me if I'm wrong. They play with the waiting system a lot in the game. I think if you have the passive, you are more likely to see the weapon. Not, like, hugely so, because every weapon has individual rarity. I'm actually going to not pick up that chest. Any box is a free weapon, which might end up being Pichone, actually. I'll do it for Chad. I, I will manually select Pichone if it's in there. I'm going to pick up the wing first, though. I'll try not to use it right away. I'll give chat a chance to get it. So if chat gets locked out, I will I will try to see if I can get Pachone with it. Alright, we're gonna leave that. I'm gonna go back for it. This is for you, chat. I'm gonna leave the bracer for now, but I, I want the wing. It'd be very close to me. There it is. There you go. This is for you, chat. Let's hope this improves the odds a little bit of it spawning. Now, since I have Bible and Garlic, basically projectiles should never hit me. I do want to see what happens when we hit Max Bracer. We need three more. I wonder if it's just like a, like Bracer 6 or if it just stops there. Luck boost would be huge because we have a crit bonus from our whip. I don't think anything else we have crits. 
I know fire one can crit, even though it doesn't say it. Oh, I almost touched the candy box. That would have been bad. Again, I'm trying to give chat a chance, but man, the XP here is so slow. Which is weird, because we have so many upgrades. And I have an okay might score. Weird. Yeah, luck boost. Come on. Come on, candelabras. Oh, hey, boss. There's a candelabra. Just normal money. Game is teasing chat at this point. Because once that happens, then we could get another weapon on top of it. I just don't remember if Candy Box gets a guaranteed Pichone. I know it lets me select the weapons I can't normally get, like the characters that start with the special weapons before I've unlocked them. I don't remember if it lets me choose Pichone. But either way, I think it makes more sense to just select this than get the candy box. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're pushing them away, but they're not dying. Come on. Oh, Pichon. Well, Ebony Wing just bullied the boss there. I saw that. Come on. We just need a magnet ability. So I'm moving around a little bit because now that we have luck score, <laughs> I do increase the odds of getting a magnet. Speaking of which. All right, so Chad has some gimmies. So if they, if they keep leveling, I think, armor out of the way or bracer. That would probably increase the odds of getting something useful. Oh, Ebony Wings actually maxed. Wow. Luck bonus also gives chat more chances at getting Pichone. I would probably level Spellbinder because it's closest to max. Because the, the, the more you remove passives from the pool, the more odds you're going to see a new item. Alright, so we could remove Spellbinder completely from the pool. And that means Ebony Wing will be up almost 100% of the time. There's some synergy there. Also, that makes the Bible way stronger. A little harder armor. Probably armor just to cap it. But yeah, our survivability is insane right now. We don't even have another weapon. We're doing it for chat. Ooh, a rosary to kill everything. I'm doing my best to try to level chat. I'm taking so little damage. Thanks to double healing. Oh, and I think double healing in in improves passive healing too, if I remember correctly. So the fact that we have any kind of passive recovery health is kind of funny. Come on, level up for chat. Come on. We have so many chests, but no Pichone. Come on, game. Oh, you got Pichone! You did it, chat! You held out! <laughs> chat rewarded! <laughs> Pichone time. Bash that four. Yeah, there you go. And Pichone you trust. Okay, let's get the candy box now. Uh, do I have anything worth upgrading? No. I'll save the chest for later. Oh, uh, there's a magnet again. Let me pull that. Okay, so so I think it would have let me choose Pachone, but I think because we have Bracer, I guess I just go Knife, right? Or I have Duplicator for Lightning Ring. You know what, Chad? I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you help decide, because you can't technically pick this, but I can pick this. I'm thinking it's between Lightning Ring for AoE, Knife, because we have Bracer. Both of these, we could get the upgraded one. I don't remember if we got upgraded Lightning Ring or not. I guess I'm maybe leaning towards Lightning Ring. Knife is not bad for bosses. I don't know if we have any boss damage problems because we do a magic wand. Bone. Does chat want me to get bone? Lancet? Uh oh, I see a tie. I need somebody to break the tie. Skip. Wow, brutal. So it's a three way tie. Who, who will acquiesce? Well, welcome, Solari. Hope you're doing well. 
Oh no, chat chat mixed. <laughs> sure. Okay, I see at least two. I see at least two for Lancet, question mark. Lancet's okay. I don't have the other thing that makes it OP, but I think it's fine. Oh no, two bone, two lancet. Welcome, Hellcleave. I guess if chat hasn't seen bone before, I guess that makes more sense to do. Let, let's let's put in bone. It, it was close. It was almost lancet. Yeah, let's do bone. There you go. Chat can level the beloved. If you get Pichone up to two, I might be able to still get lancet. That That's the other thing I'm thinking about. Because once Pichone upgrades with Ebony Wing, I get a free weapon. There's another poor boss that stands no chance against this combo. Chad has definitely helped build a pretty solid build. I tried to be fair with the candy box. I mean, just look at this madness. Do I have, like, a million chests to choose from when the time comes? Uh, I'm actually not going to pick up the magnet right away. I think this is one of those instances where if chat chooses Skull Swarm, I think that would actually just give me XP. I think our build is so strong. I think I can survive Crab Fest as well at this point. So if chat wants to see some of those, I should be able to survive that. Like, early on, no way. Right now, definitely. Come on, get a level up. There's Skull Swarm. Deleted instantly. Yeah, Pichone needs... What is that? Three, five more levels after this? We're getting there. Pichone. All right, now I'll, t now I'll take the Magnet. Uh, if chat maxes armor, it'll stop prompting it. <laughs> that'll that'll be the upside. You're more likely to see Pachote if armor is gone. There we go. So my survivability is pretty much guaranteed at this point. It would take a lot to kill me. Like, granted, there's going to be enemies that resist the knockback effects of our stuff. But we have so much healing. That's where, like, Lancet would potentially stop time so they don't get pushed back as much. What is... Oh, what is Molise? I actually am a little scared of that one. Is that is that the death? If that's death, that'll make me kind of sad. Oh, I got a purple card somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, we want to pick up the purple cards if they appear. Wait, what? You lied to me. That's a purple card. You liar. Purple chest. I thought you were supposed to give me Arcana. Liar. The color was a lie, chat. Nice. Ooh, Pachone's getting closer. I mean, we have duration up, cooldown, and I have duration up on my passives. So both of those should be at basically 100% uptime. Oh, our XP is slowing down, even with bonus XP. They're just taking a little too long to kill. I might have to take a chest here, just to level. Yeah, let me take HS. It gave me Bracer, it's not what I wanted. Open for Pichone. Yeah, we still have two chests. We only need one to level Pichone. So it's worth it to try to speed that up a little bit. Yeah, look how many Bibles are out due to the duration up and cooldown reduction. Yeah, they have to get through the wall. I still don't know what Gravity Juggle does at all. I'm going to be honest with you. If chat knows, let me know. My controls aren't reverse. I don't notice anything in particular. 
Maybe it's like if you chuck an axe, it makes a difference. Ooh, check and max out duplicator to increase the odds of Pachone. So that is going to just be super strong with our combos. So pretty much all of our weapons benefit from this except for garlic. Bone is in there somewhere. I see two bones. Maybe that's impacted by gravity. Another candy box? Oh my gosh. If I get that, I think the run is like ultra over. Oh, Pichone's getting so close. Base area up 40%. Nice. Hey, we might choose Lancet after all, chat. Look at that. <laughs> Look how convenient that is. Yeah, if we get the other candy box, I'm just going to put it in Lancet immediately. Ooh, got another Pachone. Eventually, we'll upgrade Bone. But once Pachone combines with Ebony Wing for people that haven't seen the game before, it frees up another weapon slot. And then chat gets their ultimate weapon. Chat loves Pachone. When it becomes, what is it, double dual wings? I forget what it turns into. Two birds become one. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> and since Chan has eliminated so many passives, at this point it is very likely to appear. Yeah, more cooldown reduction is kind of huge. One level away from ultimate Pachone. Candy box spawned. The chest near me. Just need to level one more time. I could technically get the candy box now, depending on where it is. I honestly could barely see through the, the chaos that's happening. There's a magnet, so that should level me. Wow, it didn't give chance Pachone. Oh, wow. No Pachone with luck bonus. What's the point of 80% luck if it doesn't give you Pachone, chat? That's BS. Well. Uh, let's try to see in this chaos. There's the box. Another treasure chest. There's the candy box. I guess I can pick this up now. So we'll just do Lancet for chat. Since that was the other choice. And then we'll still get another weapon once Pachone levels again. So don't worry, we still have a chance for Lightning Ring as well. Chat just really wants to nuke this area. Come on, level, level, level. We have Whip for healing. Jelly Swarm, probably good. Probably a good good thing. That, that forces XP. I like chat's thought process on that one. How did it not give chat Pachone? That's actually madness. Actual madness. Any box an update on where this map? Oh no, it's from crowd control. So it'll just give you a free item. Oh. Oh, giant crab. It's actually annoying because I don't think I can hit him. I think I have to take this. Sorry, chat. I don't think I have an ability to kill that boss. Wait, did I get another one? What? <laughs> Super candy t Wait, you can get more than one candy box? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um... What? I, I mean... I think I just Gorgeous Moon, right? To kill the boss? I don't think I bother with these other things. Because this shit... Like, as, as nice as it is... Oh, it's called Vandalier. As nice as it is to just get something randomly, I think this is just over. Let me take Gorgeous Moon. I need that to survive the thing that's attacking us. Plus, this will level me. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Yeah, Heaven Sword was in there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, how did it not get Pachone? Actual madness. I'm trying so hard to level Pachone, chat. I'm trying so hard. I even did the option that is most likely to grant it. So we're only going to get a couple uses of it, but more importantly, we killed the other thing. Come on, where's the level? Where's Pachone? There it is. So the run is now out of control. <laughs> I didn't know you could get more than one candy box. That's the first time that happened. Okay, here we go. We, we can finally upgrade Pachone. 
It's so beyond over. Oh, triple level up? It's definitely over. Look at that money, Chad. Enjoy your animation. You earned Pachone to become Vandalier. More movement speed up too, so I could collect items faster. Nice. If we somehow get Laurel, I might actually be able to kill Death at the end. This Luck boost, Reaper's that's good. Power. I mean, at this rate, it could happen. Oh, no, it can't happen because uh, we're out of slots. Unless we somehow get another candy box. I think at this point, it doesn't really matter what Jack gives me. It's just over. I have so much healing. I'm still going to die to death basically instantly. But I might as well just pick these up. Sure, we'll improve Clock Lancet. Sure, I'll pick up another treasure chest. Sure, I'll get more max health. I don't think they're going to kill me. Spoilers. Like, I whip for double health heal as well. This is the Reaper's That poor boss. Another candy box? Are you serious? Wait, I might actually get Laurel? Wait, wait? Oh no. Oh wait, chat. I think I think if, if I get Laurel, I think I just win, right? Because then I can survive death. I mean, I have like three minutes or so to do it. Oh my gosh, the candy box is out of control. I don't remember what combines with uh, Laurel. Oh, I think it's Red Cape. Laurel, Clock Lancet, and Red Cape, I think. I mean, if I get if I get Candy Box, I'm gonna go for the Death Kill. Spawn somewhere near me. There's so many enemies, I can't see where it is. I didn't see where it was. <laughs> I saw, I see the treasure chest, but there's so much on the screen still, sadly. Oh, I have two minutes to look for it. It's above, okay. More movement speed helps, so I can find it faster. And there's the treasure chest. Oh, there it is, yeah, there it is. I mean, I think I just go for Laurel, right? <laughs> Weirdly, I can take Pentagram due to how that happened earlier. Yeah, let's just go for Laurel. I think I just hold still and let the game play itself for a little bit. We have like the ultimate death ray around us. Yeah, the fact that we could get the moon ability without needing the crown is kind of silly. Oh boy. Oh boy, here come the upgrades. Half expecting another candy box? It's out of control for sure. Well, needless to say, I'm gonna be able to purchase some new characters after this. This poor boss can't do anything to us at all. We're, thro we're throwing so many bones and wands. Like, what are they gonna do? They can't approach this. It's over, chat. And we have Laurel. And Clock Lancet. Oh, something spawned on me? That was cute. I think Pile of Salt hit me briefly. But thanks to Laurel, I took, like, no damage. So yeah, Clock Lancet maxing plus Laurel maxing is kind of GG to the death. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to kill it without, like, the Ultra BS items, but we might be able to get the Survive 35 minutes. And I might be able to cheese it by going in that one mirror. Because there is that alternate area. Let's just pick these up. There is that one mirror I might be able to use to cheese death by making him spawn somewhere he can't hit us. Yeah, let's just get these real quick. Oh yeah, there we go, Chad. There's the survivability. <laughs> so even if we only have a minute and a half left, we have some ability to deal with this boss now. So we're not going to get a lot of bonus gold from extra chests, but you know what? I think I'm okay with that. Where was... Okay, I think it's up here. If I rush really quickly... Or I could just get Magnet now, that's fine too. 
If I rush really quickly, I think we could get to uh, the place where I could dodge death, maybe. We might be able to cheese death again if I'm fast. Jack could do whatever they want. At least I have some points in Laurel. I'm going to try really hard. I have a minute to get there with movement speed. It might happen. Maybe. So we might be able to confuse the game a little bit. Ultra Swarm, I'll just murder you real quick. And we move so quickly now. Oh, we have to be so close to it. There it is. So I might be able to use that to dodge death. We have shield and lancet to stall. We might be able to get it to max level, Laurel. It's close. It only has seven levels. I mostly just need the level ups to cooperate here. So it's possible we'll be at max Laurel. So if we touch that, we should be able to go into the other dimension. Okay, hopefully this levels us. Alright, so we could get Laurel to max. Sadly, we will not get the Bowen to max level. But Vandalier already did its job. Oh, speaking of which. Jack can choose whatever they want here. I think I ch Oh, I'm getting cheese. I'm getting cheese. Come on. Oh, I got cheese. That's so unfortunate. The Molise spawned there. Oh, we would have been fine. So that broke our laurel, and there's not much I could do about that, sadly. Yeah. The, it did delay Damn. the deaths from spawning, but there wasn't supposed to be anything in that room. I guess they thought about that. That's so sad. Defeated 10,000 enemies, so we unlocked Prochi, unlocked Hyper Gallo Tower. We defeated the giant enemy crab. Random Mazo should make the run very easy going forward. We got the new character that says unlocks question marks. We got garlic to level 7. Congratulations, Poe. Find the Randomazo Unlocked Healing. A level 5 for the Melda. Waltz of Pearls. Still 60 entries. Oh, we unlock Banish. Useful for later. Evolve King Bible, just extra money. Uchi Min Hyper Mode for three normal stages. Sure. Let's see what we can increase. <clears throat> I should probably get one of these characters before I do anything else. Like, Christine is dumb. Probably buy her outright, and we're going to buy probably Porta. For Arca. Arca's also. Well, I'm just going to get both. We're going to go ahead and refund our power ups. Order of operations. So I think cooldown is the most expensive one that I want. Luck up. I could go for luck up, I guess. And then after this, I. I think I just want area, speed, duration. Might as high as it can go. One or two points in health. Oh, I could still get all of them? Oh. I was not expecting to have money left over after I did that. Um, oops. Well, that's fine. Something like this is fine. I don't really need recovery at max. I guess I'll take movement speed up. The luck will help with giving chat extra chances at uh, the other power-ups. That's fine. We don't have to be optimal. I would like to play a different character, so it's nice that we beat it with Imelda. Arca's pretty stupid because his permanent cooldown reduction just makes him one of the better characters. Christine is super broken. If chat helps me with this character, she's like the best character in the game. Although if I play Christine, I should probably play with Crown. 
Uh, yeah, we're almost at the point where I want to play Christine. We're like a little bit before then. I guess I could do Porta. So the question is, where do I want to go? I could go to the Bone Zone. No items drop, enemies grow stronger over time. I think there's an item in the Bone Zone that I want. I'm just thinking about if I want to go anywhere else. We never got a item in the library. And we can see there's something in Green Acres. I think that's the music player. Let's go back to the library real quick. Listed weapon patrol projectiles get up to three bounces. Oh, that's the thing we unlocked? Oh, chat, come on. I pick only the worst option, but I don't know this game. Welcome, Calvisha. I mean, chat, this is what I'm talking about. This makes most of the items of the game, like, ludicrously unfair. Not that Serenade of Healing is bad or anything. It's just that this is just truly disgusting if chat gives me any of those items. So we should have a mystery character. I guess I'll go for the mystery character. I mean, look how fast he's attacking right now. Oh no, Chad already has Pachone, their beloved. It's already here. It was meant to be, Chad. Chad loves their Pachone. I mean, funny enough with this character, he is basically constantly attacking with it early on. So I might take advantage of this and just farm a little bit. You get birds and you like it. It's true. Hi, Bon. Oh, somebody get booted. Rip Bon, I guess. Ooh, Rune Tracer. Interesting. All behind this. Definitely not Ricochet Stone from Castlevania. Wink. Three passive this early? I don't even know what that would be. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvisham. Ooh, interesting choices. Spellbinder for Bible, Crown for Pentagram, Lightning Ring because it's broken. Do a chat picks. Where projectiles is always welcome. That also benefits super well with Rune Tracer. Yeah, unfortunately, I think my temporary bonuses were off because I leveled too much. Now my clear speed's a little awkward. What is the free passive? Oh, area of effect. Not bad. There's the pentagram or rune tracer. It will probably delete the free passive, which is funny. I'm not gonna lie, that would be very funny. Uh, so we need to somehow get some kills. Uh, needed to ricochet somewhere useful. There we go. Or, or not, never mind. Direct. Come on, I, I need like another weapon. I need something that does like consistent damage or cooldown reduction. Either is fine. Come on, something useful. Another Pachone knife, spinach bracer. Interesting. Yeah, fortunately we have pretty decent health recovery, so I'm not super worried at the moment. So getting to this bonus character is going to be very interesting. Please let one of these be Fire Breath. I can't even pop it. I don't have anything that attacks it. It's so awkward. Come on, Rune Tracer. Oh, there's Empty Tome. Honestly, Magic Wand or Empty Tome. I'll take whatever Chat's Mercy is. I don't care which. Just as long as we have more uptime on attacks, that's all I care about. Yeah, the magic wand bounces currently. 
The magic wand is actually like a mini AoE clear for me, which is kind of nice. You'll see it hit up to three targets now. That's the power of the arcana we had earlier. Yeah, see, now we're leveling like super quick in comparison. Pace area up 500%, wow. Yeah, the one bouncing is going to be super crucial, I think, for clears. There we go. So things like projectile speed, duplicator, AoE to some extent would help. We'll see what the luck of the draw is, though. Light sources. Come on, fire breath? Fire breath? You gotta be kidding me. At least a magnet. A magnet would have been good. Whip is interesting. But between Pichone... I, I feel like chat will level Pichone, which is fair. I mean, if it levels more, it means that I'm going to get better AoE. So many things I left behind. It's okay, though. At least I should be able to come over here without too much of an issue. There's the boss. Axe. Axe is interesting. I think Axe also bounces. I saw Fire 1 was there, Cross was there. I'm assuming Axe was. I kind of remember that being ultra OP. Goodbye, that boss. We'll save the treasure for when we have, like, slightly better weapons. Right now, I don't care. Technically, I could pick up the Curse Mask and get Greed. I, I don't think I've unlocked it as an item. I don't know if I really want to unlock it this early. I'm like, maybe one more clear from doing it, I'm thinking. Like, once I start having a choice of getting XP up consistently for Christine, because it's important for her to level, because it's awkward, then after that, all I care about is gold. Man. I guess I could unlock it. Yeah, let's just unlock it. I don't remember what pairs with it offhand. That's fine. Ooh, armor for Rune Tracer. That could be nice eventually, where it becomes no future. Yeah, I think for a while it didn't have anything that paired with it, but I think they added pretty much a uh, weapon for every item at this point. Come on, Ricochet Bounces, I need you. Collect these items real quick. Ooh, a luck boost. Well, there's Fire Wand. I know Fire Wand also bounces. That I 100% remember. You know what it pairs with, you're not gonna like it. Oh no. How ominous. Yeah, see, now we have a boss killer that ricochets. So if we just want to fill the screen with chaos, this is a pretty good build for it. Because again, it makes Fire one, Fire 1, which is normally just okay versus a single enemy, actually like a medium sized crowd clear, especially with Duplicator and stuff like that. I mean, look at this. They can't really approach anymore, and we don't even have anything too crazy. Eventually, Fire 1 will crit. Yeah, like, look at this, chat. It's just absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like, they can't even approach. Look at this. Thank you, Ricochet, Fire 1. Let's go pick up some XP for chat. Ooh. Or Pachone. No, no Ebony Wings so far, though. If I see the wing, we'll, we'll pick it up for sure. Pick these up. Pick up a red gem. Oh, there's spinach for fire wands. The track door works with Santa water, but I don't think Chat can afford to get that yet. That just improves the damage of Pachone. Again, good synergy so far. I don't super care about stone mask upgrades at the moment. 
Chat will refuse to get whip because we absolutely do not want to lock out Ebony Wang. Unless we get Candy Box, then Chat might get saved. Ooh, interesting choices. Lightning Ring's getting closer to leveling. We're still missing Duplicator. Magic Wand would be good too. Yeah, right now we just have the kind of chaos build. Well, there we go. <laughs> All solid choices. Lightning Ring the closest to maxing. It having more AoE is nice. If we get Candelabra, that would make a big difference on most of our moves. Oh, there's a uh, Empty Tome. Empty Tome is huge. Technically, we could pick those up at the far end, but it probably just makes more sense to grab it now. There we go. More Pachone. I would definitely like that magnet. Thank you, game. Time to power level. Ooh, still no Ebony Wing. But we have we have boosted luck to try to improve the odds of seeing it. I don't know if that changes its waiting at all, but at least it gives us a fourth option on occasion. Wow, that was like a near instant level up. Or else I think also ricochets. That could be fun later for a candy box item. But for now, there is only Pachone. Yeah, if we could get Bracer, Bracer would be like the ultimate final item, because then we would have super fast fireballs. But slow fireballs are also kind of funny, to be honest. Go this way. Just loving all the ones and threes and Bs and chat. Hello, Pile Assault. That's what hit me last time in the tower. Fortunately, I had max armor. Oh, there's Ebony Wings. Chat rewarded for their patience. <laughs> Chat's like, you will always get Vandalier. Yeah, let's pick up these items. How far are we from the bonus character? Not that far. Then I can start picking up those other treasure chests. Yeah, so far we have not maxed a single item, but we still have like 20 minutes. Fun. With Arcana, it's less of a concern. Arcana is like maxing a weapon at the start. Th that's how I kind of view it difficulty wise. Like, yeah, it's good enough. Another free passive. Interesting. We have one Candelabra waiting for us eventually. I'll pick that up on the way back. I'm curious what it'll give us. There's the character. Well, fortunately, we have Ricochet, so I should just be able to outpatience this and be fine. Uh, so I could go pick up this character now, I think. Oh, there's Wings. Wow. It, it knows chat too well. It just knows. I think I gotta kill these before it lets me open the chest. Again, we have pretty much max recovery. I'm not super worried here. Oh, the witch is unlocked. Nice. Thank you, Porto Ladonna, but the vampire's in another coffin. Yovana Grana joins the survivors. Nice, nice. We could get the wing for free. We just need two more passives. So we're, we're waiting on Duplicator. So wing, Candelabra, if we get Duplicator and Bracer, I think would technically be like the ultimate pair. Armor would be nice, but I don't think I need it with this much damage. With weapon bounce, I don't know if defense is needed anymore. <laughs> like, eventually the final, like, five minutes will be rough, but... If we just go pure offense, it might not matter at all. Especially since with uh, Ebony Wing leveling up, I could just get a Laurel, which would also fix things. And again, we have like very slow healing. That swarm. The Lightning Ring about to max, but sadly no Duplicator still. Pichone not too far away from maxing. Eventually, we need to get a chest. But we need Duplicator to do that. Thank you for the Bat Swarm. That XP.
Okay, right, they got a little aggressive there, but that's fine. Come on. Yeah, we don't have a weapon to really benefit from the healing arcana. So we mostly just need to complete arcana challenges to power up. Yeah, Candelabra at the end will be huge. We just need, like, Duplicator, and then I can start picking things up. But until that happens, I don't want to pick it up. Come on, Duplicator. Damn, yeah, still no Duplicator. Pichone almost leveled, though. Yeah, it's weird we haven't seen it still. 80% luck, we're still not getting the pairing. Unfortunate. Damn, I could really use a magnet right now. Yeah, there's the wing that I'm gonna pick up at some point. But we, we still don't have our core abilities. Oh, go swarm. They're almost able to get through. Mostly because we haven't found duplicator or cooldown. It's not been maxed. All right, Pichone can max. That's that's more important for chat. That eliminates it from the, the wheel of things it could give us. And then hopefully Ebony Wing will start getting some love from the uh, RNG. That already seems like we're doing decent-ish. Yeah, there should be a lot of bonus XP. And Alabra's okay, but we can pick that up later. Hollow Heart doesn't really matter. Magic Wand with upgrading would be huge. Uh, don't think those projectiles matter. Ooh. Technically Rune Tracer, but Empty Tome is also pretty solid. I would I would be happy with either. Alright, that's good. War damage. Another luck boost. Could be nice eventually. Oh, finally we get to see some Ebony Wings. We're still missing Duplicator. That's crazy. We haven't even seen it once as an option. Luck bonus be damned, apparently. Okay, Red Crystal should give us XP. So, Ebony Wings is getting stronger. If I have to, I will manually go pick up that wing. I, I prefer not to, but like honestly, the passes it's giving you is kind of mediocre at best. Like we have really good ones, we just don't seem to be drawing them again. Like Spellbinder is okay. I'll take that over some things. But yeah, we're really hoping for a dupe at this point. More damage from Fire One bounces, respectable. hoping to get a uh, magnet from that, but that's fine. Thank you, chat, for the luck boost. On game. Be kind. There's the duplicator. Jeez, that took forever to get to. Now I can finally pick up a chest. Assuming chat gives me the dupe. That just way increases our damage potential. Alright, so this should just be free. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, maybe it was too low level of a chest. Because I'm like, Lightning Ring is definitely maxed. I'm like, don't mess with me, game. That's fine. I think there are some chests that are too low level to evolve. I forgot that was the thing. We'll pick up some chests as we go through. There's another chest that spawned? I mean, I'm going to hold on to this one for a little bit. And we're going to go pick up wings in a moment. Come on, where's the magnet? Where's magnet? <laughs> I want it so bad. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take magic wand or ebony wing at this point. It's, it's a race. As long as one of those maxes, I'll go pick up another chest. Just don't want to see armor level. There's Bracer. That's a pretty good one to pick up now. Because then I could go pick up Wing. A 
mini wing is fine. Fire one probably preferred. Yeah, there's not too many ones I want left. I think it's between like Spellbinder and Bracer. I think for the final passive slot. So if we see any of those, I think those are the huge ones to fill out the build. You have to think of it this way. We have so many projectiles. It'll help. Duration up would help with uh, Pachone. If we see Spellbinder, that one probably synergizes a bit more. And I think that helps with Rune Tracer. There's another card. I'll pick this up in a moment. So, very soon I think I'm just going to go for a mad dash just to go pick up those other items. Because at this point, we just don't seem to be getting what we need from it. The cooldown will help a bit. I guess I'll go pick up the card. Not that I think it matters. I, I th we already unlocked the best ability. Yeah, we, we only have one choice, so... Double healing is okay. I mean, I get passive regen. Let me just pick up these chests. Let's let's move on. Oh, there we go. There's light. There's thunder loot. That will help significantly with our clear speed. So basically, we're just in a race to see which of our four weapons finally caps. Luck boost again would be insane. And yeah, we're seeing the power of the Thunder Loop for sure. Yeah, our XP should go up pretty significantly now. Another luck boost. Mostly just need a magnet. On magnet. Where's the magnet? <laughs> oh, keep getting health ups. There's a rosary. Oh, rosary magnet. What a good combo. There we go. Ooh, empty tome capping. That's huge for our damage. That definitely means our survivability goes up by like a million percent. I think I will take this chest no matter what and we'll start walking to the left. I think we're running low on time. By the 20 minute mark, I want to make sure I have wing. I think I got to start moving now. Okay, level up Rune Tracer a little bit. We can see that it, we're just kind of nuking everything. I think I will go pick this up. All of our weapons level. That's huge. Look at that, chat. We'll let the, the bonuses go by. So getting ever so close. More damage up, I appreciate. More damage from Magic Wand. Everything should just be insta-killing at this point. We're gonna make our way to the left to go pick up the wing. Hopefully we get another passive soon. I can afford to wait like a few minutes for it to try to squeeze out another passive. Yeah, at this point, there's just so much chaos on screen. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Thanks to the number of projectiles, our clear speed's pretty good. There's the wing I'm waiting on. There's another boss, poor boss. Thunderloop is just absolutely killing them. There's so many. Eventually we'll get a Candelabra, or we'll get a combined XP gem like this. So at some point I'm just going to hold still and let the game play itself. We're almost at that point. There we go. Getting so close to maxing a weapon, but Duplicator Up is also pretty good, to be honest. That's pretty much all of our weapons. 
benefit from that. Oh, Ebony Wing. Okay, we're getting close. So if we don't get another passive, I will manually go pick up the wing for chat just to make sure that you could get it. Honestly, at this point, I'll take any passive that chat gives me. I don't I don't think it matters. It's just free a free passive. Because I think the odds of getting Ebony Wing Max are pretty high at this point. Wow, this is just an absolute massacre. Welcome to the Arcana with the bounces. There's Clover. Hound would probably be stupid on this character, because potentially we could still get Pentagram. That's probably one of the other top choices. Oh, we got Clover? Okay. That's fine too. More luck just means more crits. Alright, so I have Wing now for Chan. I accidentally walked into the chest. That was my bad. So our crit potential is pretty high. I don't remember if Rune Tracer can crit once it upgrades, to be honest. <laughs> we have so many weapons that are so close to capping. Like, already enemies can just barely reach us. We have decent defenses thanks to our passives, and we're in an early enough level that we should be able to clear this. Rune Tracer is so close. Yeah, because Cross would be interesting with Clover. So, I'm, I'm cool with that too, honestly. If I get a candy box, it's going to, uh... It's going for the Cross. Just because the Cross barely gets any love. Ooh, there we go. Ebony Wings. We have another chance at a new weapon. Cross would probably be the most interesting. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we'd want from this. We could get Candelabra too. But I think once we do this... I'm just gonna go ahead and collect this real quick. There we go. So technically, we could send up with Axe, because Candelabra is just down the path a bit more. We can level and get uh, one more item as we go here. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Rude Tracer Max. I could go pick up that other chest. And then from there, chat will decide, I guess, the final item. So many enemies instantly die. What can they even do? Look at that, we got 1337 gold. I did it. Pick up to our first chest. I would like to level. Let's do this. Nice Pulsar Swarm. There's another boss. We should die basically instantly. I see the crits already happening here constantly with the fireball. This boss is just getting hard bullied. Come on, where's our level up? Come on. Rune Tracer, you can do it. Ooh, didn't give Rune Tracer, but Fire One's also pretty close. We're like one level away on a couple of these. Let's let's go pick this up for Rune Tracer. Oh, we got a triple level up. Okay, I mean that helps. I just want to double check what level Magic Wand is. One extra projectile on Magic Wand is pretty good, so it's level 6 currently. That's what I wanted to know. Another free passive? Oh no, things are getting out of control very quickly. I think I'll just pick up this chest to be honest with you. Oh, I'll pick up the Magnet first actually, that makes more sense. Magic Wand only one level away. It's possible we might get Fire Wand Max before I pick that up. But we're in a pretty good spot. Ooh, Magic Wand so close to maxing. The Fire Wand I could go pick up with that chest, and we could get the Super Fireballs, which crit, which we have a Clover, and we start with Luck Bonus. Okay, Magic Wand is apparently going to cap as well. And now chat will have some choices as to what my final item will be. Free passive could be something very silly. I know we're guaranteed to get the Candelabra. Oh, I mean, chat's going to choose Vandalier. It's not even a question. 
So having area up on Vandalier would be crazy. I'm gonna try to maximize this damage. Well, there's Axe or Cross. Honestly, both of those are super good choices. We'll get whatever we want with either. Otherwise, Vandalier is there. Okay, got the Cross. So we have more Projectile Madness. I appreciate that. Jack can do whatever they want here. I'm gonna go pick up that chest though, for sure. More crits. We got the cross. Wait, how did... Oh, because it's a low-level chest. I was gonna say, how did that not give us an upgrade? Still could get the free passive, which is silly. D yeah, th now this is just pure, pure chat chaos. Is that an attractor? Sure, you know what? Sure, if we get Santa Water later, why not? Who cares? That boss died instantly, chat. I barely saw that it existed there. Here we go. Now we're getting out of control. So pass this through enemies and potentially bounces. Yeah. Look at this, chat. Mm. More chaos on the screen, indeed. I was gonna say technically cross, but Bandolier, I don't blame you. Might as well make it as good as possible. We still need another chest to upgrade the magic wand. We'll spin it to upgrade, interesting. Oh, just a gold fever. I mean, gold fever, we should be able to get a million cash. This is like one of the best kill builds we have so far. There <laughs> I love how many foods I left behind. We're making our way to the candelabra. Just should be able to do because of movement speed bonuses. I wasn't really expecting to have. I'm gonna go pick up this chest no matter what. Alright, so we level cross again with that. That's perfect. If I could get the AoE, it gives chat more things to level. I mean, this is gonna be monstrous. How much money I get from this. Well, needless to say, this might be going for a while. Is that a rosary? I don't know where it is, because there's so much stuff on the screen. It's near me somewhere, question mark. I guess it doesn't really matter. They all die instantly. Ooh, nice. Potentially another Vandalier boost. Chat going for Max Bird. Goodbye, Bitrate. Yeah, pretty much. 404 cash found. Nice job. 444 acquired. The number of death. Wow. Base area up, and we're gonna get Candelabra. So the scalability of this build is out of control, for sure. Oh, another level up. Well, Vandalier is going to be going off nearly constantly. Sadly, no Spellbinder. That was the only way we could have possibly improved it more, but Spinach... Cool down. Duplicator. I don't think Clover benefits from it. Panic time. We're just making our way forward. We're just looking for the Candelabra, which improves the size of all of our projectiles to be silly nonsense. So, I don't really have anything to fear for a while. Arcana plus chat choices is OP. There's a Rosary. We've killed like 22,000 enemies more than I think most of the other stages we've had so far. We're literally just, they're dying almost as soon as they spawn at this point. Panic time. Oh, there's the, there's the thing trying to kill me. But honestly, our build is so strong, I don't think they can get through this. Like, look how many there are. But it doesn't matter. Actual insanity. <laughs> Why are they still spawning? What is going on? Okay, that's a little crazy. That would definitely have killed the run normally. What was that, like a 200 bombers or something? Get out of here. Panic time is real. Go away. There's another chest. Do I need another item? I do. I'm a little wounded because of how many enemies were there. But this should fix it a little bit. So no cooldown is good. We 
There's a healing source. I would like the healing source. There we go. I finally got rid of them. I like the floating gems slowly going towards us sometimes. Like, look at it. They're like, please. And a lot of us should be here somewhere, right? Oh, I passed it. There's another rosary. I thought it was at the bottom of the screen. Maybe it's higher up. I'm just looking for the candelabra chat. It's panic time, but not for us. It's for the enemies we're feeding it to you. I think so. I'm going to go backwards a little bit. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Anyway, bigger fireball, bigger rune tracer, bigger cross. This should just equal absolute insanity. And it also improves the lightning ring damage, and it also improves Pachote's death ray. I mean, it's technically called Vandalier, but it will always be Pachote to me. Big Bird Pachone says no. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna keep going to the left for now. Base area up, nice. Bigger Pachone. I think with Lightning Ring, it's not getting as much to attack, sadly. Although right now, with its radius, that's pretty good. Like an enemy died, they're just stopped in time. Not quite able to fully die. They were like mid-disintegration. Yeah, the crosses will eventually crit once we get an upgrade. But yeah, this is definitely madness on the screen. I can barely see what I'm doing. I'm thankful the red health bar is following us. Hello, Polter Swarm. Goodbye, Polter Swarm. Oh, hey, there's a boss. We need any items unlocked? We're still waiting on cross. Guess I'll defend this for a little bit. Let's witness the glory of the build, chat. We have lots of projectiles. Near constant death all around us. Ooh, some healing things over there. So technically, if I do need health, I heal double. And we have double our health recovery due to having the other card. So odds of survival pretty good. I'm mostly just looking for a magnet. Hopefully that light source gives us one. Come on, level ups. There we go. Bandolier finally max. That should help with its ability to damage things. It's definitely not its ability to output damage, but just the range it can hit is important. Wow, no cross level up here. I mean, I guess Candelabra because it's funny. I mean, what could they even do about that? Oh, more Lux. Oh, there's cross. There we go. Getting closer. As I said before, I, I think we're going to be fine up to the 25 minute mark. Then after that, we'll see. Oh, more Candelabra. I believe in you, chat. Make Pachone even bigger. Make sure it can hit full screen. I mean, I think it's just going all to Candelabra at this point. You, you don't have to lie. <laughs> it's all good. We're going to have super big projectiles. I could basically just walk in any of my projectiles at this point and be fine. We never got attack speed increase. Well, we're almost max. Technically, we're getting more gold value. But it's probably the least important thing. There we go. Get one of these. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, if light sources ends up being a... Uh... Oh. I mean, I'm going to see here... Oh, there's another purple chest. Just gave us armor. Sadly, we don't have enough Arakana. We need to unlock more. I don't remember the conditions to get them, because some of them are like, survive five minutes past death. Other things like that. Some of them are just like, reach a certain level with a certain character. Like, we'll, we'll eventually get some. We got the most important one, which was the ricochet bounce super early. 
So I'm happy we got that out of the way, because that was one of the better ones. The other one that's super silly is the crit one. If I could remember how to get the crit arcana, that's where our damage just gets super ludicrous, and we don't even bother with any defensive items. So I think we're almost ready to deal with the plant. Because I'll be able to get bonus XP and potentially play as Christine in there. That's what this cache is going towards, mostly. I like that Fire Breath legitimately cannot even reach anything. Oh no, another free passive. Hmm. Will chat tempt the passive or go for Crab Fest? That's gonna have to look in their heart for that one. I need two more weapon ups in order to take that chest. Come on, game. I think I would survive Crab Fest, question mark. Reduce the Swarm has no chance against me. Ooh, cross is so close. Because cross critting actually does it's it like cross by itself is kind of on the lower end of weapons, but when it upgrades to crit, due to all of our luck bonuses, it's we're at 230% luck. So we're gonna be spawning candelabras like near constantly as long as I move. And the odds of it getting improved money are very high. Like, see how like I barely moved on the screen at all and I got another candelabra? Where like I popped all of this, so there's like three items waiting for me here. Yeah, that's the power of all the luck bonuses. Also, another chest appeared, apparently. I mean, at this point, they're just getting mowed down. Weirdly, I think a track door would probably be the next thing we focus on over anything else. Just so I can level faster. Everything is dying off screen. Not close enough to me. I, say, I thought something was up there, but I don't think it was an attract orb. Ooh, a curse? Well, I guess I could take one of those. We got the cross. What does the curse pair with, Chan? I don't consider it a spoiler. I just don't remember. It's been a long time since we played. I know it pairs with something. I mean, I'll go pick it up. Might as well win with curse once. Go for the chest that's over here somewhere. <laughs> one of the many chests. Oh, Song of Mana, thank you. There we go, Chad. We finally have Heaven's Sword. And a Labra improved. Yeah, we should have big AoEs. I mean, look at the blue radius of Pachone. Like, the blue on the screen is where it gets hit, right? Oh, we got more luck bonuses. Of course we did. Yeah, we're gonna be, like, near constantly critting. Heaven's Sword can crit. You get another greed mask, sure. I mean, at this point, it's just like, what can the game even do? Armor up? Man, that's not even fair. Oh, Candelabra is almost at max. Make the game harder with Skull of Maniac. I don't think we picked that up before, so that counts towards achievements. Yeah, now, now we're going pure bat. Another free passive? Oh no. Fire breath. Not that anything can reach me at this point. Anything else worth picking up? Oh, I noticed the, t the, the tomes disappeared. Oh, I can still get the other item. Okay, if I hurry up, I could get the other item. The whole point of coming here. Should probably go do that, right, chat? That would make, just make sense. Do the thing you said you were going to do, but then got distracted. Yeah, we have so much luck score that candles should be appearing basically every screen transition. I mean, look at this. Oh, there's a bracer. Chat got me bracer? Oh, man. No, not, not faster projectiles. Oh, no. That's a big increase in our damage. Holy. Yeah, bracer now just means that we are just absolutely flooding the screen. It makes their bounces faster. So our DPS has not hit a limit still, somehow. I respect the Attract Orb to give us more experience. I 100% respect that, because we, we could barely pick up this XP. We're killing, like, literally tens of thousands of enemies. That's right. I would love to get an Attract Orb. Where is... I'm going side to side looking for one to drop, but I haven't seen one drop. Uh, definitely Bracer. That's going to help if we start leveling Skull of Maniac.
Holy. Even with the empowered enemies. Let me just look at this chat. They're getting bullied. Still no attract orb. Because that is guaranteed to level us like five times once that happens. I'm near the item. I'm going to trust the game that I'm near it. It's around here somewhere. Ooh, Bracer again. That'll mean we have like Machine Gun Fire, Magic Wand, and Heaven Sword, and Rune Tracer, and Pachone to some extent. Imagine Pachone's rapid fire damage is just gonna land instantly. So they have to get through. Yeah, panic time. There's a boss. That boss died instantly. Now, let's have a moment of silence for that boss. <laughs> I think it lasted three seconds. There's so much damage on screen with the crits. Oh, Attract Orb. Nice, nice. <laughs> it is a horrible Rainbow of Death. There we go. Ooh, Bracer or Attract Orb. I'm fine with either. Technically, you could Skull a Maniac for more money. That, that'll be like the final four minutes. Don't get me wrong. We just have so many abilities to level thanks to crowd control. The odds of us actually maxing a build are pretty low. <laughs> Holy. Speaking of level ups... Oh boy. So we could still get that other item. We did level up Heaven Sword, I think, for the first time. <laughs> Chad, I might have left a little bit of experience behind. That may or may not have been why I was looking for a uh, magnet earlier. But at least with the track door, we should suck up a lot of stuff. Speaking of which. Wow, we actually almost maxed a build. We're down to just wings and the curse. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess will help with me getting the other item faster. And then the last four minutes will be testing the strength of the build, I suppose. I mean, I might as well just pick up that XP up. Chad, I would like to state we have like a 280% luck bonus, but we only got a single treasure. I would like to just state that that is garbage. <laughs> Why is our luck so terrible with treasure chests? Like, legitimately, we've been getting more triple chests at, like, 50 luck compared to everything else. Oh, there's a magnet, finally. We've legitimately gotten more triple chests at, like, base luck than at 200-something plus luck percent. Actual insanity. Here we go. Getting close to maxing. So silly. Where is the site of that? Oh, there it is. Grimly allows you to peek at discovered weapon evolutions and unions from the pause menu. Huh. Right. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, what's that thing to the right? It looks like the Tooth of Vlad. Plus duplicator equals something. I don't know what any of those are on the right side. That's interesting. Also, the bottom one, I don't recognize the wand. That's interesting. So we haven't done the garlic one yet, and that's the only one of the base ones I think we haven't done. Oh, no, no, no. We upgraded, uh... We upgraded to Vandalier. So, it, I don't think it's there. I think you do need to have a wing, but I could be wrong. I guess I could check it again. Like the evolution guide. Did they change it? Yeah, I guess not. Interesting. According to that, anyway. It's okay. We always get movement speed anyway. Oh, we're almost at max curse. This will give me a lot of gold, potentially. Because ex extra XP equals more gold. Because that also improves XP, to my knowledge. Mostly just due to the fact that more enemies spawn. Yeah, look how fast they're moving, but it doesn't matter. So we're actually at max level. Good job, chat. We somehow capped four, five passives over. That means we're getting some pretty good luck. We should unlock an Arcana because this character has gone over 80, but not every character has it, if necessarily. 
Another 5k towards XP up. Maybe I'll do the plant with Christine. Because her extra level up and pentagram plus luck is pretty silly. Wow. I mean, I'm just going to do this chat, right? Oh no, not gold, gold fever. I don't know what ultra wave is though. That sounds scary. I'm kind of curious. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little curious about ultra wave. Gold fever would net us more experience up. I'm, I'm pretty happy with having 5k towards XP up. But she just needs to get out of the rough, like, first six level ups. And then after that, she's totally fine. Because I think she starts with a luck bonus as well, even though it doesn't state it right away. Oh no. I forget if there's... I thought there was a way to lock this in so you don't need to make the choice. And, and weirdly, since we're playing crowd control, I don't actually need to get Banish. Because we just end up with so many items anyway. That's actually, like, pretty much a useless skill to me, which is funny, because in single player, that's, like, the thing to get rid of things that you don't care about. That is so much money from chat. Oh my gosh. It is getting out of control. I'm getting in the thousands, thanks to Greed. Wow. Wow, chat. Wow. Well... I think I'm purchasing some upgrades later. Yeah, that's... That's definitely going to convince me to play Christine. Because she needs at least, like, one XP up, I think. And she needs to have luck maxed. Along with the other abilities. But with this... We might have two solid minutes of Gold Fever. Which will definitely expedite things pretty heavily. So even if I only can get one or two XP ups, that is just permanently faster leveling with the other characters. Which sometimes is a double-edged sword, because I think enemies do grow with level. But on the plus side, if we have anything that requires us to hit a level, like if we're playing like the whale, I think the whale needs us to hit a certain level. Get more passives, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to walk into them, chat. They're like, sort of able to reach us, but not really. Yeah, that's a big money boost. Because I think we were seeing, like, what? Most things were costing a 1000 or so to upgrade at the end. So even if we have to pay for a little bit more up front, because we're doing the uh, gold up first. And we might even get one for just getting this much gold in a gold fever. Because there are, like, achievements where it's just, like, kill X enemies, hit this level, beat this, free passive. Is that a... What is that? Is that a cl warped clover? What is that at the bottom right? I'm going to go investigate. What is that? Oh, never mind. I, I don't think I can investigate yet. I'm still busy leveling. Like, I think there's ones for hitting level 100 for the first time, for example, in general. I know there's ones for surviving death long enough. Oh, that's another gold fever. Wow. I mean, I'm going to go pick up the chest. We're getting another gold fever. So yeah, something tells me the next run is going to be completely bonkers. More gold, because why not? <laughs> right, chat? Why not? I, I don't even know where it is. It's near us, but I can't see it at all. There's just too much on screen now. Yeah, getting over 10,000 gold might be an achievement. Which we are very much going to do at this rate with another minute of gold fever. It says I'm near it, but I definitely can't see it. Question mark. I'm pausing the map. Pausing to try to just look at the map. We're going to be swimming in gold. Definitely. We should be able to get over 10,000. Oh, oh, the gold fever ended, really? Oh, we're so close. Man, even with the greed mask, we didn't get that. That's crazy. I guess I also don't have the passive to boost gold, to be fair. I'm going to be honest with you, Chad. I have no idea where to put it. 
I'm gonna do this to level though. And we might be just a little shy of 10,000, which is a shame. Because we do have greed at max. So in theory, every time we add 25, it should be adding 37, I think. So like, it's still doable. <laughs> like, that's still not many levels we need. It's just unfortunate the gold fever ended a bit early. Getting close. As I said before, I don't even need to max health recovery. If we're playing Christine, we don't even need... Oh, we hit over level 100. Nice. And if we're playing Christine, we don't care about Magnet because she's pentagram anyway. All that matters is we have luck bonus, speed, survivability. need like one more level there we go Ten thousand gold so that should be at least three xp ups and i could potentially still get more characters but we'll play christine first there we go i think there's like vault of greed or something i swear we get something for doing that oh i think there's a boss near me i better not walk into the boss it's hard to tell I think I saw something not die near us instantly when I got hit by the Pachone Death Ray. So I think I gotta move upward slightly to not hit that. So much experience, holy. Well, needless to say, I think we could afford some extra characters. Also, by the way, Chad, I never bothered entering the Konami code on the main menu. I thought about it if I really wanted to do that or not. It unlocks uh, the Bone Tosser character, where you do like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and then I think it's literally BA Enter, I think. I think that's still in the game. Yeah, you get an early unlock. I mean, I could do it. I think it gives you 2,850 gold as well. So like, it, do it does give free money. <laughs> I, I don't know if chat wants me to do that or not, though, so I, I wanted chat to say yes or no because we can unlock it normally i think you kill 500 skeletons to get the uh bone tosser i mean everything here is a red xp at this point it's kind of silly you know what's funny we actually don't have that much knockback in our stuff if we didn't have magic wand i think we could have actually kited death for almost at all eternity because Pachone doesn't knock back. Heaven Sword doesn't knock back. Fire Wand I don't think knocks back. Magic Wand does, though. Oh, another Gold Fever. Oh, wow. I found one on my own, chat. The Luck Bonus is definitely making the Gold Fevers appear a bit more, which is good. I'm happy we increased our base luck. Seems to be paying off with this chat boost. I think there was a boss in there. Nice. So yeah, the odds of us not having what we want by this are pretty low. We might even hit level 120 at this rate. We've been leveling so fast. Almost at 50,000 kills as well, despite them being on tanky mode. So I love the wall of red text. <laughs> right, chat? Like, you see the crits. It just it looks like an army of numbers is fighting me. I don't even see their graphics anymore. It's just like, Pichone is Pichoneing all over them right now. Like, there's nothing they could do. Terrible. Got a little extra gold from it. Poor chat. They're gonna they're gonna destroy the the number one on their keyboard, rip keyboard. Well, needless to say, we beat the library again. This is probably my favorite stage because it's not very hard, and it's very easy to rack up kills, and it has a cooldown tome. So this is usually my favorite one for leveling early on. That's why I brought this character here also a little bit. I mean, they're not getting through this. Get out of here. I'll pick up one last little thing of gold. Yeah, we beat it with Curse, which should unlock a character and possibly an Arcana. We maxed out Greed, which should give us an achievement, I think. We have Heaven Sword, so we should get 500 more gold. And we picked up another item, which I don't know what it does. Oh, no, no, we do. It bosses it.
Yeah, this seems about right. <laughs> right, chat? Yeah, this seems fair. Oh, he teleported. What a cheater. So, Toronto's box holds six different weapon evolutions at once. Tragic Princess reached level 50 with Porta after unlocking the randomazo. Extra whiteout, find 20 Orlogions. Okay. Hyper whiteout. Find a stone mask, unlock stone mask. There's so many achievements. So some of these are new. So I don't know what Torona's box is. Level 50 with Porta. So we did unlock a new ability. Evolve the cross. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of things. Yeah, he cheated. And we defeated... Oh, we got the Orca. Okay, so that matters. Find the Grim Evolution. There we go. Is the uh, is the witch the uh, bullet time character? Or not bullet time. Uh, Bayonetta character? I think it is, right? The dual pistols. I think they just redesigned her since I last saw her. The Thunderloop did 4.8 million. Vandalier did 3.6. Given that Vandalier was uh, absolutely getting zoned out by Thunderloop, I think Vandalier put in a lot of work there. The chat can be proud. It somehow managed to do damage in the chaos of what we had. I love how we have so many coin pickups, chat, that it says 4928 on a different line. <laughs> right? Look at, the, look at the items on the far right. We picked up so many single coins the game didn't box. It didn't loop it properly. Oops, or wrap it, excuse me. That's really funny. Poor game. Anyway, well... Uh, well... How much is XP up? It's same as cooldown. Okay. So we're just gonna max that. Then we're gonna slowly go do luck, then armor. And I just get basically all of these. I could greed at the end. Yeah, greed is the same tier as everything else. I don't really care about curse while we're still getting used to the game. Area, speed, duration. Movement is okay. Ooh, I don't have enough. I think. Well, let me refund. Okay, so let, let me think about this. So I definitely want these. I definitely want armor. Might doesn't matter as much with our build. I'm just making sure there's nothing else I could have taken. So I definitely want the character we're about to play. Probably want these three. I probably want health up more than I want damage. I'll take one point in heal, and the rest will go to my. Yeah, so we're a, a little shy of capping it, but I think this is a better spread for us. Where like at least I have some survivability if we're going into the plant, and my damage is still pretty good. I think I'm okay with this. I don't think I need the movement speed in plant. We can always pick that up if we need it. And technically, I can still buy another character. Oh, she's the cat user. I'm sorry. Pugnala is the uh, other character I was thinking. Cat is okay. Rochi. I don't know. He's he's decent, but it's like, uh... Frost is kind of a boring start weapon. Permanent plus 40% duration and speed, minus 40% movement speed. That could be fun. Oh, the Cleric. The Cleric was like one of the... Before we started getting the Arcana, this is one of the characters that beat the game with. Getting the permanent health per second is very silly. Poe is terrible. <laughs> Poe po is the challenge mode character. Just like, oof. I mean, he gets... Some things, I guess. Interesting that we could potentially pick this character that gives Curse. Yeah, the fact that she has 30% innate cooldown is kind of crazy, so she goes good with every build. Downside, her whole total is terrible. We unlock Whiteout. Arctic Mirages and a slow, constant so sore make this a glacier hostile environment. Nonetheless, the mist of the powerful weapon. Mysterious Potion, a cursed woman who hates hot springs, makes for strong moors. So these are new. We'll eventually do those. Let's go back to the dairy, dairy plant and try to just clear it for the first time. Then we will, I guess, try the bonus stages. What was the other Arcana that we got? 
The cooldown of the listed weapons reduce when moving? Oh. Oh, chat, that's kind of important for later. So if we get garlic, Santa water, lightning ring, and I don't know what any of those are other than wheel. That is potentially very silly. Serenade of healing helps us survive later. I think at the beginning, we always just take Waltz of Pearl. Because if we pick up any of these weapons, it's just over. All right, so chat gets to make my choice. Knife, axe, rune tracer. Just don't pick armor, or I'm not going to be able to kill anything. We have bouncing axes, I think. Yeah, that should be huge. Oh, do they not bounce? I mean, I'll let them pierce. That's fine. Maybe because they don't bounce yet. I don't know. That's fine. Either way, we'll get piercing axe eventually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just need to get through those early kills, and then we're good. She moves pretty quickly. Oh, bladed bouncing is different. You're right, I forgot there were two. You are 100% correct. Oh, uh, there's fire. Oh, no, fire water Pachone. Never mind. I know where this is going. I'm going to give fire one the salute. <laughs> oh, man. Oh boy. So we still have the mystery character I never unlocked. We have a tracked orb for uh, Santa Water, which honestly I might just go pick up. We do have the thing that it will potentially scale with, with one Arcana. Oh, the feeling when I can't destroy anything. It's so awkward. Oh, fire breathing huge. Thank you, chat. And then I got, and then I pentagrammed myself. That is so awkward. First item, but increases might projectile speed in area. Interesting. I don't want that at the moment, but it's interesting. I would m probably rather have Laurel. Like, that seems like a cool item to get later. I've not seen that before. That's new. Fire one would have been cool, but not cool as bird. Fair. have like no clear ability one there we go there we go bird did something a little bit there i need to go pick up that xp though i was gonna say we're, we're in challenge mode now all right we managed to survive due to laurel thank you laurel <laughs> just have no clear potential this is so awkward i can't even level oh boy this is super bad if pentagram hits me here, I'm screwed. Oh, please collect that. Okay, there we go. Um, Honestly, whatever, child ones. Boomerang does help. Cross at least bounces. Rosary helps. If we could get our luck bonus up. That would be huge. Got trolled by Pentagram. That's about what I thought was going to happen. Alright, so Cross is helping with the diagonal clears a little bit. If we could get Clover, that would be huge. Oh, the Crown is here. The Crown's also good. Just lock in that Pentagram upgrade. That way we could get through the teething years of this character. Once she gets the full upgrade, she, her damage potential is absolutely busted. He's got to get that bad early game for amazing late game. But at least with cross bounces, I think we'll be fine for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, empty tome. Oh, that's huge. Eventually, Pentagram will also get its own luck bonus increase. So if we don't end up getting the Clover, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, 38% cooldown means way faster pentagram. She's going to be spamming it at some point. Need to hopefully get a level before she does anything bad. There's Fire Wand and Lightning Ring. But then that would like... Ooh, that would lock Chat out of the Ebony Bird, though. So Chat can't do that. Chat needs to pick pentagram, I think. Ooh, Chat locked themselves out, actually. Rip. 
No ebony bird. Rip bird. We have candelabra, which is not bad for all the things that we have. Pentagram's still good. Clover's good. Yeah, Clover's good. We might still be able to salvage it with the candy box. Here's the deal, Chad. If it's candy box, I will go pick up Ebony Wing. No matter what options are given to us. Hmm. Wah! Yeah, wah indeed. Ooh, Spellbinder. Actually, just Spellbinder. Spell Spellbinder actually doesn't do anything here. Disregard. We're fine. Oh, Pentagram. Where's your luck bonus? We have Clover. Oh, I failed the 40% uh, chance of it not deleting. So eventually we're going to level Pentagram so it stops doing that. And then we'll be in a good position. So we have a chest and a mystery character. I eventually can get my own Candelabra if I need it. I might go do chat leveling Pachone. Believing in the this power of candy box, potentially. I mean it might happen. With a better luck bonus, hopefully we could pick up some interesting items here. Yeah, Laurel's definitely helping this character survive big time. With a little bit of passive regen, I'm not taking like insane damage. With her ability to get cooldown reduction, Laurel's also insanely good for keeping her alive. It's definitely one of the best options for her. Wish there were more enemies. We have fire breathing. Pentagram, please. <laughs> I swear, the it feels like we're having a 100% chance of it not triggering. That's so sad. That did everything right for the most part. The game is like, nope. I mean, you might as well just level Pentagram, to be honest with you. We need we need to get it to the point where it stops deleting things. Axe is also okay. How did it... St how? <laughs> how is it still deleting? I swear, we're at 40%, right? Yeah, 40%. Jeez. I'm failing almost at 50-50. It's pretty bad. Eventually, it'll get a 30%, then I think a 60% boost. So at some point, we should get a 100% pentagram. Alright, let's try to get the bonus character. Yeah, our damage is okay. Laurel's keeping us alive. Extra health helps. Armor up from our stuff helps. There's a chest I don't super care about. I guess I could have picked it up, because it's never going to lead to an upgrade. I guess. Oh, hello. Boy, oh boy, it would be really nice if Pentagram actually did delete it. Thank you. See, there we go. We 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 coerced the game into helping me there, finally. I'm gonna move away from the chest, just in case it's an upgrade. I was like, I mean, we were overdue. I was like, come on, you can't have that bad of a luck. I purposely hit the switch, by the way, because I was hoping Pentagram was going off. I don't have the timer memorized, but I felt in my heart it was close. Ooh, we're taking a lot of damage. Um, That's not good. Let's come over here. I mean, I'll take Pachone. I just need some damage, for sure. I'm going to go pick up this chest before it gets pentagrammed. Luck up helps. Uh, and more crown is good. Health up is huge. Other time stop. Oh man, we're not even killing them with basic attacks. This is real bad. We need to get stronger immediately. Ooh, pentagram 25% chance. So in theory, chat, it's a 75% chance it will not delete it. <laughs> Which is kind of appreciated if that activates. We should hopefully get some XP here. Wow, failed the 75%. That's an actual tragedy, chat. <laughs> Bear witness to my luck. That is really, really bad. We needed that XP for sure. I mean, I'm glad it killed the enemies, but there we go. Thank you, Rosary. You're the true pentagram for me right now. We just need to 
Oh, just a little bit more. Fun game. Don't be stingy. Yeah, our crosses are doing literally nothing. That makes killing very difficult. We'll get there eventually. Ooh. I please pentagram again. <laughs> We're just gonna believe and just putting it as low cooldown as possible. Another 10 second reduction. Okay, there we go. Got rewarded so I can finally level again for free. That's just basically a free level up. Gotta get one more thing of XP, I think, and then we're good. There we go. 45% chance. So chat, there's a 5% chance I won't delete my own XP. Or I will, but we'll see what happens. It feels like 5% chance it won't, though, to be honest. I almost thought it did there, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Laurel. Just need some cooldown reduction, and then we'll be back in business. They're forcing me away from XP. Come on, get that level up, please. Get the level up. Hollow Heart is interesting. Here I am again. I mean, we're almost at the point where a chest would equal, like, the best ability in the game, and then from there it's free. We're getting very close. I stepped on that as slightly too late. Need like one more level up and then a boss kill. Alright, whatever chat chooses is helpful here. I just need some AoE of some sort. So we need a duplicator at some point. Armor wouldn't hurt. Cause this is plan. Plan is dumb. Plan is like the killer of runs. Oh, just need just a little bit more. I'm getting bullied away from the XP. There we go. We have Candelabra for the axe, but also Pentagram. Pentagram hitting almost max level. Now it should not ever delete my experience, which is huge. Long game. Our weapon damage even with, with, with might is kind of pitiful. There's a boss. So we just need one more pentagram level, and then we then it's party time. A little bit more. Ooh, light source. Nice, attractor orb, that's huge. Oh, pentagram next level, that's huge. Then I could go pick this up and start power leveling. And then chat could go crazy. Yeah, lightning ring will slowly help. Candelabra's good. I like that it teaches chat what to level up. There we go. Now we're in a good position. So thank you chat for helping me get through the awkward part of Christine. Now the game is basically over. Ooh, crown definitely. Crown right before we get that XP is huge. I don't even care about X damage at all right now. I'm like, if we see cooldown reduction, that needs to be, like, number one. It should just be an instant level up. Oh, speaking of which... Hello, cooldown reduction. AKA giving me faster Laurel, more pentagram. And technically slightly improving our projectiles. Crown, of, crown about to hit max for sure here. So like one more pentagram and I think we'll be in good shape XP wise. It makes up for the little slow start. So I have two magnets I could use. I could go fight the bonus character if I need to. Like at least it looks like we're doing a bit of damage here. As long as we could get like one more pentagram or even like a rosary. I think I could just go touch the magnet later and level. Oh, perfect. This is actually super perfect. 
Ooh, Pachone. Pachone time, I think. Pachone helping a little bit more. The fact that it's now basically always up thanks to her bonus cooldown is helping. I'm gonna hold still, get that XP. Big level up time. It's kind of funny. Axe is usually like the MVP of the early runs, but it just doesn't matter at all with our build. It's nice if it happens, but it's like the fact that we didn't level at all shows like how ridiculous this character is. Wow, the rosary after the pentagram. Disgusting. Good job, chat. All right, now we're getting some potential clears. So we're, we're getting out of the danger zone with this character. Hello, wall of enemies. Uh, I'll just go pick up this chest now. I level chat's favorite. I think we're good. Wow, I can't believe I picked... Oh, another cooldown! So it's, I love that it's keeping our defenses up, but also just making sure we instant wipe. And yeah, now the snowball is happening. So we have so many ranks of cooldown reduction. I wish I could trigger the trap again for more enemies. Oh, her might is a negative number. You know what? That makes sense in hindsight. I was wondering why she was doing so low damage. I guess it makes sense. After a while, you just do the pentagram life. Oh, we're going to counteract her penalty. Interesting. But I think we could go take this optional character now. Oh, wow, that's so well-timed. We're about to get a ton of experience. Take a bite of these enemies, I guess. Huge. Ooh, Candelabra for Axe could be fun later. Bigger Pachone chat. Yeah, spinach definitely helps keep up with the damage. Maybe at some point we'll try the Curse Box. I don't think it helps this character specifically. Oh, there were there were knights I didn't kill apparently. But at least the cross has some knockback on it. Oh, perfect timing. Thank you, Pentagram. I just gotta survive the nonsense projectiles. Which I think do get deleted by a cross at least. But we'll see what chat chooses for our final abilities. So far, no candy box, sadly. Still looking for duplicator. Where the heck is duplicator? We need candelabra and duplicator at some point. Oh, bonus health. Is there anything else I wanted to max? Not really. I'll just take this chest now. Chone leveled, nice. Alright, so what's the new character? Christine Devine, your vampire's on another coffin, and we have unlocked. Pia Pecorina. Oh, that might be the, the Song of Mana character. Alright, so we're a bit tankier. See how it goes. And I think projectiles are mostly dealing with them at least. Here we go. Because eventually we're gonna hit a point where we have like near 100% uptime on Laurel, which will help with like the next five minutes. And in the meantime, we still need to get some clears. So Axe is always good. There's the Arcana that we're looking for. Let's go pick this up. Okay. So I think I, I think I want the Tragic Princess over the healing. Because this affects our Lightning Ring. 
as long as I'm moving, Lightning Ring attacks more often, which I think is fine. I don't think I need the bonus healing. So it should be at like near 100% uptime. <laughs> right, chat? Kind of okay with that. Ooh, Empty Tome leveling again. Jeez. That's going to be huge for our damage. Yeah, at this point, I'm almost curious if the curse box is worth it. I think it'd be great on any area that's not the plant. Like on library, I would definitely take that. Armor, cross, hollow heart. So at some point, we should probably cap a weapon. There we go, more projectiles. Because it's might, projectile speed, duration, and area. All of those are technically really good. Like, does curse really matter in... I don't think it matters in most areas. This area, I'm like, I'm not sure. I would be willing to experiment once we get a couple levels. If it comes up again on another weapon level up, I think it's okay to take. Because we're, we're at the point where cooldown is almost at its max. And the fact that we could get lightning ring up pretty often makes me feel kind of okay about it. Because you can hear it just shooting nearly constantly, which is helping with our clear. Speaking of which... I just hold still for a little bit. Oh wow, I hear the difference when I move and don't move. That's kind of funny. Big level up time. So Axe is almost max. Yeah, so we have Lightning Ring basically spamming. I'm surprised we have still not seen Duplicator. Ooh, Empty Tome. As much as Axe maxing is nice, Empty Tome is so much stronger. I, I could wait a level for Axe. Oh, that's fine. Ooh, you're forced to pick an item for me. That's unfortunate. That's none of the things that we want. Whatever you want, chat. Unfortunate item selection for sure. Armor will help with survival. Chone almost max. We're waiting on Candy Box. So it looks like we will not upgrade the Lightning Ring. I could still get the Candelabra for the Axe. Let me go do that now. So we should still be able to get the upgraded Axe. We're fairly tanky. Ooh, that's huge. I'm gonna hold still. We should kill the boss. Chone is now max level. Yeah, kind of a weird selection the game gave us here. My god. I don't blame Chad on that one at all. That was just weird that it gave us those things and never gave us dupe once. Kind of painful. At least Cross is getting up there. Yeah, our goal is to just try to win it at this point. Let's go for the Candelabra, then we'll come back and get the upgraded axe. I mean, I'm going to hold still every time it's a pentagram. Unless I just do it in circles to speed up the lightning ring. Ooh, cooldown. Cooldown, please. <laughs> so we're going to be at 70% cooldown, which is crazy. So that's a lot of uptime on Laurel. That's a lot of Pachone. So we're at 60% luck. Let it be known, he was 60% luck, did not get dupe. Rip. We'll see what chat does. There's so many projectiles. How annoying. At least I should be able to just kind of walk in circles for a little bit if I need to. Alright, we're gonna hold still for a bit. That's a lot of enemies. It's gonna be a lot of experience. Ooh, light sources. Thank you, Chad. Getting closer to cross being useful. 
Once it upgrades, it'll be our kill for a little bit, slash knockback. And we'll survive, I think, with Laurel. Oh, Clover Max. That's three passives out of the way. Not trying to improve the odds of me getting items. Spinach up. What's the Candelabra? We're gonna hold still, get the level up. So us hitting level 80 to potentially get an Arcana is very likely here. <laughs> Chat running out of things to raise. Sadly, still not seeing the candy box or free passive. Both of those would have been kind of nice. But I haven't even seen the game give you the options so far. More damage. Hell. So I went from, I think, 60-ish health to 96. That's not too bad. Gives me some leeway. Wow, I can't believe it's triggering again. Definitely out of control here. Level up time. Yeah, we're very likely in the next couple of minutes to uh, cap the character's abilities. So at this point, should be able to start picking up all the chests we left behind. Uh, armor's up a little more, which helps for in-between time with Laurel. That helps because I know at like the 20 minute mark we just get absolutely dumpstered. And we have might. We actually have positive damage now. Also, is getting leveled. I don't know where this candelabra is. Is it more down here? I'm gonna hold still. To my right somewhere. Nice. Cross is max, so I can pick up some chests. The chat finally made this character deal some damage. Yeah, Lightning Ring is already silly because walking around just recharges it. That seems like a fun arcana. I don't think I played with that one last time. It might not have existed in the beta when we played. I don't remember that one at least. Let's hold still, get some experience. Yeah, it looks like we got a build that is fine for now. I'm definitely still scared about the final five minutes when we basically don't get to kill anything. That's where Laurel, I think, is going to hard carry, as well as armor. Any tankiness here is probably welcome. We got to survive potentially like six seconds against high damage enemies. At least this time we're at max armor. Nice. I see that it dropped. There it is. There we go. Nice, more vulnerability, appreciate it. I'm just looking for the candelabra. I can't seem to find it. <laughs> Oh, there it is. I see it now. I feel like the mini-map is, like, a little off, to be honest with you. Like, it definitely looked like it was below me, but I could see it's above me. I'm gonna see if I pause the map now. Yeah, like, see? Like, if I would assume the image is placed 
I guess it's placed more dead center on the image than anything. I guess that's fair. Let's go take this. And now I could go get those chests I was ignoring. Yeah, I guess it's more dead center than like the base of it is where it is. I guess that makes sense. We're running out of things to level, but I should be able to get the axe upgrade, which will help with survivability, especially with all the might bonuses. Special charge is huge. So we're going to get to a point where I can't get heard. Or at least it'll be very unlikely for me to be heard. I love all the crosses coming across. Ooh, area up and damage up on Lightning Ring, where I'm constantly firing it, would be huge. Because it's already doing pretty respectable damage. Yeah, there we go. Because you, you can hear it firing literally every second. Rosary. Healing. Pressure chest. Ooh, candy box. Chat's gonna get candy box. Your patience was rewarded, chat. I'm gonna go get this upgrade first, though. I'll do it for you, chat. I'm gonna get Ebony Wing. Oh, we didn't kill that many enemies with the Super Pentagram. That's unfortunate. We have small bits of health regen. There we go. Yeah, Laurel. Ooh, Laurel leveling up is going to be so sick. Because it already means that we have even more uptime on the shield. So good. Okay, yeah, where's Candy Box? There it is. This is for you, chat. Ebony Wing. Oh, he didn't die from Pentagram. Interesting. Well, I'm assuming as soon as Chat gets a chance, we'll level Ebony Wing up. But in the meantime, we can get Lightning Ring or Laurel. Honestly, all these are pretty good. All of them aid towards our survivability, either damage or otherwise. Okay, so our axes made a difference there. So it looks like we're actually clearing pretty fast, as long as I walk in a circle. The game is actually trolling chat right now. <laughs> How do we have 80% luck and not a single one is that? Like, at least if you get Laurel out of the way, it shouldn't appear anymore. Getting actually trolled. There we go. Yeah, we're at max tankiness now. With small amounts of life regen. Which, as we, as we eventually just become Laurel-only builds, we won't need as much life regen, if any. There we go. There's Ebony Wing. Cat being reunited. I mean, that's definitely going to help because, you know, as, as ridiculous as this build is, it's still going to have trouble keeping things near us killed. But having these stacked up is kind of huge. Again, I got to do little, little movements like that in order to fast shoot Lightning Ring. There we go. More damage. Absolutely wanted. Yeah, now that we have the spinach, I think our damage is actually pretty respectable. Despite the initial penalty. Yeah, so now the pentagram is going off constantly, which is good. And I could do this to make sure lightning ring fires every time it's not shooting. Versus like a cooldown. Nice. <laughs> Ebony Wings going max power. <laughs> yeah, I think this build did finally turn itself around in terms of damage. I mean, obviously Pentagram is busted, but in terms of like actually being able to kill stuff, I think the axe is helping significantly. Because it also pushes things away from us and blocks projectiles. So it stops us from even getting hit in the first place. 
you can see we're just absorbing so much experience. We have 55% bonus experience. We're in a pretty good place. And then that'll free up another weapon slot. So I guess we'll see what chat chooses. I don't know if it'll be like fire ring or if it'll be or fire wand or if it'll be whip. Let's see what chat does. Move in circles a little bit just to get more lightning attacks. Jelly wall. Rip jelly wall. That feels scandalous that it did not give you ebony ring there. <laughs> gonna lie chat we have literally four things and if luck triggered you would always get it that's actually insanity and one more lightning ring that helps well we have another chest i guess i could just take one now just to get the cross out of the way Ebony Wing is so close. Yeah, now our damage potential looking pretty good. We have two things that potentially crit, because I think the axe also crits now that it's leveled. Yeah. Four enemies. We're so close. Then I can go pick up the other chest. Yeah, I was holding the other one for Ebony Wings, and I'm like, oh wait, there's two. I should probably just pick one up. So close. Yeah, this is looking super good for us. Yeah, the sword bouncing makes the cross a lot better. Game is actually trolling. Straight trolling. But I'll take the extra 20 damage from Lightning Ring. I think we're making it put in the work for sure. Gull Swarm, that's fair. I mean, I'll go pick up the track door in a moment once we're done with this. In case we want to get Santa Water or something. Come on, we need like one more level and then I can move on. There we go. Now I can finally upgrade Ebony Wing. Free chat's resources a little bit. Triple level up. Interesting. Well, that's good for us. So Lightning Ring is pretty much at max. Unless we get a free passive that is specifically Duplicator. That's all we can really do for now. We still have, I think, the Attract Orb up here. The real one. Or is this a consumable? It might be a consumable. But either way, we'll come up here. The real one might be in the upper left. Which is, like, hilariously too far. Also, what was that? Oh, it's a Lucky Clover. Yeah, let, let me get the Lucky Clover, actually. Jack can level at Vandalier in the meantime. Yeah, I can see now. Yeah, they were blinking. I think it helps that they blink. Because they, they're a similar icon. One is just slightly larger than the other. Where was the real clover that we managed to drop? It's over here somewhere. Where's the healing? Clover is around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I mean, I'm not going to say no to luck. It does improve the odds of us getting things like bandoliers. Or not bandoliers. It gives the odds of uh, candelabras appearing as well as gold fever area of attack up nice nice i could go for the other chests now i guess oh speaking of chests yeah bandolier is going to be the constant dps the axe and the cross help push things away a little bit and even if it doesn't push away too, too much, I think with Lightning Ring, we might be able to chip out a lot of enemies here. Okay, got another Hollow Heart. That's fun. Oh, 
shield still. Oh man, there we go. Vandalier are now actually becoming a real threat. Because we don't have, like, the Fire One nonsense. Like, Axe does good damage. But at this point, it's going to need something else to kind of clear it up. So any AoE increase is huge. Oh, cooldown reduction on Vandalier, nice. I mean, I already think it's always up, more or less. Especially with 70% cooldown. But hey, I guess it's there. We have duration up 30%. Well, I guess it does go down very briefly. Like, very briefly. Ooh, gold fever by myself. Take them. There we go. Vandalier AoE is pretty huge. And Candelabra leveling will help, I think, it do even more damage. Because the earlier it can hit enemies, the better. I got a little bit of gold fever. I'm never expecting much in this area, because these enemies are just so tanky by the end. Wind piles. Hold still for a second. Wow. The Vandalier might be at 100% uptime now with this level up. Ooh, AoE up at the end. Nice. Perfect. We got pretty consistent coverage near us. I just gotta survive. Oh, there's an Arcana. I guess I could go take it. Because this should just be free healing. Which isn't, like, super, super important. But it does technically increase our regen. I think. It might only increase the food sources, I don't recall. But either way, I'll take it. Nice. More AoE, so bigger axes, bigger Heaven Sword, bigger Pachone upgrade, bigger Lightning Ring. Pretty good. Got another Gold Fever. Oh, free passive. So, you know, we're almost at the difficult part. The 25 minutes where it becomes, like, the non- no knockback high damage enemies is gonna be interesting. Our health went from, like, 60-ish to 166, which is funny to me. I'm gonna go pick up this health. The Candelabra is max. Got a little extra money from Gold Fever, which is good, because we didn't have enough to purchase Might earlier. So now we can purchase Might and potentially start putting points in Greed. We just earn achievements faster. I think I'm going to ignore the Fire Breath. I think I mostly just want to get to the next area. I'm going to hold still for max damage. Nice. So we're at least at the money portion. Also, I guess this being able to heal double is kind of nice for later, just in case. The passive drop? Oh no, I don't know where it dropped. I see chat selected it. I'm gonna look for it. <laughs> I'm gonna look for it in the chaos of the screen. I'm gonna pause again to see where it is. Maybe it didn't quite spawn yet. I don't see it if it's here. Question mark? See the wing. Did did chat see where it was? I didn't see where it was. Unless it was the wing. But I thought the wing was part of the stage. I mean I'm gonna go slowly towards the other chest. I would like to go pick it up, but I not sure where it is. Unless it's like under something and I can't see it because it's blinking or something weird. Anyway, let's go pick this up. Get more money. We're already level 90, so I think we're going to get whatever she unlocks. Yeah, I wasn't seeing it. I mean, I could try. It's just that we're going to be leveling so much that it's going to get me disoriented. <laughs> Who would have thought, chat? 
We're gonna level again. Uh, you know what? I'm going for the chest. I'll, I'll come back here later. Unless it's just something weird where it just doesn't show up on the minimap, which I guess could happen. There we go. Yeah, I want to get that chest before we do anything else. Come back here later. So it's like... Oh. Wait, is there an item over here? There's so many items popping, I can't even keep up with it. I think there's a rosary and then a clover? Where's the clover? Oh, there it is. There we go. I was <laughs> just like, okay. Like, pausing does help a little bit with seeing where that is. Yeah, now we should definitely be able to afford the final damage upgrade. It should not cost more than 4k. We could go pick up that other treasure chest. Our survivability looks pretty good. We more than doubled our health, more than doubled our armor. Cooldown is ridiculously good. We should basically hit level 100 guaranteed. I'm actually getting a good amount from Fever, which is good. This chat is giving me so much damage at this point. Nice. Yeah, at this point, we really don't need to unlock anything else, at least in crowd control. Like, as I said before, Banish doesn't really matter. Chat, chat's choosing whatever they want. It's more important that I would potentially get, like, a movement speed up, which is not going to cost 4k. Even with how many points we put away in things. Just to help with, like, general item pickup. <laughs> Rosary... Gold Fever into Rosary into uh, another pentagram. Yeah, this character level ups are so silly. Should be near the chest. I'm gonna stop time. Wow, all that luck bonus and still only a single open. Luck bonus is a lie, chat. Well, I was hoping that would be a little better, given that we waited so long with the luck bonus. 90% is pretty high. Okay, I'll try going back towards the other thing, in case there's something for me to pick up. Nice. Over 5,000 in money, so I could probably get like one greed upgrade with might up and movement speed at this point. Yeah, we're looking pretty good for character unlocks. We're at the uh, classic snowball moment of Vampire Survivors. And at this point, due to our cooldown, I could just walk forward aggressively into them and there's not much they could do. If that passive happens to be Duplicator, it would be very funny though. That would absolutely just break the character even harder. pick up that cash. Yeah, like skips, rerolls, I guess are okay to get. Oh yeah, we haven't unlocked a reroll. I think that's fair. Chat, chat would definitely make me reroll. <laughs> if they don't say Pachone, that would be something chat would use. Vanish, uh... But I, I could see the reroll. Where the heck are these items? There they are. Ultra Swarm, nice, nice. I mean, we do need to kill generic enemy types, because there are ones where it's like, kill 500 skeletons, get this. Kill 500 elementals, get this. Kill X number of ghosts, get a character. So this is useful. Looking to see if it's spawned an item somewhere. With our luck bonus, we should see items pretty frequently. Yeah, I still don't see anything of interest over here. If something spawned here. 
pick up the coin though. How overpowered are we now? Uh, we we are deleting everything. We're gonna hit like 120 plus at this point. So we might unlock another fun arcana that will make the other characters a little better. Potentially as punishment for a run, I could play as Poe, who has reduced health but has bigger AOE. So technically, that's bigger Pachone. Gotta wait for Blue Donna to return. Yeah, I'm thinking it's possible. I was looking around to see if it was here. I genuinely like, don't see it on the map. But the fact that we're at like 24 minutes and I'm still able to walk around is very silly. Yeah, we'll, we. so at this point we've played each of the characters we've unlocked once, except for one of them. So as long as we just keep gradually unlocking, like... We only want to unlock one character at most, just to say we played with a new character and potentially get their Arcana. And the Fire Breathing is here somewhere. I just feel like picking it up just to get it off the map. I have another Rosary for the next Swarm. <laughs> yeah, by Rhino Old Man Shuffle. I forget if he gets a speed pedal tier or not. He's definitely a very awkward character, but it could be fun playing an AoE build with him. There are, like, Arcanas that make him good. I think there's ones where, like, they're, they specifically buff, like, Garlic and things like that and health regen. Oh yeah, that reminds me too. The, the healing one, if we could get the Recovery Heart, which I still haven't seen, by the way. I might look up how we get that, because I find it... I find it incredibly hard to believe that we have not seen it yet, if we have it unlocked. That we have played through four entire runs and that basic item has yet to appear. I I don't believe it. You know what I mean, Cha? I'm saving that rosary for later. And that healing. I'm gonna walk off screen to spawn more of them. Wow, we're at 109 already. Maybe that's how it's unlocked. Possible we do need to go back to forest. That I wouldn't- that I would believe. I know there's a curse in forest. There might be a health up in forest we never collected. So we should go collect that as Poe. Should have waited on the rosary actually. I might regret that. Yeah, it's like Pomorama or something like that. Oh, apparently, apparently you unlock it by surviving five minutes as the knife guy, so oops. Yeah, we should go play as knife guy. I'm surprised we didn't do that. I guess he did just get kind of bodied on our runs. I think that's when we were experimenting with the uh, swarms. Because I was like, how did we not unlock this yet? I was like, it had to be something we get early. Because I normally play Knife Guy when I when I played the, at least the initial version of this. And I do like his ability to plus one projectile. It's a very strong passive. But yeah, oops, we'll have to go play as him. We'll play as him in like a different area. We'll, we'll not worry about Forest for now. When I want to do a curse run, we'll go back to Forest. Wow, I, this is just silly. I can't believe we're still just nuking them like this. Thank you, 70% cooldown and chat assistance. I don't even think anything's hit our Laurel at all. We still have a heal if I really need it. The clearing plant would be huge. I have another heal if I need it. Yeah, basically every 30 seconds is at least two levels, so we should hit about 120. So if she has an arcana associated with her, we should get it. Yeah, that's kind of the unfortunate thing. You, Like, there's characters we have to kind of go back to because we didn't unlock the ar arcana because it's not possible the first time you do the first couple of runs of the game. Cold fever? Oh no. Chat, no.
Yeah, we're we're not gonna have any money problems for a while. <laughs> it's true. Chat, chat, give me another gold fever. I mean, I thought by this point, I guess we already killed the stone golem wave. Normally, it's the one that just kind of hard bullies me, but it didn't get a chance to do anything this time. Another healing area. Ooh, money. More money, chat, because I don't have enough money. I'm walking over to pick up money. So yeah, something tells me we're going to get to, like, greed 3 <laughs> at this rate. We're, like, 2k higher than I thought we would achieve, and we're still going much higher. I mean, the Pachone Death Lasers are actually kind of relevant. You can see just the wall of red when it fires. The only thing I think it's missing is maybe duration up, but we can't really do anything about that. Yeah, having more cards equals more strategy. Once we start getting more than four, that's where we can start kind of tailoring our builds a bit more. The healing one is a really good generic one to have. Yeah, maybe I'll go to the bone zone with the projectile guy and just try to last five minutes. Because I know there's going to be stuff in there that I want. As long as we go to new areas each time, we should be good. Clearing plan is huge. Another gold fever from chat. Thank you, chat. Yeah, Bone Zone I think has something good. The other area might just be a music select. I think clearing it does unlock eventually the super good area. But we need to beat it at some point. Okay, there's a heal. Wow, they take so much damage if they can't get knocked back. Look at this. Oh, the nuke. Wow, okay. It's, it's definitely going to be one of the damage MVPs now. I think if I think it started a little slow, but I think it did like several thousand damage. I mean, obviously it's not going to compete with the moon, but it's going to be number two, I think, at this rate by a long shot. Even with the crits of axe, that damage when they're in the corner is just literally like 30 axes simultaneously. We're seeing the power of it. We're not overshadowing it with like ultra overpowered lightning ring or whatever. Although honestly, lightning ring will probably be number three. I would not be surprised if it outdamages Heaven's Sword. Given that we move and it does damage. Wow, I got a time stop. Look at that damage, chat. Look at the red. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now I'm now I'm getting to enjoy the Pachone upgrade, finally, because we don't have like ultra knockback or anything like that. Just absolutely just hoses them down. Like, look at that. <laughs> it actually just straight up killed them. And this is the character with the might penalty as well, as a reminder. She had, I think, minus 20% or something. So you gave me 50% might. Actual insanity. So even if I get the might increase here, we should still be able to get greed. Actually disgusting. So many level ups. I'm curious if I can click that to speed it up for chat. I feel bad for chat how many times they have to hit one. Oh, there it is. I was just complaining about that. Uh, three? Three at chat. <laughs> Become free! You can do it! Yeah, there we go. We finally hit the right level for it to happen. I still have one healing ability. <laughs> See, now the game will go much faster. Holy, there's the golems. But again, they can't survive the death lasers. Look how much damage that is! Oh my gosh. They're getting actually deleted. Holy. 
Chone death laser activate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that damage. Witness the glory that you've achieved, chat. Holy. I still have Laurel up. Yeah, this is usually where I die, but I think with this setup, I think we're fine. I thought the golems were a bit earlier, but apparently only the last minute. Wow. Yeah, I think it's going to catch up in the DPS chat. That's kind of insane. Death is all over me. I managed to reach the treasure chest. That's always fun. Aww. Uh, death eventually killed me. Oh yeah, we didn't even unlock revives. Gorgeous Mood did 6.7. Vandalier did 5.2. Reached level 50 with Christina. Wow. Find 33 rosaries. Wicked season. So yeah, Vandalier was number two chat. Even though it only came in for 10 minutes, it outdamaged everything. And yes, Lightning Ring did out damage Heaven Sword. That that's what I thought it would do. Yeah, Lightning Ring with that buff is insane. Never doubt the bird. Yeah, gorgeous. The fact that Gorgeous Moon was up for 21 minutes and Vandalier was catching up is kind of insane. It literally was there half the time. Oh man. Uh, let's reset our power ups. We should be able to just afford basically everything at this point. So I could get a revival. Actually, is it worth getting the revival? Nah, let's let's not bother. We'll we'll deal with the revival later. I thought about it and I'm like, nah, that's fine. Oh, I can make it active or inactive. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know about that. Oh, we're keeping that. These, these. One two, one two. I could get magnet, I guess. Um, yeah, that's feeling pretty good, I guess. I could slightly redo it, I guess. Yeah, let me redo just the max greed. I think that's fine. I, I don't like playing the little mini game of having this happen here, because sometimes I'll misclick. I need to make sure I do this in order. The greed is the least of those, so I just got to get all these first. Ooh. I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Why did I get less that time? 5,000. And luck and armor. One of these worth more than the others? I guess I, I, guess I just need... I guess I could skip those still. Or I could just do one of each. That's fine. Do this. Yeah, there we go. That's more what I want. <laughs> I don't need, like, super movement speed. Magnet will help. Max and greed, I think, is more important. And two points of recovery is probably good enough for now. That's much better. So we have to play... Oh, we didn't unlock... Oh, we didn't unlock the knife guy. Oh, that would explain why we don't have it. Um... Okay, so we have to play another character to get a little more cash. So let's play our weapon cooldown character. He's still pretty solid. Yeah, I think he gets a might bonus. Yeah, he gets a might bonus over the other characters. We'll try him. And then we'll unlock the other character. Moon Glow unlocked. Legend tells of a city swallowed by the sea under the full moon's callous watch. Home to the mystery is unknown. We ought to see what lies within its walls. We'll go there eventually. Let's go to the Bone Zone. Wicked Season, overall growth, luck, greed, and curse are doubled at fixed intervals. The character starts gaining at 1% and curse every two levels. Interesting. I don't think I want that on this character on this run, but we'll try this. Maybe I'll do... 
He's a fire wand character, so I should do Waltz of Pearls. Yeah, like this makes a big difference in his clear speed for sure. There we go. We'll see what chat gives me. Rune Tracer. I think eventually we'll try to do like a Santa Water build with uh, Lightning Ring, but we might save that for another character. Because I like the idea of the cooldown gets reduced, because that makes the Holy Cleric really powerful. Because he starts with Santa Water. Oh, look at that, you immediately get spinach. Okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. So there should be an item here, from what I remember. Ooh, it's not listed as anywhere. Interesting. Maybe it spawns later. At least right now the fireballs are one-shot kills. Yeah, I think the gimmick when it said no items spawn, I think it just means like these torches only drop money. They don't drop like healing. Or like Fireball! clovers. Fireball indeed. Not a bad way to get money, because I think there's also a money bonus on the stage. Given we need about 500 or so to get the knife person. Who I do remember having a lot of fun with early on. Ooh, fire breathing huge. Even though there's no items allowed, you can still technically cheat and give me those. It's funny. Oh, he hello, armor for Rune Tracer. Not mind you at all. Yeah, we'll slowly unlock more Ar Arcanas to make it a bit more interesting. But right now, we can have a four card build if we want to. So I think at some point there's going to be like a giant death ball, if I remember correctly. Like Katamari Damacy style or something weird. I don't know what I have to do to spawn it, but I'm pretty sure it exists at some point. Might require me needing to go like up and down for a long time. I mean, if you want to try Torona's box chat, by all means, I'm kind of curious about it. Like this is a build where we benefit from every one of those, to be honest. Could be fun. Like, even with them getting stronger, us having a bigger projectile with faster movement speed and more damage, I think we just keep up with them at that point. Especially if we get anything like Magic Wand, it's basically over. If we, if we get something like Magic Wand or like Garlic plus Bible or something that just becomes defensive, I think it's over. Speaking of potentially over. <laughs> Chat, speaking of which. Because Magic Wand is kind of the anti-boss thing. Or it's going to keep things off of us more accurately. I steal from the chat. Hello, Giant Skulls. So with all these ricochets, we should be doing some pretty crazy damage. I mean, just look at this. We don't even have projectile speed up yet, aside from the boss. You can see that it's just basically deleting everything, thanks to the bounces. What silliness, Jan. Unfortunately, we have Magnet to gather this XP up a little faster, and movement speed if we need to dodge. Yeah, let's go pick up some XP. Ooh, chat's beloved is there. It's okay, chat. I understand. <laughs> so that's going to help with consistent damage. Spellbinder might be good for... Actually, I don't know if it will be good. At least, at minimum, cooldown will help. Projectile up might affect it. Cross also technically combines, but we have to be careful about taking too many weapons before you get your ability. Corona's bomb. Fire wand. Fire wand, nice. Ooh, that damage is already so high. I can't wait till we get projectile ups. I mean, just look at this. It's doing its job. Oh, hello. Skulls wanted to delete me. Let's get some experience. Over. Interesting. 
So far, not much has reached me. I love that we had like holy with a hollow heart and everything else. This character is almost the same health as Christine did. Isn't that kind of funny? Yeah, with Magnet, it should help me pick up a little easier. Sadly, no attract orbs from torches. Does make that a bit more tedious. Ooh, Candelabra for bigger, bigger Pachone chat. Look in your heart, chat. <laughs> I think you know what you're going to do. Bigger. In biggin. Yeah, the magic wand is already huge. Oh, there's the chest. Let's take the chest. Finish up. Okay. Stronger Pachone. Yeah, this makes the magic wand way more likely to hit. So at this point, they're just going to get absolutely bodied. I feel pretty good about our build so far. This character is kind of fun. Hmm. Yeah, chat's gonna probably delay weapons, I would imagine, until they see Pachone actually unlocked. Ooh, base speed up is huge. Faster bounces matter. So many potential level ups here. Let's get a couple levels. A little damage there, but that's fine. We got regen. I see the skull spawning as the torch spawn. Yeah, the faster they go... See, if they also leave the screen faster, that means the projectiles also come up faster as well, which will be nice. Wow, that one fire wand shot deleted that entire swarm. That's hilarious. Alright, so we have enough to purchase the other character. The mission accomplished there. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the uh, probably projectile one up. Interesting. We'll probably do like Poe after that. If we have fun with him there, because there's no reason to play him if we don't have recovery heart. That that was just, that is just too painful. Like force garlic, low damage. At least be able to get a new ability. Ooh, interesting passives. I wonder what our final thing is going to be, if it's going to be a Santa Water or not. Santa Water Lightning Ring would be really disgusting, I think, with the cards we got later. This cross is still pretty good, thanks to what we have. Just gradually collecting that cash. Ooh, Empty Tome. There we go. We might be able to do Empty Tome into Duplicator. I think we got almost everything else that we need at this point. Needs more Pachone. So eventually these are going to gather into one thing that I can collect. Wait a little bit. Very rude that they just spawn like that. At least we got a little bit of health regen. It is making a difference. Like, we would have been down quite a bit of health, for sure. Nice. Our magic wand is useful. Ooh. Ooh, I'm taking big damage. Those hit for a lot. Right, good thing we have health regen. That is definitely scary. Oh, those def- Oh, our magic wand doesn't pierce through them. They bounce off of them. That's not good. That's going to really hamper our DPS, actually. That's annoying. Okay. So far, I don't see anything too interesting here. Those things are kind of annoying. I gotta actually pay attention to those. I'm gonna use Ebony Wing. It turned off right as I wanted to do it. Yeah, no healing at all is a little rough. I kind of want that chest. Alright, there we go. Improvement. 
Axe is interesting, but I think if we get to fire one, that would be huge. <laughs> Chat's still holding off for Pachone. Although, with no healing, this is going to be very interesting. Thank you, health regen. I'm glad I at least put you at point two. Though, if I survive for like a minute or two, it'll be fine. really like to get my XP. I think that does make a big difference on this stage. This should be a lot. Free passive might be interesting. Fire Wand's almost max. It traveling faster is huge. Because we're, we're definitely having like gaps in our offense. And some of that is just because we're like still early in the cooldowns. But them bouncing like that helps significantly. Yeah, I gotta kind of react to where my fireballs are going. A bit awkward. Okay, at least we're clearing pretty quickly now. Thank you, Magnet. Ooh, empty tome, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the faster we can get those projectiles out, the better we are. By much better already. Passive was the spinach, sure. And I'll take the bonus damage. Oh, that is a lot of projectiles to deal with. <laughs> now, now we're in concentration mode. I would like to get XP, but I would like to also not die. They're forcing me further and further away because of how they're spawning. Kind of annoying. I'm gonna take some damage here on purpose. So I can maybe get some experience. I really start I, I was gonna say I really need these to start gathering into red orbs for me to pick up. There we go. Oh man. Getting kind of awkward level ups. It's like man, if that was if that was just like fire of one, we would be so good right now. Man, those enemies are so annoying. Please stop spawning so I could go pick up the experience. I don't care about tanky enemies. It's the projectiles that are a problem. Light sources, like we chat. Should be good XP here. There we go. Finally. Okay, next chest we get. Fire Wand is going to be huge because they're going to be uh, phasing through enemies and bigger. That'll help with our crowd control a little bit. I haven't seen a boss in a while, actually. Their health is gradually recovering. There we go. See, we're getting some pretty steady XP. Now that there's no projectiles, that XP is going to keep building up. I'm glad we did not come here prior to having more XP up. That would have been very brutal. I thought it said we gained curse with the other box. Do we not gain curse? I don't see curse on the menu. Wait, is that just like the ultimate box? I thought it said but also gains curse. Was I misreading something earlier? In which case we could have been taking that way longer. I thought it said curse as the trade-off, but I, I don't see it if it's there. Okay, finally grouped XP. Interesting. Luck boost. There we go. Oh, it apparently increases curse by 100%. Oh, at the last level, it increases curse by 100%. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, because I guess... I guess that's fine, for the most part. Hello, walls of enemies. This is less fun. I would love to get that XP, please. Thank you. Ooh, we're just barely clearing. As long as we don't cap it early, I don't see that as a big problem. 
Axe is not bad. So yeah, Tarona's box is good up until the final rank. Then it's terrible. So that, that's good to know, because we haven't experienced that item before. Yeah, it's just this bigger fireball, faster fireball, faster rune tracer. And the fact that it leaves the screen means that it will attack faster, because it can only attack so often. Oh, okay, Ebony Wing putting in some work. Magic Wand extra projectile would be huge. Still no dupe so far, which is a little sad, but that's fine. I wonder what Toronto's box combines with. Though it might make the run unwinnable, depending on what our setup is, but it helps us get to that point, I suppose. There's death. I, I can't hit him with anything, so that's kind of annoying. Unless I have Pentagram, I just gotta run from him. Hmm. No Rosaries can drop. That is very annoying. Pick up this XP in the meantime. <clears throat> the big bone is there. He could have something that I want. At minimum, he could drop a Fire Wand. It's just unfortunate death is blocking him. Ooh, Gathered Experience is huge here. There's Pentagram, if chat wants to risk it. We uh, we do have 80% luck. I guess it's not really a big risk. I realize our luck score was that high. <laughs> we leveled before it detonated. <laughs> it was like, it was like, hold on a second. All right, so hopefully with 80% luck, it does not trigger. Oh, there's the crown. I mean, we don't get Duplicator, but the Crown lets it evolve. I'll take that for sure. Well, I guess Rune Tracer over Pentagram. The Pentagram's gonna go off at some point. <laughs> it has to. So we'll we'll see what happens though. Pichone, chat was rewarded. Chat held firm, rewarded. Okay, now our damage issues are mostly gone. Oh, you chose armor? Oh, chat chose armor over Pachone? You feeling okay? What happened? What happened on that one? Empty Tome. Rip Pachone. Yeah, it, it definitely chose uh, armor over Pachone. Rip Pachone. I'm assuming something weird happened. I'll have to watch that back later. Where's the boss? Oh, already dead. Uh, let's pick up the fire wand. Ooh, triple level up. That's huge. Yeah, the fact that that now crits... Yeah, that's gonna be huge. Now our worries are over. Nice rosary, thank you, John. Do you still have an opportunity for Pachone? It's not over. Oh, the delay added it to the other one. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. That's super unfortunate. It, it did choose choice number one, I think. Rip. We still might get it. We got many level ups to go. Surprised we haven't seen another Arcana yet, because the one where we walk around could be useful, or healing. Actually, healing, we don't have it. Never mind. That one's not worth it. Yeah, sorry, I can't really do too much with the stream delay. How did it... We had an 80% chance. Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? Game, please. That should not happen. Not sorry for that. Ooh, free passive. There's the boss. I know. My luck is so bad. It's, like, actually funny how bad it is. Uh, Pentagram's probably fine here. 
Gotta get rid of it eventually. Wow. That, that's a game please moment. How much do we need to level? We need three on Rune Tracer, three on Magic One. I'm gonna walk away from the boss once we kill him. Be passive as the tome, I will take that. Oh, that's an Arcana. Never mind, we'll go pick that up immediately. Disregard. Don't think I really want Wicked Season. Yeah, that, that to me is not worth it. This is like if I'm farming. Like, if I'm playing Library, I would take this. We don't have anything that benefits from this. We also don't really benefit from anything from this either. I don't think it really matters which one I take at this point. I guess I'll do Tragic Princess. The odds of us... We can't get Whip. We don't have the recovery thing, so none of those are useful. I definitely don't want to make the game harder at the moment. I'm just looking to survive. If we get to at least 50, we get his ability. I think we could do. Game, please. Right, chat? Come on. 80%? I'm still failing. Come on. It's just... That's just rude. So sad. There we go. I mean, I'm clearing them at least decently quickly. Does it not... Did they change it so that until it has the chance to not delete, that it just always deletes? Or am I just that unlucky? <laughs> you get to decide, chat. Am I actually that unlucky, or did they change how it worked? Ooh, might projectile speed duration area. That is bigger ebony wing. Where's the chest that I don't want to pick up yet? We do, we still haven't leveled the weapons for some reason. Come on, game. Be kinder. Give us better options, please. Another free passive. It... Okay, I'm convinced maybe it maybe they changed it until it gets the percent chance it doesn't do it anymore. Because I'm pretty sure originally in one of the patches, it definitely did not care if you had that. It added to the percentage. But the fact that we've now whiffed it twice, I refuse to believe I failed a twenty I failed a 80% chance twice in a row. I refuse. It's just becoming increasingly unlikely to be the case. Oh, there's a heart. Oh. Jack gave me the item that I didn't have. Okay. Oh, Pichone's there. Mash two, mash two, mash two. You do it, chat. Pichone is recovered. Well, there's some health regen, which is semi-useful. I... Game, please. <laughs> okay, we need, we need to level up the pentagram immediately. I'm getting hard trolled. I, I think they changed it, chat. There's no way I failed that three times in a row. That must have changed between the beta and the release. Which is kind of annoying, because I don't have a magnet to grab these. Come on. Do the one where it has a percent chance of not deleting. We need to get to that immediately. We're not given the choice, of course. We do have any wings or whatever. Because now we're now I'm getting hard trolled. Like, because we're at 60% cooldown, but I can't get it to keep our items. Which means I can't walk towards that chest without deleting it. It's kind of a problem. On the plus side, my money total is okay. Yeah, there's no way. They must have changed it. Rip. I, gu I guess they balanced it, quote-unquote. Because that was the benefit of Christine. She used to just always have a 30% chance early. Some of her runs were dictated by that. Oh my gosh, please give me pentagram. God, I beg of you. <laughs> it, it should put me at a um, 100% chance to not delete. Because it should add our luck bonus. Thank you, chat. Wait, what? Wait, does it not add luck anymore? Why did it... What? Did they nerf it that hard? Oh, chat, I need a fact check. Did they remove luck stacking altogether? That is nonsense. 
If so, I'm very disappointed. Yeah, did, did they remove that? Because there's no way. We had 80% luck plus 25. That's a 105% chance. There's no way that should have deleted what we had. Actual tomfoolery. Yeah, that's kind of unfair. Unless there's a bug with Bone Zone specifically. Because that would also really suck. Where it's like, no items counts the XP. Ha ha. So I find that very, very unfortunate if they change that. Then there's no reason for me to take luck at this point, then, in most builds. Alright, so we're at least clearing pretty quickly. Yeah, I, th I thought it was too, but it's, like, clearly not. Because I should have had it at this point. So this is now deleted two treasure chest Or a treasure chest and a lot of experience. So I'm really, really far behind with XP due to that really sucks. I'm gonna look it up real quick in a moment, if chat doesn't look it up. Alright, let's get some items. Well, that time it kept it, but that could have been just the 25%. Yeah, but I'm at... I'm at 80% luck. Because before it was every 10% was 10% added, unless they nerfed the formula. But I guess it's fair if they nerfed it, because it was definitely one-to-one. -one. So if you had 100% luck, you always, always kept it. That's how it worked in the beta. Yeah, they changed the formula. I see how they did it now. So until our luck goes over 100%, it doesn't matter. That's kind of annoying. So we would specifically need the Clover for it to do something. Because uh, it looks like it's chance times our total luck. some items. So we're almost at the point I could pick. We still haven't leveled anything to the next rank other than Fire Wand. That's kind of brutal. Stupid pentagram. Pentagram actually trolling. Okay, we're almost able to go pick up the Rune Tracer upgrade. We have health recovery, which does help because I do get chipped every now and then. Yeah, and unfortunately, Clovers can't drop here, so that's, like, super unlikely for it to happen. Like, the, the random items, I mean, not the, uh, accessory. Fine. Oh, I really... Okay, there we go. Root Tracer's finally maxed. I can pick up that chest without worry. Good, good, good. That's gonna help with our clear potential. I think our clear potential is basically evened out. We should hit level 50. This is pretty much going to guarantee we get there. I'm still getting a decent amount of cash. Every time I take damage, I think I can cause the Rune Tracer to do more damage. A lot of money I'm about to pick up. Like, I'm constantly absorbing experience at this point. Oh, come on, game, please. Rude. But I think we're at least stabilizing a little bit. Oh, Pentagram. One day you will go up to 65% and then we'll be fine. It's so close to max at least. And then we can finally go pick up that other treasure chest. Oh, Chicken Bonanza works even through the Bone Zone penalties. That's interesting. That's good. We can leave that for later. Yeah, like, I took a little bit of damage there, but I'm regenning it already. That's fun. 
game's actually trolling. It just it's like evenly providing the weapons instead of just focusing one. Game please. More magic wand would be nice. I'm gonna move away from the chicken so I don't delete it. I almost deleted it. Got a little lucky there, I guess. I'm gonna take some damage on purpose just to speed up some kills. A regen should be good enough that that shouldn't matter in the long run. Uh, so I can definitely max out recovery next time we play, which will be useful if we're going for the garlic. I'm curious if getting the recovery heart here unlocks it automatically so I don't have to play the knife guy. It'd be nice if it did. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Nice. Phases through one more enemy. That's perfect. Yeah, now I might take the one where healing causes something to happen. Ooh, fire breathing. Thank you, Chad. Okay, magic wand is leveled, so I can finally upgrade that. That'll be useful. That being constant damage should deal with the nonsense that we're fighting. I just have to not delete the chest. So as soon as I pentagram, I'm going to walk towards the other thing. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, Pachone's going to level. Or Ebony Wings, I mean. Nice. The survivability going up. Then I can get Magic Wand upgraded. And then I'm close to pentagram being fully upgraded. This will result in faster experience. Yeah, there we go. Now we now we have like a smooth sailing for a little bit. Ebony Wings is gonna cap. Nice. That's just one more thing to make it more likely for Pachone. Pachone not getting a single level up is like an actual tragedy. How did we get all those other choices over Pachone? Actually, madness. Ooh, pentagram. Pentagram should be what I print I think more or less 100 percent We should keep the item. And then we just need one more level in pentagram. And then we could finally get a new weapon. Our money total's been steadily going up at least, even without gold fevers. We should be able to afford recovery and maybe a couple characters. I'm doing my best to try to level. I'm just walking in circles at this point. Ooh, pentagram max level. And we can finally start power leveling Pichone. <laughs> the back-to-back -back pentagram is brutal for the enemies. Oh, speaking of which. Nice. Oh, that is so good that I checked that this was happening, chat. That was so good I walked down further. Get out of here, right, chat? Get out of here. Jerk. Ooh, I gotta be careful, because we're starting to run out of level ups. Although, Pachone stalling to give us a new weapon would be huge. Also, how did we not get Pachone again? Game, please. Game actually trolling. Triple level up. Okay, some it is it is hard dodging Pachone, chat. This is actually nonsense. There we go. There's Pachone. Whatever. Actually ridiculous. Our health regen's looking pretty good. Our crown is okay. Pachone can just keep leveling. Yeah, because getting another weapon slot means I can avoid the 100% curse for longer, which is actually huge. Pachone getting the buff that it deserves. Our AoE and attack speed should be amazingly high. So we have good synergy with what we got so far. Oh, definitely crown. Anything else is fun. We only have to last another 9 minutes, so I don't even think we're going to hit the curse at this rate. Even with chat power leveling Pachone here, I don't think it matters. Yeah, 
Okay, it's getting duration and area up. That's insane. So we need to get three more levels on Pachone. I think we could do that. Pick up some money in the meantime. Light source is nice. So yeah, now we have like a good AoE protection with the duration up cooldown combination. We basically have constant damage. There we go. Pachone finally getting its wings after being denied glory for like five minutes. Use Magnet to pick up some stuff. Chone's so close, Chad. It's so close. It's almost free. 60% cooldown and duration up. It should be monstrously good. Ooh, big level up. Might be Pachone's time. I'm gonna hold still. Ooh, nice light sources. Thank you. I'll pick up that money in a moment. I think that was a boss that tried spawning near me. Oh, I think that's an Arcana. So I could get the healing Arcana. So if I do take damage, I could start doing AoE damage for free. Because I don't think we're going to get another ability where the card matters. Yeah, let's just get the healing one. I think I could... Yeah, let's get that one. Although having Wicked Season as our force last one kind of blows. I'm not going to lie. I might just avoid that chest if it spawns. Ooh, we're getting tough choices now. So I just need to reach the other chest, and then we'll get a new weapon. Yeah, our health recovery per second is so high right now. I might even just get hit on purpose at some point. Oh, there it is. There we go. Liberated. We'll see what chat picks for my final weapon. Clock Lancet or... Oh, no, Bandolier. Never mind. <laughs> chat gets to choose. I mean, Clock Lancet's okay, but let's be honest, it's Bandolier. Improving that as soon as possible, I think will help when we max Torona's box. Because it's going to happen, I think, at this rate. So we're already at over 7,000 with no gold fevers, which is interesting. When I get down to five minutes, I'm going to go towards the healing chat left me. But for now, I'm going to just aggressively pick up money. Bible. I guess technically garlic would be interesting later. We haven't gotten that upgrade. But otherwise, more projectiles or whatever is fine. I, I think the garlic is like your healing, your health per second turns into damage, if I remember correctly. Which we do have everything we need for that. We don't have a bracer for knife, which is unfortunate. Yeah, this lets us stall out the clock so we don't have a 100% curse, which I think is kind of huge. Still picking up near constant amounts of coins, which is nice. More light sources, let me pick up that money. Even though they are shooting projectiles at us, we have the Pachone beam deleting everything, so I'm not really all that worried. And if I do take damage, I have good health recovery. Lightning ring is thing. But crown, Bible, whatever. Definitely no dupe. No hollow heart for whip, sadly. But Bandolier is gonna get buffed. We're gonna need it. <laughs> Probably in three minutes we'll hard need that to be maxed. We'll see what we could do in the meantime. As I said before, if I take damage, we have health recovery. Thanks thanks to chat's health recovery passive. I think we're fine. I'm just making my way slightly closer to... Just in case. And we doubled the healing from food. So as long as I don't literally get one shot, which should not be possible with armor... Should be good. There's Axe for an evolution. That's not a bad one. Otherwise, Vandalier. Nice, nice, 
Nice. Four enemies. Yeah, with that projectile speed up, even though we don't have Bracer, working extremely well in our build. Hmm. So right now we're just abusing Torona's box free scaling. We'll get punished when it hits level 9, but for now, still pretty good. They say we up, which helps with dealing with the projectiles. So even though there's a lot of projectiles here, the infinite magic wand is protecting us pretty well. That's useful. And the bigger the fireball is, the more it can cover our body. Nice. Lightning Ring, King Bible, Santa Water. So I think the only thing we have that would pair with anything is Axe. I think it's like looking at our items. One more health regen, nice. Yeah, we're looking like several character unlocks. Recovery will be max. More health ups. I feel I feel pretty good about clearing bone zone right now. Us would be okay. Laurel Laurel actually pretty maybe Laurel. I guess that's not a bad one. Laurel, Clock Lancet, Axe, Cross. I think are probably the ones we would pick. I think any of those are probably good. It just depends on how hard I think the final phase is gonna be. And whether we need to play defensively or not. But right now, I'm not that worried. We have a lot of healing near us still. Also, I popped a chest at some point. God only knows where it is. We're gonna pause. I'm near it, allegedly. Oh, there it is. So I guess I could save that for a weapon upgrade, technically. But we're almost at max healing. That's crazy. Ooh, AoE up. Nice. Whip, Laurel, Tyrone's Box, Vandalier. <laughs> Vandalier definitely keeping things back for us, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that we haven't triggered Tyrone's Box at max level yet, I guess shows how strong it is. Oh, a whip. Okay. Makes it a bit more useful. So I have just constant projectile immunity, I guess. It's fine. So at least if I need to walk forward, I can push them away from me. I'll take them. Hello, Vandalier. We meet again. So without Hollow Heart, I can't upgrade it. But still, we'll take it. We have enough that, like, the, the bonus range, extra projectile and damage is still good with Whip. I guess in theory we could free passive into a hollow heart. Not the end of the world. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think there's like any truly terrible choice. Unless you gave me like nothing but curse items. <laughs> then it would be like, oh. Oh, a gold fever. Thank you, chat. Wow, Bandolier is actually going to max. Actual madness. Yeah, now it has two different things that add AoE, so it's at 73% bonus area. But the death laser is going to be filling the screen for sure. Yeah, the fact that we're over 100% might means even if they get curse bonuses, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Love the money flying towards me from off screen. Holy, chat activating gold fever here is insane. Look how much money we're getting. Actual insanity. So yeah, we're gonna max greed and I guess I can max magnet and the other thing without even refunding at this rate. I don't think I need that much more. Another whip, okay. I have verticality to my movement. It's not a bad thing, because we need guaranteed pushback. 
against some enemies. We'll take it. Two treasure chests. I should probably go pick one up at this rate. Or wait until the end in case I'm scared of uh, getting bodied by uh, the box. Yeah, I'll just wait. I'm not in a rush. Yeah, look at look at the death lasers. Just <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, duration up on our death beam is huge. Projectile speed is amazing for our weapons. We scale extremely hard with all this stuff. Whip damage slowly going up is nice because we already do double damage. Its base area going up is huge because we have Candelabra plus that. Nice. Yeah, at this point the ricochet should be like super lightning fast. So they're going to start scaling super hard. Nice. Now look how fast the whip is. It's like always... Look, it's almost wider than Pachode. Look at that. So with the projectile size up, we're seeing the power of the fire wand. This being like the screen. Ridiculous. Yeah, our health recovery per second is super huge. We're recovering one health a second if we have 133 health. So that's good. And I think we might double health, as I said before, with how the other card thing works. That is a lot of survivability. Even if they do more damage, we might still be fine. Oh, it's actually outranging the lasers, I think, now. Wow. With actually just hard denying enemies full screen. Let's walk around a bit and get more money. Don't mind me. Just hoping to get about 10,000 in cash. I think we could do it. Considering I haven't even picked up those other chests, I think we'll be fine. So yeah, whip hitting that far is very silly. I don't think I've ever seen it that wide before. I, well, actually, that's not true. I think there was one Arcana that super boosted area of effect, which made Santa Water hilarious, as well as Garlic. If we unlock that Arcana, that will be that will be actually GG. Because then we have a Santa Water that takes up nearly the whole screen. <laughs> I'm sure chat would love Pichote murdering things off screen. Oh, we're getting close to the final level ups. And we managed to stall off the curse for a very long time. So if we have to cap it here, it's fine. We have decent health regen in case it comes down to it. Almost at a, almost at nine thousand in cash. Do a little better. Yeah, the the death beam will keep us safe for a while. Oh, Chad, here it comes. The final level ups. I'm gonna hold off on those boxes just to get more money. So this is what we're gonna need to survive. Bigger Pachone. Here it comes, chat. The curse is coming. <laughs> it's unavoidable at this point. But hey, it's a big AoE. That could make a big difference. And again, with the projectile speed, that does matter quite a lot. Like, the whip is coming out, literally, always. I'm gonna hold still. Actually, I'll get that money. Here it comes, chat. The final level up. Woo! Here it comes. The punishment. And we survived two and a half minutes with 100% curse. The speed up might be a problem for us. We'll see. I'm more worried uh, about that than their damage. Oh, please. Uh, probably always big coin, to be honest with you. If we're, if we're going down, I don't feel like floor chickening randomly. We're just going to die. It'll be fine. There we go. Bonus gold. We still have a healing thing or two up here. Bonus gold. They are very tanky, but the problem is... 
pentagram exists. Is that another chest? Oh my gosh. Killed something off screen, didn't even notice. So we beat 10,000 in cash. Yeah, I definitely don't need to reset our points. I mean, I could, but there's no point. We still have safety heals, thanks to chat earlier. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, Death Ray. Death Ray Pachone, save me. Get them off of me. Holy, look at the Death Ray. The Death Ray is putting in the work, Chad. Get them off of me. Even with 100% health, they're still getting absolutely Death Rayed right now. Holy. Okay, this, this weapon is number two. As much as Fire One was putting in some work, I don't think it could compete with this. Like, it's just like actually insane. Praise be to Bird, pretty much. All right, so I'm having trouble moving, but when Death Ray is out, it is putting in the work. Holy. Like, Fire Wand is just kind of tickling them. Death Ray is eternal. Look at that. It's actually wiping them out every time it sweeps over them. It's like an erase tool is being applied to them. Look, just look at that. Oh, I'm curious how many millions it's going to be. Oh, okay, leveled up again. Thank you for the rosary. I gotta survive one more minute. Might be difficult here. I'm regenerating some good health. Come on, super death beam. Oh, we're taking damage, but we're regenerating a lot of health. Thanks to the regen checking me earlier. This actually matters. I'm gonna slowly move towards the... I'm a little too far from the health. I didn't think they were gonna swarm this hard. Oh, where's the health? It's here somewhere. I don't even know if I could reach that treasure chest. Holy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies. Get them off of me. I'm almost at the health if I need it, but I think we made it without needing the health. Oh my gosh, we barely made it. We barely made it. Oh my gosh, they did so much damage. Actual insanity. How much did, how much did Vandalier do? 10.9 million. Oh my gosh. There we go. Sur survive 30 minutes of the bone zone. We unlocked a skip. Nice. Still 70 entries in the collection. Unlock Banish. That's fine. We don't need Banish. We unlocked Omni. What is Omni? Interesting. Well, we got the achievement, I guess. Let's power up. Oh! Oh, that's a new ability. I don't remember this. Refund. How expensive is this? Oh. Oh, that's... Hmm. <laughs> right, chat? Hmm. Growth is max. Then I go to luck, I guess. Actually, did I do that correctly? Is cooldown more expensive? Oh, they're the same. That's right. I always have to double check. So this is the most expensive. Then we do this. Then I do this. Then I do luck. Then I do armor. Then I do a little bit of everything. Guess I'll do might. I don't think I need greed anymore. I mean, I, I could, but this is probably better. I mean, I think having, you know, <laughs> I think having 10% might projectile duration in area is already pretty huge. We could get greed later. It's fine. We, we could do another run with it. I could buy another character if I need to. So question, did that unlock? Did that unlock the healing part, or no? Maybe it did? I mean, it, it's listed here, so I'm assuming it means I collected it, question mark. So we could unlock Poe. <laughs> I did say I was going to do this. We could just barely afford him, which is funny to me. C truly a character worth unlocking. Let's try to win with garlic, I guess. And then if we didn't unlock it, we could go back to Ganero, I guess. No, no, don't enter co-op. So we have a whole bunch of things. Oh, we could see how to unlock these now. Interesting. 
Can't say I was looking. Yeah, the Crimson Shroud is the super broken one. So we can unlock more of the joke characters. I think we'll do that at some point. We can unlock those weapons as well. Rambo with the wheel is very funny. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so where do we go? I guess we could go to Green Acres. We technically have something we have. We could go all the way to the South and Gallo Tower. Let's just do Green Acres. And then anyways from normal stage, sure, why not? Let's see, what arcana did we get a choice of? This is explode on impact, light sources explode, character explodes when damaged. Um... See, I would be more willing to take these. I guess it's up to Chad. Do you want to see Waltz of Pearls, which is our bouncy thing? Do you want to potentially go for the Tragic Princess, where you go for Gar- Actually... Actually, no, we should do this, because we start with Garlic. Let's do this one, and we'll talk about, I think, the later ones, based off of what we get. It looks like the upgraded form of it also benefits from healing. Yeah, we- let's use Princess. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There's the item, which is super easy to get, I guess. Look at the old man chugging chat. That'd be cool to have, like, a Santa Water build. Speaking of which, hey Chad, <laughs> do you want to have the Santa Water spawn constantly? The Santa Water, Lightning Ring, Garlic, I think will be the three primaries, and obviously Bird. You're, you're forgiven for doing Bird. <laughs> yeah, I know it'll happen. Okay, so we can change music, nice. Yeah, the more we move, the better off we are, which is good. Old man's putting in the work. At least items are back. That Santa Water dunked on that enemy. There's no one to kill. Come on, game. Where are the enemies? This is so sad. I can't level if there's nothing to kill. I know the old man is awkward, but... You have to give me that much of a handicap, right, chat? Light sources. Sure, we'll pop these. Is that a boss? I think it is. We just need more weapons or something first. Ooh. I don't really want any of these items. That kind of sucks. That could do whatever they want, though. I don't have an opinion towards it. It doesn't fit our build, sadly. I was like, where's Pachone game? Oh, the lawn with an axe. Exactly, we're just weed whacking. There's candelabra, at least, for the axe. Or we could ignore it. Oh, I mean, I guess the other ones aren't even that good. I guess candelabra would work for Pachone. We, we gotta think long term. Makes garlic bigger. I guess this is okay. At least our pickup range is ridiculous. Old man doing little dance moves. Well, there's a track orb. Yeah, we need that pretty much ASAP. <laughs> Just to guarantee, get that lock in on Santa Water, and then we can worry about garlic or whatever. Nice. Hopefully, we'll get cooldown reduction and dupes. And I'm not sure what our other weapon will be. I am just being Laurel, honestly. At least the garlic radius is pretty huge right now. Little, little fidget movement there to try to level faster. And on the plus side... Ooh, Jelly Swarm? Oh, I actually won it. I'm like, ah, I don't want to win with Pentagram. Pentagram, Pentagram is OP. It's kind of like winning with, like, Laurel, Lancet, and, like, the Crimson stuff. Like, sometimes you just want to be like, you know what? We're doing a garlic build. I'm <laughs> just like, you know what? Where's the Jelly Swarm? There it is. That's good XP from chat. Thank you, chat. Can't think it ahead on that one. I like that. Game, we don't want to play with Pentagram. <laughs> game, don't make me purchase Banish just so we can banish Pentagram. Like, game, please. This is why I haven't unlocked the other characters yet, because they kind of dilute the pool sometimes. Oh, there's Ebony Wings. There we go. Chat's halfway there. A 
All we need is just cooldown reduction and we're in a good place. And honestly, that other toolbox was actually kind of fun. I, I like the balance of that item, like the risk reward. Ooh, lightning ring. Oh, but, oh, but then that would risk every... Oh, well, we still have a slot left. Lightning ring with our moving around is insane. It's definitely our, one of our three keys. Yeah, because then I could just do this and it's going to start shooting like every second. As long as I keep moving, it'd be huge. Ooh, definitely garlic. I guess Axe plus Garlic is a good combo because it knocks them away from us into the Pachone laser. I guess that makes sense. Because I, I, usually you have something to go with the Garlic, whether it's like a magic wand or whatever. I guess this is fine. It serves the same role, I suppose. Yeah, right now we, we have... It's smooth at low levels. Once we get to high levels, that's where the fear starts. Yeah, garlic's range with all the other things that we took should be pretty crazy. Because eventually I should just... Eventually it'll stop insta-killing. That's probably gonna be around like the 8 minute mark if I had to guess. But for right now, it's fun. Hello, Ghost Swarm. Thank you, chat, for feeding me experience. Thank you, chat, for feeding me experience. Thank you, chat, for feeding me experience. Hmm... Yeah, unfortunately, no magic wand before we get the uh, Pachone. The Ebony Wings time. So, so far, no cooldown tomb, which is a little concerning. There is a boss here. So I might just murder. We'll need the health regen passive at some point for garlic. Yeah, I think I did, like, a long time ago, I did, like, a garlic whip combo. Because I had, like, hollow heart plus garlic plus health regen. It was just, like, a, a life regen build. Interesting. Mana water. Yeah, the fact that we're spawning it pretty quickly. Area up, we already have candelabra, which just pair pretty well with our items. You can see we're having a little bit of trouble killing bosses. That's where we're going to need the, the Pachone Death Laser, I think. Garlic's so close to maxing, but we still don't have Garlic's item. Hopefully we find it soon. Yeah, its base area is just going to get out of control. Or if we can find that box. If we find that box again, we might just go for it. Honestly, more area up on the garlic is kind of hilarious. Just look how far away it's hitting things. And every axe push is a pretty big knockback. As long as there's no, like, as long as death isn't spawned, I think we'll be fine. Hmm, interesting items, but not Pachone. I think it's projectile time. So we need a dupe. We need... Health regen, cooldown tomb, flush tome, nice jellyfish, be easy kill. Ooh, we're starting to not do a lot of damage to them. Hmm. They'll die eventually. So we'll probably take a spinach or other damage booster at some point. Yeah, Santa Water with the with Omni's duration up, that actually makes Santa Water extremely powerful. Because eventually it's gonna start heat seeking, and I think it grows when it heat seeks. But the fact that we automatically have duration up from Omni is kinda nice. Even if we don't get Spellbinder, it should still be pretty strong. Well, there's a candy box. We're going to save the candy box for Ebony Wings, I think, if we don't get it. So chat can put it in that mind. I will I will use it on Ebony Wings. If you see a good item that you want in the weapon slot, take an opportunity. Your candy box will go towards... Oh, excuse me. It will go towards Pichone in case something else happens. That, that'll be our little, our little safety there. Come 
fun game. Ooh, those enemies. Ouch. Get the chest, but I didn't see where. The oh, there's the candy box. All right, so we're gonna hold off on that because we want to get more than six weapons. Speaking of Pachone, right, chat? Speaking of Pachone, I guess the question is, what should our final weapon be? So I'm gonna go pick this up. Get an upgrade now. Thank you, Murphy, for resubscribing. Hope you're doing well. So basically, Pachone, the candy box will be a free weapon on top of Pachone. I'm not gonna take it right away. We could discuss, I guess, later. I have no reason to really move away. Garlic is almost max. That means it'll stop appearing in the loot. There we go. Maximum garlic. There's another boss, so I can probably... Oh, I don't have the health recovery thing for it yet. Do we still need the health recovery passive if we want to upgrade garlic? The thing where healing does damage, I think, would be good for this build. Flower wall. Interesting. Oh, empty tome. Finally. That's going to be a big difference in our DPS. Garlic's already at, like, 100% uptime, but the other things could use a little boost. Let's see if we can deal with the flower wall. That boss died instantly, though. So sadly, Santa Water's still not leveled, so I don't want to take that chest yet. You can see we're getting pretty consistent attacks due to the Arcana, which is nice. Candy box there for now. Apparently, we could get the candy box plus, which will be interesting. Which I would want at some point. Oh, I wish they spawned a little faster. I can't believe I'm going to say it. If you see Curse, we might as well just get it. They're spawning, like, way too slow in this area. I almost never want Curse, but this area is, like... It, I think this is even easier than normal forest. There's just not enough enemies. That's a little better. There's another boss. Yeah, we're waiting basically to max Santa Water and or Axe, and then I could go pick up the chest. Nice. Yeah, like there's another boss there, but it's not really gonna get a chance to do that much to us. Even if we take damage, we have a lot of life regen. We'll be fine. Getting closer. Come on, Santa Water, you're so close. It already has an okay duration boost. Like, 40% is pretty good. But I don't blame chat if they Ebony Wings. I know what chat wants. <laughs> Ebony Wings is their true beloved. Do this. Still have not seen the passive item to heal ourselves. We're playing the garlic character and we can't hit the garlic. Maybe it didn't unlock earlier. Maybe because of how we got it, it didn't do it. If so, that would be kind of sad. Because technically we it's in the collection, but it might not have unlocked. If so, that's kind of sad. Which is fine, like I don't like need it, need it. It just would have been nice to do. Because I feel like we would have seen it by now if it had un unlocked from our earlier thing. Jelly wall, interesting. Oh well, that's why we have life recovery. And technically I still might be able to get it with the upgraded candy box. Though it's still not ruled out, to be honest with you. Mm 
We're very gradually gathering experience. Hello, wall of enemies. Ooh, I got stuck on the enemy briefly. That was my bad. Oh, I'm actually not at max health recovery. That would explain some things. Right, I gotta be more careful then. A bit unfortunate. Ooh, them reforming near me is kind of annoying. Please go away. Yeah, that that is kind of unfortunate. I don't think I could get the health up despite us getting it earlier. Uh, I might be in big trouble here actually. Okay. I wish it had spawned like this earlier, but they were weaker. That's fine. Getting so close. It's just so sad. We have all these like accessories, but we can't upgrade anything. <laughs> we're we're gonna start dropping off in damage super hard since we're past the eight minute mark. Yeah, this level up might be crucial. Welcome Project Omega, hope you're doing well. Finish. Interesting. I thought for sure chat was going to Pichone. Must be the new people. <laughs> I was going to say, for a while it was just Pichone domination. I think it's level to like high heaven. It's a good item. It just takes a long time. Which might be bad. Right, I'm just looking for some healing or something to do with these enemies. Our luck score is okay. There's Hollow Heart, but we don't have a whip, sadly. Lightning Ring is getting close to me being able to do something with it. We still haven't seen Duplicator, by the way. Where's our dupe? Right, chat? Where's dupe? <laughs> Game, please. There's a torch. No, that's not what I need. Yeah, this is what I needed like four minutes ago so that we weren't in this position without a super item. Oh, game. Yeah, next time we come here, I'm bringing Curse, I think. Just so that I can level faster. Because I'm not worried about their damage. I'm worried about, like, five minutes of, like, no upgrades. But we're getting close. We have competing bonuses. The only thing I can upgrade currently is Santa Water. Because we still don't have dupe for some reason. Very silly. Uh, I'm reading chat now. Ever play Zombie Party? No, I've not. Well, there's a health up. There's another boss kill. We just bully him real hard right now while we have fire breath. Thank you, chat. Well, right, we're back at full. Got another chest, but no ability to upgrade, which is so awkward. As long as I keep moving, the Santa water should just keep stacking for like near inf infinity. Or an infinite item. Oh, there's duplicator. Jeez, chat. Oh, please give me the duplicator. <laughs> I'm dying for it, literally. That thing was just not spawning. Place like this, but no auto attack. This thing. How do you attack then? You still have like regular attack commands? Ooh, lots of healing from chat. Thank you, chat. And we're now fighting library enemies, which is fine. Yeah, you can see the Santa water is starting to get a little out of control with our setup. Which is good. I wanted to. Oh, it's a Rotus box. I mean, it is good. It's just. If chat wants to, I mean, it is funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That item is funny. That does make our build very dumb at some point. We just have to not level it to max for a while. Later on, it won't matter. We'll take the passive bonuses across the board. Oh, both mouse clicks. Interesting. 
Yeah, I don't think the heart is showing up, sadly. I think even though we used it, it didn't unlock it. I, and to be fair, I didn't see it when we completed the stage that it said it unlocked. So whatever. It's fine. We're, we're playing Poe without his ability to upgrade garlic, which is a bit sad. But whatever. I still can't believe we still can't level up a single weapon. That's insane. Like, we're at level 35 without a single one is upgradable. Painful. Absolutely painful, chat. We're getting closer, though, at least. So, like, I can go candy box once Pachone levels, and then we could get an extra weapon, at least. Give me one second. I want to enlarge chat since people are typing something other than ones now. There we go. Uh, I should probably get that Arcana. Uh, we don't have many unlocked, but I think from our choices, we only have... Actually, we have nothing that bounces from this, so that's useless. I don't want Wicked Season. Heart of Fire doesn't do anything. I guess we'll do healing. It's better than nothing. Maybe later, if we get a uh, Fire Wand or something, we'll do the other one. Ooh. Chat has interesting choices here. That first one is my go-to, for sure. Healing is nice as your first one, but it's one I never take after we unlock uh, Critical. Once I get Critical, that's like the... Critical and Bounce, once I get those, I don't bother with the other ones. Critical on things like Axe... And like the bounces on axe slash fire wand are so busted, and both crit is very silly. Oh, I can finally take these. Good. There we go. This one should be very silly. Yeah, follow you and grow when they move. Perfect. So we walk around, and they should get bigger. So we should have near constant death AOE at least. And with duration up and area up, that makes the Santa Water extremely powerful. Chone's getting close. So eventually we're just going to have the entire screen of burning fire. <laughs> that was the Arcana that we started with. We're now seeing its true power take place now that we have Santa Water upgrade. And because of its projectile speed, it should follow me pretty quickly. It does make seeing the experience a little difficult. <laughs> the blue on blue is interesting. Yeah, we're seeing it kind of go crazy. And we're not even at max cooldown or anything. So let's see. Next up would be... I guess any weapon. We have three chests, but still nothing to upgrade at 12 minutes. Kind of brutal. Lightning Ring is three away... Pachone and Ebony Wing are 6 away. The Axe is 7 away. That's kind of rough. Pachone getting closer. I might just pick up a chest just to speed it up at this point. I don't think it's the worst idea ever. Yeah, let's just pick up a chest. Worst thing that happens is it gives me a passive. Yeah, fine. It was worth attempting to get the weapon upgrade to speed things up a little. But free AoE is good for this. I mean, we're witnessing now the wall of death. As long as I keep moving a little bit, it should take a ton of damage. Okay, let's go collect the XP now. Stop time. So, we still have a lot of weapons to count, but fortunately... We have things like the Attract Orb to get the experience before they become the Red Crystals. I'm not as dependent on those. Oh my gosh, Empty Tome, please. <laughs> that is going to speed up our damage total so much. The Santa Water is already kind of out of control, and we don't even have that good of a cooldown still. Like, this must be really ridiculous on the character with 30% cooldown reduction. I mean, look how much Santa Water is out already. It is just absolutely annihilating the entire enemy army. Which is good, I wanted to. 
Ooh, another dupe. More Santa Water, more Lightning Ring, more Axe. Technically, maybe more Pachone Fireballs. And then it will stop showing up in the pool, which is good. Yeah, we got through, I think, the rough middle stage of this character. Now we could have fun again. Don't mind me, just walking around, killing everything. Eventually I'll get the thing where- Well, actually, no, I don't have anything for Axe. I don't even have the thing that makes it crit. That's where it gets really dumb. Finish up, I respect. That just wants more Santa Water damage. I mean, at this point, we're seeing nearly insta-kills. Which is good. We're gonna need it later. Lightning Ring, three away. Axe, five away. Pachone, Pachone Chats Beloved got the level up. Uh, yeah, as long as we don't, like, start power leveling the box, we should be fine. Its final level is 100% curse. Which is, which is fine in most builds, but we're not quite there for it. Pachone is actually really close, so it's now within 5, so it's still closer than Axe. The Lightning Ring or Pachone is fine. Does it remove its uh, buffs at max? If so, that's a bit unfortunate. We had it earlier, but I don't think I checked my stats when it capped. Yeah, if so, that's kind of unfortunate. On the plus side, we won with 100% curse already. Ooh, Pachone is getting so close. So just two more from Ebony Wing, and I could finally pick up those chests. And that'll free up another item, which means I could pick up a candy box. And then we'll start spiraling out of control. But we're not quite there yet. But the fact that it's already like this and it's not at max cooldown is kind of insane. Omni definitely putting in the work right now, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, Rosary from chat, thank you. That beautiful, beautiful cooldown chat. <laughs> The Santa Order is already completely out of control. We don't even have Spellbinder or anything, which would make it probably ultra broken. Just the fact that we just have so many falling at this rate. Like, the whole screen is on fire, essentially. So many chests. So we need two more for Ebony. Then we can get another weapon, which will probably be Fire Wand, because chat did spinach. But chat can still pick whatever they want, of course. But we're getting there. We've been grinding steadily towards this number. As long as I keep moving, it makes the lightning strike faster, as well as the Santa Water come out faster. So if you're wondering why there's so much Santa Water, uh, every time I move, it reduces the cooldown of Garlic, Lightning Ring, and the Water. So we have a big hard carry from that Arcana right now. Another 8%? I mean, the Santa Water is already completely insane. But now for true insanity. I wonder if we could get the whole screen blue before we get that other Arcana that buffs its range. Come on, game. Just need one more in Ebony Wings, and then I can start picking up chests. There we go, I can finally pick up a chest. <laughs> Been hard locked out of it. We keep getting weird passive choices and not our weapons. That's fine. Finally, I could go pick this up. There we go. Now we can have another weapon. And then once we get that other weapon, I could go get the candy box. Should still. Oh, we have two candy boxes. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. I did not see the second one. My bad, chat, for not acknowledging that. So that's gonna be super bonkers. So now we just need a weapon, and then we'll just go pick up the candy boxes. 
So welcome to Damage Central. Oh, there's Magic Wand. I mean, I'm not going to say no to Magic Wand. Magic Wand, Fire Wand, Laurel, whatever. Alright, so we now have max items. Let's go find the candy box. It's here somewhere. There's the candy box. Let's discuss, chat. What what item do you want me to pick? <laughs> so what what would you like? You can't technically choose it, but I will do what you want. Could technically do fire wand if we want to go with spinach. I'd prefer probably the only thing I'd probably not prefer is pentagram. Bible, Cross don't have a lot of synergy with what we have. Bone or Cherry Bomb are just funny. I don't really care if they're like effective. Floral's still pretty good. Fire Wander Bone. We did do Bone last time. Okay, Chats is saying Fire Wand universally. They're, they're doing the actual good choice. <laughs> so we should be able to get the Ricochet. And then we could get another candy box, believe it or not. Let's go find where that is. So many chests. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll find it eventually, chat, I promise. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, there it is. Sure, another weapon. So chat, what would you like as your next item? Our build is now definitely broken. So next time we get an Arcana, we're going to do the one where Magic Wand and Fire Wand bounce. And at that point, we are untouchable. We can do whatever, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Just chat choosing Minnow Rush, is that what I'm seeing? So we still have Whip Knife, Clock Lancet, Laurel, Bible, Bomb. Laurel or Clock Lancet would be Murphy's preference. How does chat feel about that? Laurel's potentially useful. Mostly I keep brushing into things dumbly. Right, I'm seeing multiple votes for Laurel. Let's give ourselves some invincibility. So we're gonna slowly make our way towards all these chests. There's one. I just want to make sure none of those are Arcana chests, because there's so many stacked, I honestly can't tell. We have three treasure chests to get to. Ooh, a luck up. It's always nice. Well, anyway, have fun choosing the level up, by the way. We're going to be here a while with those. There's a rosary here. Although, to be honest, it's like they're already being deleted. So sadly... I still don't see the option to get the heal like, recovery heart, so I think we just didn't unlock it. So we'll unlock that for next time. The build is very silly right now. On the plus side, at least we double healing. So if we do need some health, we have Laurel to kind of hold off. Most invincible old man. I mean, just look at the death rays constantly firing from us. So we should get his ability since we are over level 50. Shooting stars, nice. At this point, we just need to start maxing weapons. We can finally take the last of the chests. Okay, Axe is getting the upgrade. Yeah, Magic Wand will keep... Oh, I'm being attacked by chat. Magic Wand will keep the uh, enemies out of my Garlic Zone and push them back into Patone. Technically, the Axe will as well. Hello, Shooting Star. Another regular chest. Yeah, sadly, we don't have the Arcana that bounces fire. I, I didn't think we were going to get that many candy boxes. It is what it is. Oh, well. 
Gotta live with our choice, I suppose. 35% cooldowns, kinda nice. We have near death at all times. Axe is only two away from capping, I think. I've been holding off on getting these chests to kind of maximize, but I might get punished for that. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of gold from this stage, I'm noticing. That's fine. Mostly because no chests. I mean, this is just melting them. I kind of feel bad for them at this point. We have, like, the Death Ray always nuking everything near us. Gold fever? Don't mind if I do. Nice. <laughs> the old man having almost 80% uh, might is kind of funny to me. I got a little extra money. We'll put that towards greed. Because right now we're not running with any greed. Because I just wanted to try Omni. It was kind of worth it. But eventually we'll put our stuff back into greed. Can you imagine your granddad as he's telling more stories? Something like that. Oh, well, Lighting Ring and Axe getting super close. So Axe will let us finally upgrade that and get rid of that. Lightning Ring also upgrading is fine. There we go. So we can finally start getting Death Size, which will push everything out of Garlic range into the fire, into the Death Lasers. So we got a pretty good get off me at the moment. Just just a couple level ups from that uh XP. A little bit. Nice. Oh, we're actually gonna max lightning ring. That's convenient. I feel like we we left quite a bit of experience behind, and it seems like we've now caught up to it at least. Let's go immediately pick this up. Okay, Death Scythe unlocked. Thunder Ring unlocked. Or Thunder Loop, excuse me. So now we just need to level the wands. As suddenly every enemy panic time. Hello. Chat's making sure I'm panicking. I love all the exploding enemies trying to reach me. Save me, giant barriers of water. None shall pass. Now that is some damage. I might as well just pick up another chest. Oh, hello. We'll let it play out. Oh boy, chat. Just a couple of wand upgrades, you know. Nothing too major. And again, the more I move, the faster they attack. Okay, we have two endgame, or three endgame weapons, so normally that would be strong enough to clear, but we still have not hit our potential. Thank you, Omni. Oh, I picked up some red crystals, finally. Yeah, spinach and orb is finally out of the pool. Getting closer. Oh, Magic Wand is getting so close. I still haven't seen the thing that gives us Arcana, so we still have, like, a much higher ceiling to go towards. I love the killer experience floating towards me, by the way. So close. But we should have enough money to at least get a couple points in Greed. Because I think it's important to have some of it.
But at the same time, inevitably, I'm gonna have more money than I will need. So it depends on how much of a rush I feel. Is panic time is panic time still happening? I feel like they're constantly coming towards me. That one lasts forever. Oh, I think they finally died. We did it. We made it through panic time. Okay, wand is there. I can upgrade that. I love that we have so many weapons. We haven't even come close to capping the box. Oh, there's an Arcana. Let's get the one where the projectiles bounce. Yeah, this one. There we go. Here we go. We're like, no, it needs to be dumber. <laughs> right, chat? Dumber. Get the magic wand. Another intense upgrade. Okay, we'll let it play out. Well, I was saying I wasn't, we weren't leveling the box very much, but I have a feeling this will probably level the box. How did it dodge the box? How did it dodge every single one on the box? Okay, I'll take that. Let's take a look at the fire one level. Fire one's at four. So yeah, this is looking kind of, kind of GG to them. Yeah, two. See, that's what we needed earlier. We we didn't get like a quintuple when we were at like 300% luck, but like 80, 90, it'll give it. I can't believe that didn't level the box. That to me is, is just hilarious. Yeah, we have constantly bouncing projectiles. This is so dangerous for them. Looks always fun, you're a vampire survivor. TM looks more like a stack path of exile character. I mean, this is just constant death. The sad part is we could just keep getting stronger. I don't think we're gonna get the you having to choose gold for me over and over. I don't think we're quite gonna get to that point for a while. Somehow still giving Vandalier over the other ones, but that's fine. Vandalier is just free damage, I guess. Make it always up. Always be blasting. I'll probably do one more run after this, and I gotta get some food. Oh, there's a boss. I mean, not that you can really tell. Oh, look, he's getting he's getting knocked back due to garlic. <laughs> just hard bullied him. That was, that was so rude. I just walked up to him. He's like, no. <laughs> they can't get through the magic wand garlic. No. Poor, poor enemy. Oh boy, fire wand getting stronger. It's already ricocheting. Holy. We still have so many chests to pick up, by the way. I haven't even come remotely close to getting all of them. It is such a shame we didn't end up getting the recovery passive. That would have been nice to have, like, all, all, nothing but evolve weapons and then Laurel. Or whatever. Fire wand. Ooh, it's gonna max so I can pick up a chest. It might be another quintuple for no reason. To make up for how bad it was earlier. There we go. Let's go see what this is. It's a triple? Okay. Wow, and it still dodged the other thing. That is good. <laughs> that is so good for us, chat. Holy. I got Laurel upgrades for when we inevitably curse them. At this rate, I'm almost curious if, I, if I'm if i going to actually run out of levels or if I have to pick up that chest early. Oh boy. <laughs> this is just nasty. I mean, just look at this. This is definitely full screen clear. There's items in here somewhere. I can't tell. They're all stacked. We still have Laurel the level, which is funny. Bandolier is powerful. Although, sadly, with our build, I don't think Vandalier is going to do any damage. We just have too much Death Water and then uh, everything else. Unless they get as tanky as they did in the Bone Zone, then it's going to get like 2 million in like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, with all those pro long range projectiles, we're killing essentially off screen. More AoE will help it. Death Laser just sweeping in. 
I mean, I could see it hitting, because that's where, like, where the wall of red comes in, because it doesn't crit. Yeah, so when they inevitably get the curse boost, I will at least have Laurel to survive a couple of seconds. Rosary, nice. I love I'm picking up the food basically full screen. My magnet is 233. Yeah, Fire Wand is kind of insane. And it's always bouncing too, so I could just walk behind it. Just laugh. And what can they do? Yeah, I think we have... Like, I don't have any armor, which does actually make it risky for the final few minutes. Uh, for when they get cursed. But until then... Should be good to go. Yeah, the shield and roll... Of vulnerability for 0.2 seconds is huge, given that we're already cutting laurels pull down by quite a bit. Ooh, chat leveled the Tarotas box. That's fair. We're like bigger, faster, stronger, more more murder. Fire One needs more bounces. <laughs> Holy. There's a chest there. There's like five million items over here somewhere. I'll find it eventually. I can't see in the wall of numbers where it is. I know it's vaguely in this direction. One all the way. Yeah, look at that. More cooldown. Yeah, okay, I found the time stop that was over here. There's a rosary and a heal. Okay, there's a heal. Woo! I mean, they're barely even existing on screen with me at this point. That's kind of funny. Laurel's capped, and then we just have seven levels of safety. Although, I think with 4,000 money is not bad. I'd probably get Greed 2 or Greed 3 off of it. Like, minimal changes. Because I didn't even optimize our uh, loadout from last time. So if I really want to, I can reset it again. Yeah, I'm trying to walk around enough that I might spawn more lamps. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's the sweep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's how I can assure I can walk forward. So the laser is still helpful there, because if it's in front of me, I walk in that direction. So let's witness, when it hits max level, we should be at above 100 might, and if we're not at the end of it, we'll know that the bonuses fell off. Yeah, this right here, where it just, like, see, it just, it basically just claps them. Like, it, it looks like two arms, like, they're just putting the hands together, and they're just gone. But yeah, the AoE of the Santa Water, the, the size of the Fire Wand, the projectile size. If we keep all that, I don't really care if they get stronger. I mean, just look at this. And we still have Garlic to knock them backwards. As long as they're not legitimately immune to knockback. A, okay, that is a second chest. The one, 144p visual clutter. Poor Chad. Some healing I picked up. We're almost at level 100. We're getting closer, so we'll know if it dips below 100, we lose the bonuses. But if we keep the bonuses, this just keeps happening. Like, look how big the Santa Water is currently. Look at it. It's like an entire area where they just die instantly. So as long as I move like a little bit, we should be good. Once I hit the max uh, box, I'll just go pick up the chest to get extra money. I figured that would be worth doing at that point. And if it gives us another candy box, that would be very funny. I'm not going to lie. If we get candy box, that will be very funny. Because I think we could get, what was it called? The turbo candy box? Where it would just give us another upgraded weapon. Which we might just do for garlic, just because. <laughs> not that it's effective. It's more funny. So we have one more level up, so I want to end my level somewhere over here. 
Come here, Jeff Lasers. There we go. So let's go pick up this chest, since there's nothing else we could do with it. And if we do get another candy box, then we have one less box to get a final... Well, actually, it wouldn't matter at that point, because it would be the super upgrade. Okay, so we keep the bonuses. What's in here? Just money. Okay, that's fair. Well, there's death. A little extra cash. Um, Sadly, he's going to force me upwards. Because I don't have pentagram to kill him. I'm going to try not to kill the crab. Oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody gave me gold fever. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please always big bad coin. Save, save your keyboard. <laughs> You're free, chat. Rest your fingers. You did well. I just have to survive a little bit. We'll use the death laser. Thank you, death laser. <laughs> well, I think we're getting a little bit of cash. We're just getting a little, just a little bit of cash. <laughs> you know what? Let's pick up another chest. Why not? More cash. So they're spawning very quickly due to curse. This is not a bad thing with gold fever. Okay, they're getting tankier. That's fine. As long as we keep moving, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the money total. It's just like climbing rapidly. Holy. What a ridiculous amount of cash. Thank you, Death Laser. Death Laser's helping me move. Just gotta move with Death Laser and we'll be fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, they are tankier. They're not dying instantly. Some of them aren't anyway. That was a ridiculous gold rush. Well, I think we're maxing greed now. Leave recovery where it is. Let's move with the death laser. Oh, you rosary? That's disgusting. Yeah, they're getting a little harder to kill. The death laser's here with Santa water. <laughs> Holy. Get away from me. Leveled up again. But anyway. Never doubt the power of the bird right here. It is definitely just using the erase tool on them. Although I notice I'm not moving as far as much because they're so tanky thanks to the curse. We're making progress at least. So if the other thing's gonna kill me for not going down or for remaining too far down, I think we'll be fine. But I am gradually moving upwards. Bird is the word so much experience. Okay, we passed level 100, which is nice. <laughs> death laser towards them. Walk towards the death laser. Walk back up here. Leveled up again. We're at a little over 8,000 in cash. That's kind of nice. I don't know if that's enough to max greed, but it's a good start. As I said before, I think I could reset our power-ups to be more efficient if I want to. I love the, sh the shooting star trying to hit me. Fortunately, I'm not a stationary character. Alright, so as long as I can kind of serpentine, I can take advantage of the death laser. And again, you can see when the death laser hits because it's just a wall of red. Oh, a time stop? Oh, they're in trouble. Holy. Getting actually deleted. Alright, here's a moment of truth. Can I survive the final minute? It's enemies that are pushbackable? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. They they had a shot with Iron Golem. 
that thing is annoying. If they summon more things from plant, that would have been bad for us. Yeah, GG. The dragons I don't care about at all. Dragons are like the easiest final enemy it could have been. Even if they ricochet towards me, it doesn't really matter. Oh no, more luck boost. There we go, nice clear. I'm very curious how much damage the bird did. Now that we're at this phase, where it just clean sweeps some of these enemies from existence. Five more seconds. And then we die. We did it. Our reward is death. Nice. Find the magic banger and Locke's music selection. Level 50 with Poe, Blood, Astronomia. Survive 30 minutes in Green Acres, skip. The Labora did 11.2 million damage. How much did the bird do? 6.9. So it, it did, it, it, even though, yeah, it did end up out damaging Thunderloop, even though Thunderloop also got the bonus. That's very silly. I love that it puts Candy Box in as the weapon. <laughs> that was fine. Nice to have some more options in the future. Let's correct our power-ups. So we definitely start with this, and then we go to Omni. And I want experience. I want cooldown. I want luck. I want armor. And from here, I don't think it matters, because green is last. So we'll see how it goes with just one of each. Max, 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 max. Okay, good enough. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Listen, I don't super need movement speed or magnet. It's more just a convenience thing. So if I get almost quadruple the recovery and keep greed, sure. Hmm. Their character we have not won with yet. Oh, we never we never beat an area with this character? Oh, that's awkward. We never unlock Pascalina's ability. So next time we clear a stage, I'll be able to purchase characters. Which will be nice when we get to that eventually. Anyway, let's, uh, I guess, do them. Is there anything I feel like doing with them? We already did Bone Zone. Hmm. We could try some of these special areas, I guess. So we, we got the we got the important thing from Gallo Tower. From here it's more just how quickly do I want to beat this? Hmm. Enemies are slow and weak to fire. Interesting. Full lever for bonuses. Elixin stage, there's a map. I guess I will probably want to just do this for the map. Fireball! Fireball, indeed. Murphy saying De Niro. Yeah, we'll eventually unlock him. Un unfortunately, we got the recovery item from another character, but it didn't actually unlock the recovery item, which was awkward. So, it's fun. Uh, I guess we could try this area. I want to at least get the relic. Listed weapons also emit special damaging zones when affected by a mounted magnet. Enemies with a magnet take damage based on the amount. Ooh, interesting. Uh, we're a Rune Tracer build. Do we have anything for Rune Tracer at all? I don't think we do. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um... I don't really want to do Wicked Season. We're, we're not farming. This one is interesting, but I, I until we get the garlic upgrade, I don't think I super care about this. I guess we'll do the bounces since this affects the most weapons that we have. Oh, a lot of items here. Oh, there is a heart thing here. Hmm. Annoying. Oh, well, let's go this way. 
Yeah, I was like, because that's why I didn't want to do garlic. I was like, oh, I didn't know. Never been to this map before. Because then we could have done the garlic build, finally. <laughs> the one I was trying to do earlier. Okay. Chat's first choice. Oral, interesting. Thank you, Tom. I presume I need to find a way up in order to go to the right. There's a big mountain path to my left. So this is more like an actual map versus just like a free roam. It's not a bad thing, but I just gotta learn the map. We'll walk around and learn. Ooh, early duplicator. Interesting. We got some time to figure out the map. I also see a sword in there, so I'm assuming if I pick up the sword, I'm gonna get a new item. Low light sources. Ooh, luck up. That's good. I need that for later. Well, at least we have something that bounces. Technically, we can continue leveling Rune Tracer or Fire Wand. Nice. Oh, it's shooting towards the wall. That sucks. This looks like a way in. That should put us near a gold fever and an unlockable character. Thing. Yeah, we have enough that if I have to kill something, at least we have some damage. Imagine it's in here. Hello. Place the detail map when in mountain bell. Okay. Interesting. So we want to go for the sword at some point. There's a mystery thing to our right we should probably go to try to do. I guess I can kill the boss thing here. That's nice. So it seems like the additional maps add a bit more, I would say, exploration to the game, because mostly it's just kind of an infinite hallway scenario. Oh, they're in the wall, so it doesn't hit the fireball. That is actually pretty annoying. Thank you. At least we killed it for the beast theory. Yeah, if I get fire breathing here, that would be huge, but we'll see. Uh-oh, chat's beloved is here. Ooh, magic wand, interesting. Fire breathing. Go through here. Interesting they can't seem to go through the walls. Like, they actually respect the walls in this one. Okay, we're gonna go for the bonus character, whatever it is. And we just need, like, a little teeny bit of cash to unlock some characters. The Rune Chaser is actually proving kind of useful in here. Oh yeah, we just have to beat one of those. That's not too bad. So, Fire Wand getting nerfed. Until it finally pierces walls, then it'll be good again. Or at least Magic Wand should destroy it. We have four weapons. Duplicator, even though it pairs with nothing, pairs with everything synergistically. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see. Who is this character? Yang Moonspell joins the survivors. So I'm assuming this character will unlock a weapon by using them. 
and we could potentially get their weapon to the left as well. It'll be the character that uses the weapon that we get. I guess it's more accurate. It could be fun to potentially wield a sword or something later. Yeah, let's go see what that sword's all about. Ooh, time stop and luck bonus. I'm not gonna say no to luck bonus, as that does affect some of our abilities. That ghost is tanky. Is that a boss? I was gonna say. We're we're not coming back for this chest chat. We're picking it up now. Ooh, does chat risk right lightning ring and give up Pichone? See what chat decides. Still no armor for Rune Chaser though, sadly. Yeah, I only saw one of the the fabled pair briefly. Okay, so if I come out here, I miss the gold fever, which is fine. We don't really have weapons to take advantage of that. We'll end up at around, hopefully, about 800 spare cash by the time we're done with this. And just a couple more chests should guarantee it. There's the armor. An upgrade Rune Tracer. I'm curious what the sword is, but if I pick up the sword, I think that'll lock chat out of Pichone. Unless we get a lucky candy box. It's the only downside, as much as I want it. You. Nice rosary. At least we're getting pretty steady experience. But, uh... <laughs> it really wants you to get a new item, apparently, but I think that's fine. We have three offensive weapons, a defensive item. That'll be fun. We might pick up Banish after this, rather than take stuff in recovery. I think it'll be important to get rid of the bonus weapons that are bad. Oh. I misunderstood the map. If I go to the left, I think that also works. Three passive. Depending on what that is, that could be huge. It's interesting it could give up give us items we already or items we don't have. So in theory it could give us the Tiramisu, for example. Hello, Ogre. He exploded. Or I guess probably more an Oni. Ooh. Uh what are you? Ouch. Okay, the enemy density suddenly went from not that bad to what is going on real quick. Imagine he'll instantly kill me if he reaches me. Uh... There's a candy box. I really don't want it to spawn in here, though. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, these things are just so unkillable to me right now. I'm dead. Yeah, they're just... I just don't have the... D I didn't think they were gonna be one that many that to that tanky. That's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. The Rune Tracer character dies again. We don't get any bonuses from them. Can I just unlock Gennaro? Yeah, let's play Gennaro, then. I'm gonna try that again, but I'm not going in there until I have better items. Go for bounces. Yeah, like we went from like literally one shotting to like I can't even kill them in like five hits. Like that was kind of ridiculous how much tougher that was. Well, anyway, we should finally be able to unlock the passive healing. Yeah, this character gets so much better once you get the duplicator passive. Because three knives is actually good enough to kill most things. And at least I could kind of force my way through. Oh, 
So I either need like really high movement speed or I just need like an actually fully upgraded weapon to get through that. Because they were taking almost as much damage as the boss. Like maybe like half as much, but compared to the rest of the enemies, it was still four times more. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting through that, which is Rune Tracer. Sorry, Rune Tracer character. We'll do you another time. I didn't think it I didn't think the game was gonna get that serious with me. Like the giant skeleton is whatever, you know, that's the gimmick. You just gotta rush through. The other enemies, hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, we have some future characters to look forward to. And we did unlock the character that I said I wanted to unlock. Magic wand bounces are huge here. Again, I have potential, like, boss damage, because I could just look at a target and he dies. There's Pachone for Shan. Yeah, we're, we're gonna explore a little more. I could go for the garlic upgrade in the corner if I really wanted to. Yeah, there's like a luck boost, a power boost. Like it gets spinach at the end of the game. We get a guaranteed duplicator on this stage, which is interesting. Ooh, chat with the luck boost. Knives will eventually crit if I get Bracer. That pairs super well with each other. Yeah, if we end up getting Bracer, that'll be huge. Ebony Wings. Well, I think I know what chat's picking. In bird we trust. Yeah, we went in with no cooldowns, and then we got, like, much harder than normal enemies. And then a lot of enemies, also. Well, I could pick up that chest. I guess I will. I uh, would level up chat's favorite item anyway. So we can pick up Duplicator in the cave or pick it up here. Otherwise, we can level something. There we go. Yeah, I guess there's a duplicator, a candelabra up there. But we'll get a free candelabra no matter what. There we go. Game really wants a new item for some reason. I'm like, game please, we have five weapons. We don't need a sixth right now. <laughs> Should be offering us passives. Racer with magic wand is a pretty good pairing. Because eventually we're just gonna get to the point where only projectile speed matters. Ooh, fire breathing. We're already picking up an okay amount of cash due to the uh, luck bonus we got earlier. Yeah, it's definitely a shame I don't have the ricochet. The, the ricochet knife axe combo is so disgusting. Hopefully we unlock that at some point. It might be off of this character, to be honest. The Arcanus. We had very limited experience with Arcanus, but that was one of the ones where I was like, wow, that is like... Game game endingly broken before you get your uh, Lancet nonsense. Yeah, so I think we can almost go back in the cave, honestly. We have way more AoEs now, and I have more focus damage, because the problem before is I couldn't get it to focus on a target. We're like, this will get through. I'll still probably level a little more first, though, either way. Oh no, Chan has to choose between Ebony Wings and Pichone. The only way to conflict the chat. <laughs> Be passive. I dropped a crown. I think I want that right now. 
I'm definitely just gonna open this chest immediately. Okay. Let's start heading back towards the cave. We might be fine. I'll try to get kills along the way, since like, I think it is still important for us to level. It's just that I'm a little less concerned. Now that we have, like, focus damage... Like, Fire 1 would be nice. If I need to, I can still leave the cave, at least. I think I have to go through this entrance. What I would give for Fire Breathing entering that cave, that would be so huge. Candelabra is not bad. Still no bracer though. Knife piercing would be sick. Yeah. That's gonna give me a lot more push through the caves. Let's see. Is it gonna go straight to Oni? Okay, it will. Oh, magnets. So I can choose for them to not spawn. Interesting. So if I do feel like they're too tough, we could do that. If, if it was fire breathing, I would have just gone in immediately. But instead we got magnet. Which is not bad. It's free level ups. Oh, they're surviving multiple sets of knives. Oh, duplicated, please. <laughs> That's actually huge. Everything better. Look how much XP is flying towards us. That should help with pushing through the cave. Still no Bracer. The fact that we only have one support item so far is also kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> We've maxed our accessory. We have five weapons. Need the game to be a little nicer though. Wow, they're taking multiple sets of knives. That's not good. Alright, we can't quite go in there yet. Fire breathing, maybe. Without it, no. I mean, look at that, Chad. They, if they take two sets of knives with how fast they're moving... I don't think so. Yeah, let's wait for an upgraded weapon, and we should be fine. I can't believe Knife is almost maxed with no Bracer. That's actually insane. Or honestly, maybe even with base damage up 5, maybe that's good enough. Let's test it real quick. Yeah, because we cleared those guys really quickly. It's just these guys I need to know about. No, you can't force them. I, I think we're missing the Fire 1 damage. I see a clover, but it's now being guarded by the death guy. Don't think I really want to mess with that. Yeah, where's our cooldown passives? Come on, game. Give us hollow heart. Give us, like, real ones. Like, I, I want that for sure at some point. Uh, we're, we're definitely ignoring whatever is happening there. We killed this skeleton guy. Look how tanky they are. What is that? Alright, so we just need the bracer. Come on, game. Then I could go in. Because infinite knives is pretty good. Or, oh, excuse me, thousand knives. <clears throat> yeah. I'm glad we did kill him with fire breath. That's what I was thinking would work to kill him. I'm glad that that was about to expectations. On game. Oh, nice rosary. Thank you, John. 
Come on, give it to us. Where's the bracer? Where's the bracer? Where's the bracer? How did we max snipe with no bracer? Game, please. Please. At least give us fire wand or something. That way we get more bounces. Then we'll be fine. We have multiple chests, but no ability to do anything still. Just like hilarious. Game's actually trolling. I want to pick up whatever that sword is at some point. Whether it's an ex I'm assuming it's a weapon. If we get one more weapon too, that's also fine. Free passive. We have to go back for the clover eventually. That is probably worth picking up with the crit build. Do magnet. This should level us. Ooh, Pichone. Jack getting closer to giving us an extra weapon. So honestly, if I pick up the sword now before getting another weapon, we still end up with a free weapon either way. I'm just looking for Bracer. I'm just very shocked we haven't gotten that as a choice still. I know it's unlocked. Like, don't lie to me, game. It's even like a common one. Tiramisu. Um, I'll go pick that up now. Speaking of Tiramisu, we just mentioned that earlier, actually. It's kind of funny. Wow, still no Bracer. Game, please. I mean, you can see we're, like, cleaving through them, but, like, w we will need this yeah. to come through this cave, I'm pretty sure. Hello, wall of enemies. Come on, just one bracer. One time, and then we just get the super level up. That way there's no delay in our knife throw. Please. Please give us please give us the bracer. Why? <laughs> Why? Where's the bracer? Come on. You've gotta be kidding me. We got tier It says Tier Jisu instead of Misu. Game please. This is it's not even like we're asking for dupe. <laughs> we're asking for like one of the most common items in the game. How are we not getting this with knife and luck bonus? like actually insane oh 130 luck we still can't get it oh my gosh what is happening are we gonna max pachone before i see this bracer that is so sad we don't even have our cooldown tome or anything yet which would also make me go in there there's another boss or mini boss at least my mini boss If we don't get it on this one, I'm going to be like, seriously? How? 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 <laughs> We're like level 30. Game, please. Unreal. Even with free passes, we can't get it. I'm getting trolled like super hardcore right now. Game, please. All I'm asking for is the, the most basic of basic items, please. Please give it to us. We still did not get it. I think you might legitimately finish Ebony Wings and Pachoni before we get this item. Getting actually hard trolled. Still no cooldown tome either, which really sucks. Like, that is more rare, but like, this is ridiculous. Game, please. I would have gone in the cave like eight levels ago if we just had Bracer. Still don't have Bracer. I think I, I think that needs a round of applause. <laughs> you are actually going to max more than one weapon before getting a single passive. <laughs> Game, please. We've gotten only duplicator ring, by the way. The Tiramisu, we picked up as a free passive, and we spent one level on it. Unreal. Gold fever. It sure would be nice if I had infinite knives. I still don't have it. You're actually going to max... Max Magic Wand as well without its counterpart. Actually maddening. <laughs> How is this happening? I 
I would never have thought we were going to get to the 10 minute mark without entering that cave. That is actual tomfoolery from the game right now. Game, please. There's another boss. We're killing like four bosses before we enter there. On the plus side, I'll be able to purchase another character no matter what, I suppose. Unbelievable chat. At least I'm getting a lot of money out of this. Please level me. Nope. How? How? We have such a good luck bonus. Isn't? Didn't they fix this that you're, if you have one part, it tries to give you the other part? Wasn't that a big thing they pro pushed in one of their patch notes? This is crazy. We don't have a single item that matches with itself other than duplicator. Unbelievable. Now I definitely can't go in the cave because our damage has just completely fallen off the cliff. Despite chat's numerous luck boosts to me. I don't think we're getting through this. Still not there. Oh my, you're actually going to complete it. <laughs> Why? On the plus side, if we ever do decide to get Pentagram, it's going to activate. So it is a base 10% chance. That's nice. We killed another boss, by the way. Unbelievable. I would like to go in that cave before the 15 minute mark. I would, I would very much appreciate game if you gave me some ability to clear. There's the candy box. Am I gonna have to candy box for some nonsense item? You actually completed Ebony Wings? <laughs> you actually completed Ebony Wings before we got a single useful passive. Unreal, chat. Unreal how bad that is. Holy. Well, I guess we'll decide what we get with our bonus item later. Fire one would probably be useful. And we could pick up the sword. Or I can wait for the candy box and try to greet it and then get more weapons at the end. Just sound fun. Unbelievable. You might actually level Petone to max. I think it's happening. <laughs> totally crazy, Chad. I can't believe this is happening. You have two more levels. I, I might as well just let you get Petone upgraded at this point. Why even bother? <laughs> We're not getting a single upgraded weapon. There's the candy box. I'm not touching it. There's so many enemies, but hopefully this means a lot of experience. We still have not received the item. You are one level away from finishing Pachone. Then I will go pick up that chest, and then we will go pick up an item, and then we will go pick up the sword, and then we will go pick up the other thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wait as long as possible, because the sword's going to count towards the limit, though I don't want to go for the sword either, since we've made so much progress with Pachone. And again, I, I would never have thought... I cannot believe we still... Actually, you might as well just... Well, yeah, either pick Fire One now or get Pachone. We, sh we do need one of those at some point. I think either's fine. Uh, let let's finally do an upgrade here, I guess. There we go. Somehow that is the first thing that we leveled. Lots of question marks. Uh... I think a Randomazo. Double healing. I don't think any of these are super useful at the moment. Um, I probably want to get Heart of Fire for Fire Wand, assuming chat will do those. Sadly, we don't have the other bird. Sure, why not? At least torches appear. This should be a big level up. <laughs> Unreal actually unreal right now <laughs> really candelabra really that's the passive item you gave us game actually trolling lightning ring slowly leveling oh there's fire wand okay if jack is fire wand that's huge actually that's one more weapon i don't have to worry about all right we fire wand there's spinach because of course <laughs> you just get spinach I hate jet it. I hate it. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We get, 
We literally just picked up fire one and we just got spinach. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> just, the game is actually trolling. <laughs> Instantly. Exactly. So we just need one more weapon. And at least fire one bounces. So one more weapon and then we candy box. Then we move on. At least we have death lasers. We still need the cooldown tune. Popping the torches at least can do some damage. Yeah, ricochet exploding fireballs sounds like a good way to AoE clear. I figured it's better than nothing. Unreal, we still don't have that option. We just need one more good weapon. I don't think it'll be Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer's okay. Uh, we're gonna go inside very soon. Thank you for the chicken bonanza. I think I think the game just refuses to let us. Oh, there's a. Is it a tanuki? It's a very long tail for one. Wait, he's getting ultra murdered. Oh, I want to pick this up for sure. Hi, right, chat. Moment of truth. Will we get a useful second weapon? Before we get a single bracer, <laughs> we we are actually getting so close to capping the characters. Unbelievable, chat. Unbelievable. <laughs> we have so few things to level. I just I can't believe this. Yeah, lightning ring will help with our clears for sure. I guess I'm gonna try to go in the cave in a little bit. Oh, it's a free passive. If it's Bracer, that will be very funny. I'm not gonna lie, that would be extremely funny. I, I'm really disliking how long this is taking to get Bracer. Although, I don't think anybody could have predicted almost five and a half minutes without a single upgrade there. That is really painful. We do have Pichone, but we also still don't have any cooldown reduction, which is kind of crazy. There's a Rosary, at least. Free passive is a clover. Yeah, so at least the fire one has a little bit of AoE to it, which is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna aim my death laser into the wall of experience. I mean, at this rate, if we go in with Lightning Ring and Pachone, I think it's probably okay. I just need more AoE damage. We already have Piercing damage, at least. So yeah, we're going to get the Lightning Ring upgrade. So we're going to get three, basically, upgrades before we get to see a single weapon. That's useful. Oh, whip is okay. Go for a chest. Hi. Right. So maybe we could go in now? I would have liked better passes, but we do have Tiramisu at least. Is the item disabled for this map? I don't know. This is very weird that we can't get a ultra common weapon that will complete our bonus with high luck score. That's actually insane. I'm pretty sure it's unlocked. If, if it's actually somehow, uh, like, not unlocked by default, I would love to know why. Because <laughs> we've played as all the starting characters, except for the Rune Tracer, who should not give us the Bracer. I know we got it at the tower a couple of times. Uh, is it possible it's not unlocked? Let me check. I thought that was, like, one of the defaults. Like, it's actually so bad, I'm looking it up right now. Oh, we just had to get Bible to level 4. Yeah, that unlocked a long time ago. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay, I'm, ju I'm just making sure. One would not believe it based off of our luck here. There we go. Oh my gosh. Actually insane. We almost hit level 50 before we got it. What is that? Okay, now I could definitely go in the cave. 
Alright, let's t get another chest. A quintuple level up. I mean, you owe me, game. I think we can agree, chat. It owes me. I was like 25 unnecessary levels. So now we just need another weapon, chat. So once you pick one, we'll pick up the sword, I think. There we go. Big, big damage increase. Let, let's just take a weapon. I don't even care what it is. We have candy box in case we want something special. Cross, I think, would be okay. Laurel would be fine. I'll, I'll take whatever weapon it gives, honestly, at this point. It can even be garlic. I, I I don't even care. Just just something. We'll take the free item. Come on. One level up just for the, the weapon. And we'll go in the cave. Because then I'll pick up the sword. And then I'll candy box. And we should be fine. He is so slow. But on the plus side, we have pretty good damage. Ooh. Ooh, an attract. Nice. Oh, but Empty Tome just showed up. We have to take Empty Tome. That alone is going to make our survivability go through the roof. I guess I just go for the knife now. Okay. That's good. Do we still need a weapon increase? But at least now I can hard bully enemies. I think I'll go in the cave now. We'll kill a couple enemies, do an attract or I'll leave one for later, for when we go to leave the cave. I'll take this one now. Avoid that one if I can. There's two clovers I could pick up for later. That boss is so dead. We'll get that on the way out. Oh, we just need one. Ooh, they are really tanky now. What the heck? They're actually surviving, like, several seconds of knives. What the heck? Uh, that's a problem. Alright, well, maybe we need to come in here in a little bit. Give me any weapon, chat. I don't care. Could be whip. Could be garlic. Just give me something. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, they scale with level a little bit, but apparently super heavily so. Uh, we have one more passive, so I'm going to try not to pick up the clovers. Whoa, I can't even enter the cave anymore. That is insane. Wow, we actually got screwed. I can't even enter the cave anymore. That is so bad. All right, let's pick this up now and level. All right, let's go get a candy box weapon. I might just get Laurel or something, honestly. That's kind of insane. Yeah, I, th I think I'm just going to pick Laurel. Unless chat thinks I should take Cross or something. Or Garlic. Maybe Garlic would help with pushing the pushing them away. I think I'd be okay with it. Oops. I'll solve the screen. Yeah. Because I, I feel like we need something to get through them. And maybe them with pushback is fine. I'm assuming they're not immune to it. Plus we could technically go level up Garlic. Yeah, let's try Garlic. No, they're free passive. So we just need to pick up one more generic accessory and then I think we're good. Ooh, they're still able to push through that. That's kind of a problem. Okay. We now learned the hard way that doesn't work. So this is like the most insurmountable cave ever thanks to the stupid bracer taking way too long. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Another free passive. There's a greed mask. Um. Yeah. I could just take these, I guess. That's fine. Hmm. I technically gave up the hollow heart, but that's fine. I, 
do want to... Because we could technically also just... Get, well, if I didn't pick up the other one, I could have gotten rid of Tiramisu. Eh, I should have waited. Oh, well. I could still get the health up from the other one. How close am I to maxing? I guess this is good enough. Yeah, let's evolve the wand. I was double checking the wand. I try one more time to get through here. Fire breathing here would be huge. Yeah, now we're starting to clear them. Yeah, where where's their nonsense now? We could get the candelabra as well. I'm gonna just go collect my free passive. Tell them to get out of here. Bigger whip, get away from me. Alright, we're, we're brute forcing it to the end. Where is this sword? Get away from me. We're gonna murder this boss, though. I'm picking this up immediately. Pull down up. Nice. That's what I want. We're going in, chat. <laughs> Get out of my way. That's gonna help with our damage significantly. Ooh! Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, we're so close. Where's the sword? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Get away from the sword! Strikes with a combo attack and nearest enemy, retaliates, might steal hearts. Okay, we're out of there. Okay, we got the sword. Survive, survive, survive. Protect me, giant laser of, of death and destruction. Oh my gosh, we finally got out of that nightmare. Ooh! Away from me. Nibelang Valesti. Thank you, Chicken Bonanza or Bonanza. Holy, Whip is keeping them off me for now. I'm back at full health. The boss is taking forever to die. How's our stats looking? Kind of okay-ish. What is that other item? I don't recognize what that is. Let's go take this. Oh, it's just all the food stacked up. I was wondering what was happening there. I'm slowly making my way towards anything. Check and level whatever they want. We got the weapon because I was thinking we need to do that to unlock it potentially. Or we have to play as the character, either or. But regardless, we survived this absolute nonsense. The so 6,000 cash should unlock a couple extra characters. I mean, we already have Omni. It's like the other one that's super good for us. A lot of different weapons to level. And at least we finally have cooldowns, so our death laser is up more often. Yeah, now the knives are going to go super fast. That'll help with me just kind of walking around normally. Oh, I left a treasure chest back there. I left a treasure chest. I don't think I'm going back for it, to be honest with you, chat. I think it's on its Oh, I have to go back in the cave to leave? Oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> right, chat? That's actually terrible. Wait a minute. Not good. Uh, maybe I just go back the way I came then to get the treasure chest. That's the case. Holy. Uh oh, we may be in trouble. Yeah, I think it definitely assumes you have a lot of Arcana before you come here. I don't see how you would beat this with, without Arcana. Seems like a nightmare. I don't really see what the sword is doing to be honest, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't care if we level it or not. The tome with everything else would be useful. Yeah, at least things don't seem to be getting super close thanks to Garlic. This should be a big level up for us. Ooh, there we go. Another 8%. Faster whip, faster fire wand, faster lightning. Technically faster. 
uh, Vandalier and other things too. Nice. Fire Wands almost max. That'll be useful to have that piercing. You're pretty much screwed. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, any damage we get here is huge. Ooh, perfect. We're getting it straight up to max. That is a big survivability increase. And Whip will keep them away from me, at least. And Knife will help push enemies back if I don't want them near me. Or one. One's good, too. Both are almost max. Yeah, we're going to go back inside. We're going to look for that chest, wherever the heck it was. There's some leftover food from earlier. Oh, it was on that side. Oh, not where I thought it was. Arcana? Uh, what other useful Arcana can we get here? Healing is doubled. Um, I could make the Lightning Wand attack more often with Tragic Princess. I think that would light ring. Yeah, there we go. That might be useful. I might be dead here. I have to get out of here somehow. I got a brute force. Oh gosh, get me out of there. So they're becoming basically unkillable to me right now, which is insane given how much power this character has. Look for the rosary or whatever the other item is. There it is. Oh my gosh, they all spawned on me. What the heck was that? What the heck is this? Game, calm down with the spawn raid here a little bit, please. Holy. I think I'm ultra dead. Oh, cool down, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> I think I need it. Wow. Actually, ridiculous. Please let me get to this. There we go. Okay, good. Man, this is quite a journey. Thank you for the rosary. Apparently there's a chest in there. I'm just going to take it. Spinach up. I think we need it. Any kind of damage we could get at all at this point is huge. Look at how fast they're spawning. Holy. How much money can we make on this stage when we have actually good arcana later? Like, look, look at this. They're, we're barely making any progress on them at all. What is this? I still can't even move with all these weapons. This is crazy. Well, we're at max potential damage at this point. With our boosts. Yeah, if I picked up the bracer earlier, that would have been super crazy. I, I physically can't even enter the cave anymore. So I think this is my home now, chat. I, I don't think I can leave. The spawn rate is insane. I don't even have curse. Like, what happens if I had, like, curse 100? How unplayable would this be for us in the current state? I mean, look at this. We're, we're not even making progress in this area at all. Like, death lasers hitting them and they're not even dying. That's crazy. This is a character without even nerf. On the plus side, the bird is going to carry super hard here. But at some point, I'm not going to be able to make any additional progress. Or luck bonus. It does matter, because my knives crit and I think my fireballs also crit. It sucks that they're immune to knockback. Otherwise, garlic would have been completely fun. I mean, it, if we were fighting normal enemies, Garlic would have been, like, super top tier right now. There's a chest in here for some reason. I'm gonna pick it up. I don't even care what it gives me. Just give me the bonus. <laughs> Just look at this. What is this? I don't think I'm gonna make it through here. I'll need so much assistance from chat to get through this. This is insane. I'm trying to move to make sure we're lightning ringing constantly. 
Holy, give me the track door, please. Like, no joke, Vandalier is the only reason I'm not dead right now. That thing's AoE is literally saving me so hard right now. Oh my gosh, cooldown reduction on it. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, the bosses die instantly. The Oni are like, no, you will pay with real blood. Oh, yes, please, AoE up. We need as much AoE as possible with Vandalier. The Candelabra will let us make some progress. I still don't know if Knight Sword is, was even worth picking up. I mean, it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to make it do more damage, whatever it's doing. Oh gosh, they're going to be so unkillable now. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, these Oni just went up like 5 million health. It's over. At least I'm at 10,000 money. <laughs> well, at least we can also say we probably hit level 50 with this character. I think, that, I think that's a safe assumption. Maybe just at 80 just now, actually. Okay, we're clearing at a decent pace. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, progress, progress. Thank you, giant death laser. Thank you for healing. I just want to get back to those initial treasure chests from the beginning of the dungeon. Okay, if we keep finding healing, this is good. I'm going to somehow brute force my way out of this horrible, horrible death mass. I was going to say, that's the re I don't care if I make it to 30 minutes. If I manage to get out of this cave, I'm just going to be happy with that. Holy. We're almost out of here. There's one... There's one food to heal myself halfway in this hell dungeon. I see it, but we got to reach it. Uh, I just healed. I think this is the exit. <laughs> There's so many enemies. Get off of me. There's the chest. Do we? Can we upgrade anything? Not really. I don't think it matters. We're, we're taking it. Good. More AoE. We'll take that. That's fine. I think we're out finally. We can just see what the normal enemies are like for once. Holy. So many treasure chests to still attain. We're picking up all the chests. I'm not coming back. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm not coming back. Through this location. Okay, max, doesn't matter. Alright, that upgraded, sure, why not? I missed a chest up there somewhere. I'm not going back for it. Oh. Dragon Dragon upset a little upset at me. I don't like him striking me from that far though. Right, we're picking up all the items we're leaving. <laughs> can't tell behind bid, right? I even I can't tell, and I don't have any blur. I think it is. Yeah, so twelve thousand in gold. Needless to say, <laughs> we can start banishing the crap items now if we want to. So we have no idea what sword upgrades with. I was going to pause to see if it gave us a little chart for it, but I guess it doesn't matter. At least our damage is going up, question mark.
So we're fighting the boss thing. Ooh, we murdered basically instantly again. <laughs> that still took less time than the Oni. <laughs> the Oni were just so ridiculously tanky. What the heck was that? Um, is it worth doing anything here? Let's look at the chest and move downwards. No, we could get a crown. Jack gave me a crown earlier. I might as well go get it. So anyway, the money here is insane. I think we could all agree, chat. Like, we didn't even max the stone mask even close. And we're at way more money than we've gotten in any other stage. We haven't even gold fevered for the most part. Uh, so let's go for the crown. We're, our goal is to just pick up as many random items as possible. I don't care about level up stuff. There's the crown. Here we go, chat. We did it. <laughs> We're finally here. So there's there's the thing to technically level garlic, but I wasn't expecting like the 12 minute grind that like the four minutes trapped in the caves. So unfortunate we didn't get to level up garlic again. Could have been nice, I guess. Uh yeah, I could take the clover again, I guess. Remove that from the level up pool. Oh, it's just a regular luck up. It's not even a clover item. That's fair. Oh, whoa. I killed a boss. I mean, if you saw that boss chat, congratulations, because I, I did not. Again, it it's no Oni. I just don't think what it does matters. Holy. If we ever get a magnet at any point, we're pretty much going to be leveling for like 10 minutes straight. At the rate at which we're killing everything. Look, look at all this. Look at all this. Where, is all, where are they all coming from? It's all a horrible blur, yeah. At least you can see what the enemies look like briefly when you level up. Enjoy, enjoy their graphics briefly. I managed to find the item. I find that impressive. Oh, there's a boss. Hello, boss. He died instantly, by the way, Chad. I'm just like you to know. We could still technically upgrade garlic if we manage to level somehow. So if you do it, chat, we need we need four more levels of garlic. We have two minutes to do it. Yeah, that boss got actually dumpstered. We have some health regen, which helps. I got pet, nice. Well, garlic's so close, we might actually get it after all that. Is it useful for damage? Hell no. <laughs> Is it funny now? Absolutely. So many red crystals in here. Because we're killing so many enemies off screen. Wow. Almost 14,000 gold. At 260% luck. Our pentagram would have been like off the charts. Nothing but red crystals from these enemies now. Nice. We can finally level garlic. That way we could say we did the garlic build, chat. We did it. One thing gone. We did it. Soul Eater. Steals hearts. Power increases when recovering health. Yeah, I think the I think the sword that we have also steals life. But we're not getting hit enough for it to matter for the most part. Like, we are taking little bits of damage, 
And I think whenever we do get healing, I think it's now being pumped to damage for the most part, which is nice. So now our death aura actually does something. Wow, we're actually going to hit level 8 on Night Sword as well. Okay, that might be another achievement out of the way. Sure. Look <laughs> how much damage we're doing. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor garlic. You get to enjoy a minute of existing and then you're gone forever from this world. Because we'll probably never pick you again. More experience, oh no. Here it comes. Is chat actually going to max all my ridiculous items? Wow. I think I found a catch-up experience orb, chat. Something tells me. We're at 270% luck. The luck bonus is out of control. Chat's actually gonna max the luck in one shot. Nice. Chat's making me ascend to another plane of existence of power. Though I should be critting literally always at this point. If I'm not, I'm calling shenanigans at 290% crit. I should just see walls of yellow. More money. Respect. More money, respect it. <laughs> Chat's also gonna ensure my my health recovery. Which might matter. We at least have two sources of life steal, if nothing else. So we're empowering the garlic. Is I think it cares every time we get healed, it does our healing damage multiplied to enemies. But that also includes our life regen. So we are improving the death aura damage a little bit. I think if chat were to use pet or light sources, it would just kill an entire room at this point. Wow, chat is actually gonna max me. Good job, chat. We have a minute left, we did it. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess always coin. You did it, chat. Time for more money. so fast. Oh no, a magnet. <laughs> Look at my levels. Oh my gosh. Oh no, don't kill me. No, I'm so close. No. I still died. I have a revive. Oh no, I can't survive this. There's too many. Oh, that's so sad. I don't think I could get through this jab. There's too many. Wow, this is still not strong enough to kill them. like actually insane that this is not strong enough to kill them oh time stop oh thank you time stop i don't think it's gonna be enough rosary could save me maybe i'm gonna go for the health if i can oh it's so hard i gotta dance i gotta dance oh the dance Oh, I got the health. Okay. Okay, we barely made it. Oh, thank you, double double tier Masu. Chat saves. Wait, it's still going on after 30 minutes. Why? Why are there so many of them? Oh, there's death. There we go. I'll embrace death. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I somehow got through that. Level 50 iron blue will sur survive five minutes. So now we got the garlic thing permanently. We evolved garlic, so we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, defeat Orocha Mario and Mount Moonspell. Nice. Find a Night Sword. Unlocks Night Sword. Okay, that's about where I thought it would do. Vandalier did 10 million damage, chat. 
How much did Night Sword do? 464,000. Yeah, I don't think we're picking up Night Sword anytime soon. I think what is supposed to happen is every time you take damage, it attacks the target. But, like, uh, I don't think that's a good synergy with anything that we do. Thousand Edge didn't do that much, but it did force our way through the other area. Thunder Loop doing the most makes sense. Fire, Hellfire with Burst Fire makes sense. Yeah, like, the sad part of, like, Night Sword almost getting outshined by, uh, Soul Eater, despite Soul Eater existing for a minute 44, is this everything we need to know? 10 mil chant. Normal gold times 1.5. It was a lot of gold. So we earned 17,000 on that, actually. Just like to state that right now, so I could just go and technically just buy a revival outright. Which I mean, I guess. <laughs> right, chat? Like, if I can afford it, why not? I don't need the other abilities that much, if at all. Oh, I did that in the wrong order, didn't I? The... This. Nope. This. This. This, 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 this. We're getting there. I'm slowly learning what I need to do here. So double, double, double. Sure, we'll take both. We'll do five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. The rest is in healing. Okay. That's not too bad, right, chat? That's not too bad. So I'm almost at max health recovery, and I got a free revival now. I like that there's like skips and vanishes, and I'm like, I don't think I care about those, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're good. Is there a shorter map I feel like doing? It is pretty late. I didn't realize how late in the day it was, actually. Hmm. I should probably stop here for now. That was a that was a long session. I'm looking at the time. Let's go ahead and close out, I suppose. So next time we play this, we'll have quite a lot to do. On the plus side, I had such a good time. We went for like almost six hours. So there's a makeup session from I guess yesterday. Since things did not go through as, as planned. But hope you had a good time. I am now extremely hungry because I have not had food since yesterday. So I guess from the standpoint of vamp vampire survivors, we got to see a little bit of extra content today, which was nice. It was a lot, yeah. It's definitely, definitely a big old grind through for sure. But anyway, um, hopefully we'll get to play with some of the new characters. Our money will just go towards them at this point. Omni, I think we'll make sure that we at least get consistent clears. We, I, I, I was like, I was just like crawling to the finish line of the moon spell. Now that place looks amazing for money. If we could get a couple more Arcana, and definitely the free revive makes a big difference. So nothing shy of Laurel, I think, would be acceptable to clear that. The only reason we made it through it all was double healing plus Tiramisu. Which is like a little too specific. Technically, we haven't even unlocked here in Misu, which is also funny. <laughs> we got saved by an item I don't have yet. Uh, because I have to play as the other character that has it, the gun lady. So maybe we'll play with some of those weapons just to kind of introduce things. And then going forward, we can introduce some banishes. So that way Chat can get rid of items they don't want. Because we're not quite at the point where we have like a lot of quote unquote bad items. We're still kind of coming into things there. But yeah, we should be a lot better. Yeah, not Bayonetta, exactly. And we just unlocked uh, Iron Blue Will, which is... Oh, that's the thing that gives bounces to knives, axes, and the guns. So I'm kind of glad we did that first before we did the gun person. Because uh, that is going to improve Knives' ability quite a lot. So I'm happy we did it, as that is one of my favorite ones for sure. I just got to pair it with the crit one, where crits do more damage, and then it's over. So that should open up a bit more build diversity, because we were leaning pretty hard into fireballs. And I think from the standpoint of um, some of the other items, I did like the Santa Water lightning ring combo. 
But otherwise, we didn't have something that kind of hit the middle ground of some of the kind of mediocre items. Like, we still don't have anything that really synergizes with the Bible, for example, uh, from an Arcana perspective. But at least we got something, so we can choose to build up our Arcana a little differently. And if we still want to go a tanky health build, at least we still have that option, because health is the most generic one to pick up. But anyway, I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again uh, the next time we play.